ho. Good morning Paul and chat. Hope everyone has a good holiday. See you in the new year. Hello! Hello everyone, I hope you're good. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you are, I hope you're all good. I hope you're all good. Wildcat, thank you for the support. Norfolk Warrior, thank you very much as well. Yanny Finn, or Jenny Finn, thank you. Keep it up, you glorious man. Oh, glorious man, I don't know about that. <laughs> Bill P, thank you. Rowdy, thank you as well. Cheers for the for the support, guys. I think we're going to start on Bitterroot, because by Have the time I get Christmas back, the playtest might be done. So I think we're going to do Bitterroot to start. Uh, I can find it. Where are we? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to start on Bitterroot. That'll be fun. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Paul. Hope the family is well and your holiday season is filled with happiness. So today is a 12-hour. No, it's not. Thank you another year of amazing <laughs> content. I've got Keep I've got to go and do the big shop for the like the Christmas shopping after this stream. So I'm looking forward to that. No end. I don't know, I'm probably going to be on for about six hours. After the stream, I've got to go fucking food shopping. Maybe, uh, maybe eight, nine o'clock. Yeah, definitely no 24 hour. Fuck that. We've, uh, we've been busy this morning. Hang on. I've, I've been and bought the, uh, we're having roast pork on Christmas Day. 
and I've been to the fancy butchers and bought some, uh, a, like a pork joint, a crackling joint. Uh, took that round my mum's. I've wrapped my missus's present. We've been and walked the dog. Uh, we've been pretty busy. We've been pr pretty busy this morning. Right, so where are we? Right, this is looking like a run towards Glasgow Air Force Base. Okay, we'll do that. Or do I? Where are I again? Happy holiday. Maybe I could go to Juno. Let's go the other way. We'll go to Juno, I think. Happy Hollandaise. <laughs> Runs, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, you're in the States, Jugs. I have no idea. Those in Europe should type exclamation PC and see what PC specialists do, but I have no idea for the States, dude. Somebody may have. Runs on Scotch. Thank you. Uh, Nent Mitch Joe. Thank you for the Prime. Chakas Shackle. Thank you for the new stuff as well. JG, dude, thank you for the 46 months. Merry Christmas to you as well, dude. Dexter Fun, uh, De Dexter Funk, sorry. Thank you very much too. Yeah, I don't want to do what we normally do. When I when I spawn on this road, I normally run all the way along here. And it's a bit fucking dull to keep doing the same thing. We're going to go to the airfield. And if we're not dead, we're going to head towards uh, Juno. And then maybe Fairfax and see how we go. I think we did alright in the lights out, all things considered, Nim. Yeah, I think we did alright. Ah, very cool, Tony. Got an amazing 2v1. Very nice. Which Xmas whiskey will you be drinking? Uh, I have got in the house uh, Redbreast 15 and Kleinlish 14, both of which are amazing. So those, mostly. I'm off to the pub. Wow, very nice, dude. I hope you have a good one. Uh, Merry Christmas. I, I'm definitely drinking too much. I, I, last night I had I had a couple of small glasses of port, because it's Christmas, right? Nobody drinks port any other time, surely. And, and, and then I had a glass of whiskey. I, I think I've had alcohol for about the last six or seven nights running. It's that time of year, but I need to, I need to have a little break, I think. I'll do that after the, after Christmas, though. Redbreast Lustau's good, yeah. There isn't a bottle it's of Redbreast really I've ever had that's not good, Mike. Merry I think it's Christmas. all good. The Lustau's kind of a bit more sherried, I think, from memory. Uh, it's nice, though. Yeah, it's good. I, I, there, I've not found a Redbreast that's not good, though. They're, it's all good. Jambon, yeah, I lasted something like 86 days, but that that's... <laughs> like, it's Christmas. I'm, I never intended to completely give up on alcohol. Did I just see someone? Hello? 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 Oh, hello, alright, you naughty little trickle, how you what? doing? There ain't gonna be any fucking loot here, is there? There's like half the server here. I don't. Uh, I'm hoping there'll be something good. I don't it's think there's shovel. gonna be much. I think this is one of the, the issues with... with uh, at Bitterroot right now. Just the amount of players in the server and where you start. The, the, the starting points are overrun with dudes. Don't worry, pitchforks and brooms upstairs. Oh no! Come back with my vest, you fucker! I done him. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Why are you swinging at me? Merry Christmas, Paul. Smiley face. My vest, no. You're not very nice. My vest. I've got more stamina than you. I'll just take my vest and go. See you later. Thanks for the vest. I can do this all day. Like, like Captain Underpants. Fuck you! <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> Captain Underpants, fucking hell. I thought Marvel was a bit boring when they had to awesome uh, Captain America and whatnot, but now I long for the days of seeing Captain Underpants back in the back in the saddle. Whoa. Oh 
come on. I'm going to check some of those cars. If I can just find a little bit of food or something. Even like a can of drink or something like that. Anything that will help me go a little bit longer. Maybe I can find some, uh, I don't know, little blue pills that will help me go a little bit longer. You alright, Moody Bum? Scandinavian underscore Aldi has just donated $50. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and your family. Scandinavian, thank you very much for the support, dude. Appreciate it. You're very kind. Joe Man, thank you very much too. Uh, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. I know there's some other alerts. I will catch them all in a sec. I want to see where these fuckers are. I don't fancy getting pinned by them. They're, they're up to no good. Oh, they're, they're not the ones, are they? They're not the bad guys. Uh, Scandinavian, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, here's Steps. Yeah, he's one of the ones that was chasing me, isn't he? can't read the alerts at the moment because these guys are just they're just on the periphery they're like they're like lions they're next to the gazelles I'm a gazelle I know the lions are there but they're trying to catch me unawares you can tell that's what they're doing like they think I don't know I do know I know what you're up to. It ain't going to work. Unlucky. Thank you very much. Dude, you can take him. Fuck him up. Yeah, take him. Take him to school. Oh, well, that was cruel. Did he have anything good? He's already no. dead, you pleb. You can take the bone knife if you want. All right. Shadow boxing. Why don't you do it one at a time and stop being uh, like a pair of clowns? You know, you got no spine. I'm like the worst. I'm the worst melee player in the whole of Daisy, and you still haven't got me yet. Because you're running away like a chicken, bro. Well, there's two of you with melee weapons. Am I the chicken, or are you the great big fucking bullies? All right. Okay, have a good one, bro. It was just, just fun. <coughs> oh, that's cheating. I didn't realize that cut you. That's oh. OP. <laughs> Come back.
coming from the other side. I'm going to eat my nice, fancy, crunchy treats, and then I've got no loot, and you're wasting your time. Here goes the loot. Bye-bye, loot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, loot. No, there's leather. Do you need wood? No, I've got it here, look. It, it going in my tum-tum. Yum, yum, yum. Take this. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Yeah, dude, fuck him up. He deserves it. Mm -hmm, I, I gave I'm you coming. something to eat, bro. No, you, you're no, trying I'm to bully dead, me. You're a bully. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, dude, we got him. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fuck him. <laughs> right, he's got a friend. He's got a friend, okay? Okay. Upstairs? No, around. He's, his friend's got a baseball bat and a green taloon bag. Okay, we have a shovel now. He's knocking around. I think it, no, it might have an axe, but he's knocking around. Where did he go? Yeah, he's in here. He's in here. Here he is. Your friend's dead. Soon to be you uh, too. No. I know. <laughs> Two on one. Two on one, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nice what knowing goes you. Around, comes around. Yeah, what goes around <laughs> comes around. Yeah. That what he said. <laughs> Yeah. He thinks we'll be, we'll be fooled by a door, he does. Dude, have him. I'll, I'll back you up. He's gone up the stairs. Go up the staircase. Hi, Paul and chat TRM. I'm going outside. Out, out the ladder. Oh, dear. <gasps> Oh no, how did Dude, it's okay, I'm up, I'm okay. Hello! Oh, Good dude, night. GG! <laughs> <laughs> he's got a, he hasn't got a lot. Got, he's got a bandage, he's got a PB, he's got a, yeah, he's got a bit. I'll take his bag, actually. Uh, please, uh, please, the bag. Ah, oh, dude, GG. Oh, he aimed this gun at me, but he didn't have any shots. Oh, man. Fair play. Right, there's a little bit of food there as well. Look, if you have that food, you might as well. Okay, you're, you're fine with the food? No, yeah, it's all good. I got a little bit too. Thanks for your help, dude. I've got to go okay. and uh, okay. meet up a friend right. that doesn't exist, okay? Merry Christmas. Yep. Okay. You too. Love you, bye. I'm amazed that when I got up the ladder there, I'm amazed I made it. I'm amazed that we made that. Like, I didn't think we would. Like, once I was going up and he was already waiting, I thought I was dead. I haven't rolled out the friend that doesn't exist for a little while, actually. That's been a while. Right, those they can come back pretty quickly, so we might as well uh, skedaddle. So this shovel is actually a sharp item. It's not a. Uh, it's not a blunt item like the other shovels are blunt item. I think this shovel is a sharp one. So when you hit somebody with it, it cuts them, which is kind of cool. I think that's that makes it quite good against zombies. All right, we're going to go this way. I'm going to go down there, try and get away. I don't actually know if I can go this way, but there's only one way to find out. I did take all of the good loot there, but I think that's all right. If it had been any other day than today, I probably would have teamed up with that guy. It, would, it had the makings of it, but because it's the last stream of the year, I really want to... Oh, no. I really want to do quite a lot of interaction stuff with you guys. I want to just talk and chill out. Oh, my God. That was a bit of a delayed health loss, wasn't it? Fuck me. Oh, well, this is going to be a bit slow. I think we may well get killed. Oh, 
Fuck me, that's really that's really cost me, isn't it? Jesus Christ, light blue. Sorry, uh, down to flashing red. Fuck me. He's got some good shit. I got the shotgun. I don't think he had one of them. The other guy might have had a BK, maybe. I don't know. T R M Z love. Hey, American Dad. Yeah, I'm all right. I, I nearly died there. That that was kind of lucky. I didn't think I was gonna. F I wasn't trying to fall off where I did. I kind of propelled me forwards a bit as well. I wasn't expecting it. I was kind of expecting to stay on the rock, as it were. But never mind. We get in these trees. We'll we'll get the health back fairly sharpish. I think it should be okay. Start by eating these. Time to lay low in a bush. Nah, fuck that. We'll we'll carry on mo mooching our way to where we need to go. And my blood is fairly high, so we should uh, we should be okay. I'm gonna go to Winter Park and then we'll go to Juno. See how we get on. Uh, Jawfree, thank you for the 18 months. Mongo, thank you very much for the new sub. Pseudo Echo, thank you for the 38. Darkwing, dude, uh, hope you hope you well, dude. DWD, uh, cheers for coming in. Hope you're good, dude. Merry Christmas, McDuck. Thanks for the 68. Joe Man, Scandinavian oldie, thank you for the support. And there was some alerts before that. Uh, Joe, I just fell over. I just fell off the rock. I was yellow health, and now I'm fucking flashing red. I could have died there. That could have been really dodgy. Right, give me one sec. I missed. I did miss some alerts. Viper, thank you for the resub. Sick boy, thank you as well. Merry Christmas, dude. Have a great uh, Christmas. Austin, thank you. Merry Christmas to you as well. Thank you. Hexis, Game Watcher, uh, Game watch, Watcher. Uh, how am I going to get through a week without TMZ? I think you'll be all right, dude. There's one little video coming probably on Christmas Eve. It'll probably come out slant Sunday. Slackman, thank you very much for the support as well. And I think I'm up to date. Cheers for the support, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to eat the tack back. Muscle bound, dude. Oh fucking hell, dude. Steady on. <laughs> that gifting fifty subs again after yesterday's uh, similar type stuff. So you crazy bastard. Thank you very, very, very much for the support, muscle bound. Cheers for the gifted sub bomb. Oh, the gifted membership bomb, I should say, of fifty members on YouTube. Thank you very, very, very much. That's insanely kind, man. Thank you. Uh, very, very cool indeed, man. Thank you very much. Right, we'll put that there what we could do. I don't even know if this water is clean or not, but I like I don't really want to lie down and do nothing. But I could. Not getting the option to Yeah I'm gonna pour the, the water into there. And then I'll keep the cooking pot and get rid of the two bottles. Is it me or does Paul sound different when he talks to YouTube? It's you. Oh, there we go. Uh, Skippy Owl, thank you for the bits. Hope you and the family have a lovely Christmas. Thank you very much, dude. Hope you have a good one too. Meerkat, thanks for the 37. Hope you and the family have and a lovely Christmas. And Musclebound, thank you very, very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Oh, oh it's full. Okay. All right, I need to be a bit careful with that. I can't really drink that. I could boil it and then drink it, I guess. Keep going. Yeah, I'm certainly not going to drink it without boiling it. Uh, recon it. Re you've just been thinking the same thing I was just thinking now. I could boil it. That would be wise. I might boil it just before we... There's a little bit of water coming up. I might boil it just before we get to that. Paul Defo talks nicer to YouTube just like he gives them 1440p. Hmm... <laughs> I left my pot. No, I didn't. I put it on here. Look, see, I put it on here. See, I put the pot on the on the stove. See, you can use purification tablets on the cooking pot. Yeah, you have to have them, of course, but yeah, you can absolutely use them. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, 
Where's this great big lake coming from? Uh, I need to go around it. This nice little lake there. Let's go around the fucker. I hope you have a great Christmas. Are you watching the boxing tomorrow night? Should be a good card. I am definitely watching the boxing tomorrow night, Mark. I've, I prepped the missus that I want to watch the boxing tomorrow night, and I'd hope that 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 goes just fine for me. But I am I'm I'm really excited to watch that. I I've not seen Wilder fight really. I've not seen him fight since he fought Fury. But Wilder's an exciting fighter to watch. I think Wilder versus Parker is a really good fight. Parker looked pretty decent in his last outing. I know he's he's fallen short at the very highest level, but at the level just below. You know, in the level that includes people like Dillian White and uh, others of his level, like Wallin maybe, and so on, Parker is a decent boxer, and if he performs on his day, he could that could be a really good fight. I think Wilder will win it, but I think it could be really good. And Joshua versus Wallin, likewise. I think Joshua really needs to be a bit more like his old self, otherwise he could be in bother. But yeah, the whole card, like, I can't remember all the names of the fight, but every fight is worth watching, isn't it? That's really, really good. It makes a change as well, because a pay-per-view card, often you're paying for the main event and you don't care about any of the others, but this one you're paying for the event, not just for one fight, which is good, you know? It's, it'd be nice to see that more. Uh... Skippy Al, thanks for the bits. Merry Christmas, dude. Thank you. All right, should be going back the right way now. Maybe a bit more to the right. I don't think this... It says Winter Park or whatever it says, but I, I think it's just a couple of containers. There isn't actually very much loot there. Uh, but we might as well check it. And I think there's a summer camp shed or something. And then these military barracks... I may well die at those, to be honest. It's kind of tricky. Maybe we should just skip it. Try and go to Fairfax or something. I might skip fair. I might skip Juno. I've been to that Juno barracks a few times, and I've died there most of the time. And normally, I end up going there like now with no gun, and get killed by someone with a decent gun. You know, I haven't even got any shot. If I could get some shotgun shells, it wouldn't hurt. But that was quite nice, though, wasn't it? That was a good little bit of uh, karma for the two bullies. There's a lake near me with tons of hunting cabins. Well, I just was at that lake. There was no hunting cabin. Oh, that's the. This might be it here then. I, I thought Winter Park didn't have any hunting cabins. Frank and Murray Christmas, y'all. Don't see any on the map. Maybe that's it there. That could be it. That looks distinctly hunting cabin like, doesn't it? So, if we do Winter Park, we'll check that. Then we'll run up the road and we'll check that there. That looks like summer camp sheds. That's not around a lake, though, but... Ah, there we go. That might be what you're talking about there. Crystal Lake. That could be it. We'll have a look there as well. I need to go more this way. I don't need, necessarily need to go to this winter park. I know it's shit. I think we'll just stay on the road. There's actually a well to the left here. I could maybe fill up my bottle at that well and not bother with the water that's dirty, not have to make anything clean. I think I might do that. From what I remember, Winter Park is like, yeah, it's like a couple of caravans and a one, like, hunting lodge building, and which is not that great. I we're told. Hope you're good, dude. JG, dude, thank you for the gifted subs. You're very kind. Thank you very much. Hawky the Hawk, cheers for using your Prime. Thanks for thanks for Prime subbing, dude. Kill Billy, thank you very much, too. Finished up the year. Presents to wrap. Running Man's Dulcet Tones, dude. Well, uh, I hope it goes well. I've, I've wrapped my missus's Christmas present and brought it back, put it under the tree this morning, so... Uh, uh, I've still, we've still got other things to do. We've got a click and collect thing to pick up. We've got to drive to a town to pick that up tomorrow morning. I, after this stream this evening, I've got it. Oh, I want to do that fee check. That, sorry, hunting stand there. Yeah, I've got a stream today, and then after the stream, I've, I've got to go and do the fucking big shop. <laughs> like, my missus doesn't drive, and she's also got a shitload of stuff to do as well today. So, 
after the stream. I've got more shit to do, unfortunately, which is a shame. But I, uh, I had, I, I was, uh, I was a very honourable uh, dog walker this morning. I was. I, me and the missus went out walking the dog, and we met this uh, Scottish lady that was walking her collie. We saw, we saw her a couple of times as we were walking round. And then when we got back to near the car was, uh, we'd, we'd driven to like a country park type thing, right? Uh, when we got back to the car was, she 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 was stood there waiting for somebody that would have a mobile phone on her. She'd lost her phone in the while she was walking the dog and she said she'd fallen over. She'd fall, she was about 60 odd. She'd fallen over and she was fine. She hadn't hurt herself. But in the process of falling over, her phone had fallen out of her bag. and she. Ne so I went off trudging around the fields with her, with with my phone, so I could ring a number to help her find the uh, <laughs> to find her mobile phone. She did find it though. Here's the kicker though, right? She was like, "Oh, I really need someone's help because I'm I'm a bit worried that if I if I won't be able to find it in the undergrowth, if somebody can ring it for me, then uh, that would really help." I was like, "Yeah, no worries." We went and did it. We got near her phone. I rang it. It was on fucking silent. <laughs> make a noise like we saw it anyway and we found it but the phone was on fucking silent <laughs> uh, but anyway she she would have found it without me but i still helped that's the main thing right <laughs> uh aj's going to destroy wallin i hope you're right ultra i i like anthony joshua i know he's he's been a bit crumbly at the end of some uh at the end of some interviews, when at the uh, at the end of the Usyk fight, he was a little bit in bits, you know. I think he was really dejected, but I still like Joshua. I think he's been a great, uh, he's like Olympian. He's been a heavyweight champion twice. He, he is a he is a good boxer. He's not quite on the level of some others, maybe, but I'd love to see him back to his best. Like I don't think he can beat Usyk, and I think he knows that now, but. I'd like to see him back to his best and fight for another title. So I'd love to see him fight Fury. Uh, I don't think he can beat Fury if Fury's mentally ready. But nonetheless, I, I still like Joshua. I think it'd be good to see him come back to his best. I feel like his best is gone, personally. But I hope you're right and I'm wrong. Right, so this is a couple of hunting stands by the look of it. And a well, so... <clears throat> Oh, Zafania O'Brien, I'm not reading that question out, but let's just say no. Given that I was out walking the dog with my missus and she was in her 60s. Got a nice gold post box in Watford because of him. Ah, very cool. The gold post box is from 2012. I'd forgotten about those. She had a Samsung phone of some sort, laws, but how you activate that, I don't know. Like, like if your phone is lost, right, and you're trying to ring it, you can't activate that then, can you? It's too late, I guess. Apparently there's a well here as well. Bit, bit weird, isn't it? This like kind of nice. The uh, free hunting spawns are pretty cool. Shame there's a shitty red cap in there. Quite pleased with the uh, the PU scope though. That's a nice little find. I definitely think we should sidetrack, side like skip Juno Barracks, and we'll carry on along the road. Where are we now? This I thought I was at these. What's, what's these little buildings along in the in the field then? I want to go to see what they are. In the forest, sorry, not the field. AJ looks hungry. Well, that's good. He seemed a little bit unsure of himself when he was talking. Like Joshua and Wilder are on the bench, like at the pre-fight thing, and they and Joshua, sorry, Wilder brought up fighting Joshua. He seemed a little bit like maybe he's intentionally not wanting to think about it because he knows he's got to beat Wilin first and he's only focused on that. But he seemed a bit mute about it, like, oh, I don't even want to fight you. I, I don't know about that. I, I, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but yeah. Uh, upgraded shotgun. AJ. 
ages, isn't it? Event starts at 4 p.m. and tomorrow. Well, there's no way I'm going to get away with watching 4 p.m. I'll probably be able to start watching from 6 or 7, maybe, but I ain't going to get away with 4 p.m. until midnight watching boxing. Is the Joshua fight the last fight, I presume? Wilder and Parker is the second to last fight. I'm, I'm looking forward to both fights, but I'm kind of more looking forward to Wilder versus Parker as well. Yeah, I agree with you on, on dying. I, have, I, I think Wilder is a really exciting fighter to watch. I know he... He did. I was going to say he did struggle against Fury. He didn't. He was he was really in both of those fights against Fury, and yeah, they were they were really good fights to watch. I I, I hope to see him at his best. Yeah, I, I did read the, the undercard stuff and got quite excited about it, but I can't remember anything about it right now. I'm not enough... I, I like boxing. I like watching boxing. If, it's, if there's someone, I like watching it, whoever's on, you know, but I'm not enough of an expert to know all of the different... I only, only know enough of, vaguely about the heavyweight division. And even then, I haven't seen that much of Wallin, you know. I've seen Parker fight a few times. I never saw the the Fury Wallin fight. I, I didn't see it. I've not seen a great deal of him, but... Uh, nonetheless, I've read a little bit, and you know I'm looking forward to watching it. But I think Parker's a decent fighter. I, I don't think he's world championship level, world champion level, but he could be a, a tough challenge for for Wilder. I think Wilder will beat him, but I still think he could be a tough fight. Greedy giraffe, dude. Uh, greedy gear giraffe. Merry Christmas, dude. Away from those shots. Hawkey the Hawk, thank you for the bits. Keep up the good work. Merry Christmas, everyone. Dude, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh, drive for a living, cheers for the support. Someone that drives for a living definitely drives home for Christmas, don't they? Ultramedic, that's, that's the plan. Apparently it's already kind of vaguely penciled in for something like March the 9th. They want to do that thing they've been talking about for a while. They, this is like the semi-finals, and if Wilder and AJ win, they're meant to then fight each other again. But I, I don't really know what Riyadh season is, but I believe they want it to still be inside that. So that would need to be before the end of March-ish, I think. But uh, it doesn't seem very long if they fight now, and then they're going to come out and fight again in two months' time, just over that. That would be abnormal, but I wouldn't be surprised if that happens because there's going to be so much money on it. If they both win and they're not like cut and they're not badly injured, I can see them coming out and fighting again in March. Yeah, the time difference between here and Saudi is pretty decent actually. It means that we don't have to be like. It's not like if the fights are on in Vegas or something and then the main fight is on at like 5 a.m. or something like that, you know? Like. I remember staying up so late to watch like Prince Nassim Hamid fight back in the day and What is Santa's dog's name? Santa Paws. Merry Christmas. Santa Paws, oh my god. That was worth listening to. Robot Lady sounded like she was all full of vigour. I don't know, I think she's probably disappointed now. <laughs> uh Smoking, thank you very much. Cheers for the support. Smith Smiley, thank you very much for the eighteen months. Merry Christmas, dude. Catfish King, thank you for the member ning 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 ning. Thank you very much too, dude. Thank you. Yeah, stay up till 5am for one round of Nassim Hamid. I, I've told this story many a time, but when I was in uh, Mallorca, with, we went with the pub, kind of out of season, first week of October or something it was. And I uh, I stayed up to watch a Mike Tyson fight, and it, it was quite a well-known fight, and I always forget the name of the guy he fought. Maybe Galotta? Might have been Galotta, I forget. But Tyson broke his jaw in the first round. He, he punched him quite a bit, and he just sat on his chair and then didn't come out for the second round. So 
it was in in Mallorca. It was like something like six a.m., ten past six a.m. I was drinking JD, and I could I was like 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 really like struggling to stay awake, like falling asleep in the bar, like on my arm and like on like like elbow on the table, like propping my face up, trying not to fall asleep. And we stayed up until ten past six, and it went one round, and then this guy never came out for the second round. I was like. And it, it, to be fair, he was really in trouble, but nonetheless, it, it, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. Bruno and Tyson, I watched the rerun in the afternoon jam, but not even knowing it wasn't live, I really didn't know. Back in those, there was no, obviously, internet, there was no, you could go and get the result on CFAX or something, probably, but we watched it on the afternoon, not knowing the result. I'd like to see Paul in the ring. After watching a little snippets of Nico Leonard fighting yesterday, I, I don't fancy doing any boxing, you know? Like, fair play to both of those. I don't know if anybody's seen that or not, but Nico Leonard, the watch dude, uh, had a fight with some other fella. I haven't really been watching all the drama around that. It's not really my thing. But anyway, I watched a little bit. I, I, both of them could hardly stand at the end, and they, I think they did three two-minute rounds. The fitness required to actually throw punches for two minutes is... Uh, Something I don't have just yet. <laughs> yeah, Trax and Nico. That's it. That's who it was. Well done, Dave. Yeah, like it, it's just insane. I, something I didn't know about Nico Leonard was that he was on the books of Ajax as a youth, and he he was playing for Ajax youth, but got a really bad injury and had to quit. And I guess a lot of people have stories like that. But he played at Anfield, like we was talking about it while we were there, you know. So. He clearly was playing and doing all right, but anyway, yeah. So he would have had a high level of fitness as a youngster, but clearly, uh, the, the uh, living the life of uh, a watch dealer has maybe affected his fitness some. I don't even know who Trax is. That's not me going. Oh, I, I, it's not what he's not watch guy. I don't think. I think he's a jewelry dude, right? I think he's more jewelry orientated. So it's not really something I've found. Uh, Catfish, thank you very much once again. Uh, Trevor and Panic, thank you for the follows on YouTube. Burrito, holy shit. That, that I don't remember myself. The road has like turned into water for a bit there. That's kind of cool. Look at that. We're, we're white health now. White with the gap health. There was some more shots up this way, so I'm a little bit inclined to be a bit careful. I don't think they are going to be uh, summer camp sheds, but we'll have a look. A bit worried that the rifle shots we heard, obviously not the shots that were just behind us, but other shots were this way. I'm a bit worried we may get ourselves... Uh, shot at in a minute but let's see what these buildings are on the right and if it's not anything decent we'll head towards this lake of uh, summer camp shit I think that's what we'll do it's based on Montana Nim there is a place in Montana called Bitterroot it's based on that I believe uh Fastening two pieces of metal is actually riveting. It, it really is riveting, no doubt, dude. I see what you did there. I'm not a really a DIYist, no. To answer your question sensibly, which is not really what I think you want. But anyway, there you go, you got it. Yeah, DIY and me are, are not, not good friends. I think they're all going to be shit, aren't they, like by the look of it. It looks like they're going to be just the silos that are dotted around that main building. There's two tech buildings. I, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. My missus does the DIY, doesn't she? Uh, I don't know. I think we, we both do little bits here and there, but anything that requires any degree of finesse, then we get someone in, of course. Like, why not? Like, my missus is really good at painting. She's slow as fuck. But Hi, Paul. Wishing you and the family <laughs> she's very, very good level of finish, you know. She, she'll she'll take her time over it, but it will look good when she's done, you know. Like, I'm terrible at painting. A 
hunting shop. Fish burn in his fucking young ears. Oh, hunting scope. Give me a gun. I've got some bullets for that as well. So we've got a couple of 308 bullets and we've now got the hunting scope as well. We're living the dream. Mrs. Dempsey is worried we're going to run out of cheese before we hit the new year. Our fridge looks like a cheese deli. I'm going to Bury St. Edmunds tomorrow, and they've got a shop there called the Cheese Hole, which is not necessarily a, uh, a nice name somehow. I don't know. It sounds a bit dicey, perhaps. But anyway, I think we, we may go there. They, they do some fucking fantastic cheese there. It's, so, it's not cheap, but it's really good. Get some brie and... I don't know, Stilton or similar, you know, some kind of Shropshire Blue or whatever, but yeah. We, we need to get the cri uh, Christmas cheese for sure. Bury St. Edmunds is really nice, actually. I wouldn't mind living in Bury St. Edmunds. It's kind of cool. Uh, of, of the bigger towns in Suffolk, it would be my, my favourite, I think. There aren't many big towns in Suffolk, really. Bury Ipswich and Stone Market, I suppose, perhaps, but... Stone Market, but... Right, so the lake is more to my right, across the wind farm, then let's just go across. I have to deal with the apex shopping centre. Mm. Yeah, Harry, I like Berry. I, I do quite like it. Fairly close to that town is Ming's, the, uh, Ming's Chinese. There's a Chinese restaurant. Uh, me and the missus really like it. It's only small, there's only about eight or nine tables inside. But it's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, I, I've got presents sorted. I've got, like, the, I haven't got my mum anything. I've got my mum a couple of things from the kids. And and sometimes that's how it kind of works, you know. My kids have got them, my, the, my mum, like, a... A little Swarovski crystal, I can't even say it, Swarovski crystal ornament. One each from both of them. So th they've got those to give her, which are obviously from Mia. My mum knows that, but I, uh, I haven't I haven't got her anything from me as such yet. So I might keep an eye out for something from the mum maybe tomorrow. But if I don't get her anything, I, she's, she's doing all right. I think she'll be okay. Animal Doctor, thank you very much for the Prime sub, by the way. Gordy Mac, thank you for the resub. You, I hope you and yours have a Merry Christmas as well, dude. Thank you. Full Metal Sombro, thanks for the two months. I've not been there, uh, dude. No, the, the whiskey place. I have not. How's the dog doing today? He seems all right. He was, he was sick when he, my missus took him out for a walk yesterday. And not just a little bit, like entire contents of his stomach three times. <laughs> Uh, so we didn't give him anything to eat yesterday after that. I gave him nothing at all. And this morning, he was like, like, had the eyes of a ravenous dog that was really eager. So he was he was definitely wanting food this morning. And he seems more like his usual self. We just took him out for a walk and he's fine. So he must have eaten something he shouldn't have. You know, he must have found something to eat he shouldn't have. Whatever it might have been. Maybe he picked up a leaf or some God knows what. But uh, I don't think he was actually ill. Aside from whatever had made him chuck up, you know. Wilkins, they're flying, aren't they, Ipswich? They really are. Well, that's not good. That's at Fairfax. We may be able to avoid that for now and just go to this summer camp. Some kind of assault rifle. Some kind of AK, I think. And sniper rifle, maybe? Oh, there's a little military tower there. I wonder if maybe there might be... Uh... I've never been to Fairfax, I don't think, but we're not going now, are we? I think we'd best steer clear for now.
The main thing we I think we've got to be worried. Make sure we don't run out of Harry. Uh, like your your yours is cheese, ours is crisps. I think. We we, we need crisps. Crisps, crisps, and more crisps. That they're definitely that's the healthy thing to eat, right? Crisps, potato chips for people from the from the uh, non UK. Oh, what was the point of being fucking all super quiet? Well, I'm in the open field fucking about. <coughs> right, I'm going to start on this left one and then scout, scout around. Littles. Oh, there aren't many littles around my way. Love me some tater chips. What's tater chips, hobbits? Is even have a hat? Well, based on that first shed, we're not exactly looking great, are we? For loot, like the first shed's got no, no three oh eight, no, no gun, no blaze, no nothing. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, okay, things are on the up. Like, if you don't find anything after a couple, you have to think maybe someone's looted it, but it might not have been looted for a while. I smell a gun. It's probably going to be a bloody longhorn, isn't it? With a damaged scope or some bollocks. I like this. This is cool. It makes sense, really, doesn't it? The little uh, the hunting cabin shed dealies knocking around the lake, you know. You'd, it would be nice, wouldn't it? You know, like, you're not exactly having a romantic fishing trip. You'd probably be coming with a mate and not your missus, wouldn't you? Like, with the beds like that, you know. Like, they're sparse, I'd say. You've rented out this. It's £2,000 for a week. And when you get inside, you realise there's no running water, there's no toilet, there's no sink, there's no nothing. Lovely seconds there, W keeper. And you're expected to have four people lying on the floor, effectively. You'd be a little bit unhappy for your two grand, wouldn't you? start of a generic horror movie yeah what would the villain be it would be uh it would be some like mutant carp that's in the lake mutant carp that's got uh it, it's like a regular carp but it's got wolf fit wolf style teeth like a whole set of gnashes What whiskey am I having? General Daisy. Uh, it would be either Kleinlish 14 or Redbreast 15. They're the two that I've got. Rimbo. Both of them are amazingly good, by the way. God, I thought that was a dude. So much so that I just started talking to him. Why I'm taking that? Right, well that was good, wasn't it? Right, come on, I can I can tell there's a Winchester under the staircase. That is some impressive fucking talking it in, that is. Uh, may I ha hasten to add that I said that quick enough that Freddy the Spawn hadn't heard, right? Freddy the Spawn, the server admin, had not heard that, so there's no way that had happened, okay? Just talk it in. Talk it in, that's what you do. <laughs> Our 16,000 hour Daisy noob talks in his gun. I don't like the look of him. Happy Christmas to one and all. He must be after the yields. Oh, we know there's people shooting in Fairfax. Uh, Dresden, Merry Christmas, dude. Thanks for coming in. Cheers for the support. Thank you very much for the resub. Redux, 
Not sure if you saw my message. Cooked chicken and white rice is the best thing. Uh, not unfortunately for us, Redux. Our dog's got a chicken allergy, unfortunately. So, yeah. You're getting teammates with Kuru for Christmas. Teammates Wait, with Kuru. That okay. Yeah, I Here's think. Some American chocolate then. <laughs> Everything that I've ever dreamed of, there, King Whitey, for sure. That is that is the case. Teammates with Kuru for Christmas. Fuck. Definitely got that prematurely, I'd say. Tell you what, some red shells would be good if we could get some red shells. That would be really nice. Dogs can have an allergy to almost anything, but uh, unfortunately, the, the the dog that we've got, the uh, the, the mum for our dog was from the breeder in the UK, in around uh, Newcastle years. Uh, but the the sire, the dad, was from uh, it was like a the, the Welsh Springer Spaniel is a fairly narrow breed. There's only about 250 born per year. That so he'd got he'd got semen from a dog in America land try and make sure he's keeping the gene pool as wide as possible rather than like having too much interbreeding right? anyway uh, and the the kennels I can't remember the name of the kennels but the kennels from America they actually list on their website that they've had some of their dogs have chicken allergy uh, we already worked out what it was but yeah we had all sorts of problems with him he was so scratchy as a as a baby Happy he was like, years, Paul. like Hope you and insanely so. Like Christmas he was so itchy year. all the time. It was a nightmare, and we we changed his food and removed chicken from the diet, and then he stopped scratching almost instantly. You know, like uh, it it was a nightmare actually, because you you he was like literally he could barely sleep, he could barely rest. Everything he everything you tried to do with him, he had to stop to scratch. Like like it was going, it was driving him mad. Poor little bastard. Like he would be in his bed like crying. Because he was like biting his own paws and scratching and scratching and scratching. It was horrible, poor little fucker. So, yeah, no chicken for our dog, unfortunately. <sighs> well, Art Man, it's easy to say when, when somebody gets a pedigree dog, it's easy to say, oh, genetic. Well, uh, any dog can have an allergy. Mongrels sometimes can as well, you know? Like, dogs can have issues whether they're mongrels or not. It's just the way it goes. He's in pretty good, uh, pretty good nick. Other than that, but yeah, any any dog can have an. It's definitely chicken fishy. It, his issue is. That's really good. I kind of almost sort of talked that in as well. I think. I think it's a bit funny now. I, I don't think I'm going to put them in there, actually. It, the game seems a bit funny about letting you load things in and, and out. From I'm going to put the scope here. I'll probably forget it's there, but just in case I die, I could come back. Keep in the modded scope. Every time I tune in, it's all about made-up allergies. Well, fuck off then. <laughs> Don't tune in is the answer. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, Redux, dude. Thank you very much for the support. Entropy, thank you. King Whitey, thank you very much too. Merry Christmas. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> I think we may as well, we're finding good loot, so we may as well carry on and check the other ones. Blue Devil, you think I'm defensive? I don't think I am. I'd say that was pretty offensive. <laughs> I'm, I'm, poop, I'm completely fine, but it's just a really weird thing to try and suggest that someone's making up an allergy for their dog when the breeder of the dog 
on the dad's side literally has about chicken elegies on their own website. Very professional website. But yeah, it, it must be made up. Must be. Just ridiculous, right? Right, I think this... Oh, no, there's another one. I, I was going to say this will be the last one. I might as well check the other one, too. I wonder if we should go and have a little look over towards Fairfax, maybe. We've got we've got decent gear now. The only thing I haven't got is some kind of stab vest or something like that. Something to... Like, if I get shot by an SKS, I'm just going to die. All you need is the chimpkin and the pitter. Paul is bringing the spicy. Merry Christmas to you and yours, mate. We've did found a shitload of 308. My dog is allergic to behaving itself. Yeah, I can relate to that as well. <laughs> right, let's make a bit of space. I should maybe have dropped that as well. Uh, I think we'll have a look at that. I don't know what the uh, the Overwatch is going to be like. All of it, not all of it's a wall. I wonder if maybe we can go to the processing plant, actually, and just see what's there first. DNA, dude, I, I don't know why that's surprising, right? If you go and watch one of my... Go and have a look at my most popular ever video. It's got, like, 3 million views. And then have a, have a look at how many likes it's got, you know? It's just that's how YouTube is. Lots of people don't press the like button. They just don't think about it. And... Uh, it, I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference, if I'm honest, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> There's a train. I'd like some kind of elevation, not that, not that chimney, though. Elevation... I almost sang then, didn't I? That that was depressing. Sorry. Oh, oh my word. Had a ball. in the building. Well, two out of three ain't bad, right? Run. We best move around this way. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> These aren't the guys with the AKs, unfortunately. I had a little bit of gear between them. I'd like the guy I headshotted. I waited because I wanted to try and headshot him because I'd like his vest. not that geared but that's kind of fun I like that a lot that was cool I feel so much sharper aiming wise than I have done for a long time most of this year there's a few different reasons for that but I really do feel much better
We have a little memento. What meat is that? Beef. I might take the beef steak. I probably don't need to actually. I definitely need to keep one of the skull and crossbones things, right? Actually, bullets there. I've been. I've. I've got the. Uh, I just dropped an MK. Sorry, a, a Colt. One of the others I've got some too, but I think I'm going to leave it. I don't think a Colt is going to help me very much. We'll just leave it. I wouldn't mind a bottle if somebody's got one. Dude's got a ball. That dude's got a ball too. Right, let's go. Badly damaged, but I have a leather kit and I have an epoxy. Not taking the sewing kit. I think I got one and I already had one. I think that'll have to do. How cool is that though? That was badass. I'm quite happy with that. I love it when a pan comes together. Maybe they had a car. I doubt it. I don't think they had a car. You never know for sure, but I doubt it. <clears throat> I've already got a PU scope, and I don't even need that, so it's all good. How'd you get those team armbands? Uh, Ultron, you find a flag, and you chop it up. Find a flag, chop it up. That's what you do. That's cool, isn't it? But yeah, just to just to come back to the whole aiming thing, right? I uh, I got I got a new mouse. I was having problems with my aim for about well many months, many months. I've been struggling. Anyone that watches regularly will know I've been, str I've been struggling like fuck. And for whatever reason, I'm so dumb that when I struggle, I just put it down to me being shit, which is well, a lot of it is true. But anyway, I was struggling. And I changed from, I got a new mouse mat, and it felt a bit smoother, but it didn't really make any difference. And then I decided, I always have a backup mouse. And I decided to switch to my backup mouse. It's the same, it's a brand new version of the mouse I already had, but I changed. In the process of changing, I, instead of running it, I was plugging it in. So my keyboard is a Corsair keyboard, and it has a USB pass-through. And for the last number of years, I've been plugging my mouse into the USB pass-through, which is... Turns out not a good idea. So I plugged it directly into my PC and it made a difference instantly. I felt like I had a little bit more control. Uh, took me a little while to get used to things again because the mouse feels a little bit different. Plugged in great. There's no, There was a little bit of latency or a little bit of lag. It was just weird. And uh, Anyway, I, 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 before the lights out, I re-downloaded uh, aim training software, or aim labs. I'd set it back up and I've with the aim lab software you can set it, you can tell it what game you play so you can say i'd like it to match daisy so it matches the internal settings on aim labs to your aim, your sensitivity from your config folder on daisy so i'm doing aim training just a little bit i've done it for like 2 minutes today and i did it the day before lights out and i can feel the difference Merry so Christmas massive great job during out the, the the difference is so massive just from like a, a handful of little five minute practice sessions getting used to the setup again to do a reaction time test well my reaction time's not going to be as good as once it was but my aim is much better than it it was I've, I've been struggling all year 
and it feels way better. I, I'm, I'm not. It's not like I've suddenly turned into Topa or anything. Don't get me wrong, but I, I'm. I feel way happier with it than I have done for ages. And a couple of little things, little, little changes to the setup to make it smoother, and I, I really feel the difference. I don't have enhanced point of precision on. No. God, this town is like snipers fucking heaven. What is this town? It's yeah, Lakeland. I, that town is uh, pretty seriously full of snipers on the whole. Your stream starts when I normally need to go to bed. So thanks for being my <laughs> lullaby in my morning. Um, glory's not the right word, but you get what I'm getting. <laughs> Brink, dude, no worries. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Cheers for the six months. Uh, Sinjin Smith. Loving the stream, dude. Thank you very much as well. Cheers for coming in. Merry Christmas, both of you. Bufar as well. Machine Block. Thank you, Regan. Uh, all you need is Chimpkin and Peter. Paul is bringing back the spring in the spicy. <laughs> very nice, Regan. Redux, thank you very much. It's the rice that's the absorbent anyway. Best of luck. Cheers, Redux, dude. Yeah, well, we have actually given him rice at times. We have given him rice at times in the past. When, he, when we were trying to get him off of the food that was making him sick, we were giving him some rice. So that's something we might do. But he was only sick on the walk yesterday about 5pm. So we just didn't give him any food that night. And this morning he's like back to his usual self. I do still wonder if he has a little bit of something up with his stomach though. He's, he's, he's a bit funny. I don't know. We'll see. Padded gloves. Oh, love. <laughs> Don't need that. I would like some new trousers. Another 1911 mag, but th that ship has long Merry since Christmas sailed. Center. Great big bag we don't need. I don't think I want to go too far for now while it's while it's dark. So I've been killed. We had a random team up last time. One of the last times I played Bitterroot. And I got killed. I was on the rocks on the far side of town and I got killed from uh, one of these towers. I might get in one of the towers in a minute. I don't know which one though. I, I don't know the meta at all. I don't really want to go in a tower if I'm honest but have got a rangefinder. We are set up as a sniper right now, you know, shotgun for CQB. But we've got the rangefinder. We've got the Tundra, two two bottle suppressors and a shitload of bullets. We're, we're looking alright. What condition is the Tundra? Warm. Yeah, we're not in a bad place if I can avoid getting shot for all little while. Had to take my beagle and then it went off the screen, but I presume that was to the <laughs> vets. Hope all is well, dude. I hope, hope, hope they do it. It's something weird that I struggle with with uh, PC gaming. Like, I've I've been a, on PC now for nine nine years or so, but when my control system isn't right and it affects my aim, I start thinking it's me. I start thinking it's me that's the problem and not the system. You know, like with a controller, it either breaks or it works. And if you're on console, if your aim's bad, it's you that's bad. And and to be fair, my aim can be really bad anyway. You know, but. Hope you have a great Christmas. I'm not very good I'm at fault finding. My 50th tomorrow. Open mouth, face all the best. So I can have an issue with my mouse for like six months and just deal with it. Because I can't work out what the fucking issue is. I'm too dumb. Thanks for an entertaining year. Can't wait to see what the new year brings. From well, my family to case. yours. Merry Christmas, Paul. Yo, dude, thank you. Cheers for the support, man. Really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. I just want to come in here for a sec. Check with you. That man, Merry Christmas. Molin Hola, how are you doing? Merry Christmas as well. LW Dev, uh, Sirius Neko, thank you for the bits and the resub. Big Butter, I uh, hope you have a good Christmas. I'm celebrating my 50th tomorrow. Dude. 
Merry Christmas and happy 50th. I hope, hope you're getting uh, spoiled rotten tomorrow, dude. That is cool. Yeah, happy birthday, dude. Code Red Gun Store. Now, you would think that would be chock full of gear, wouldn't you? Tent, sleeping bag. Yeah, I'll have some of them. I'll have the Uzi. This is a building I've never seen before. In DayZ, I've never seen it. That's cool. Can't loot it though. Well, I could loot it, but there is no loot to loot. Oh. Uh. Old County Police Merry Department. Merry Xmas, dude. Love your stream. So chill and good to watch. Smiley face. Keep Holy it up. shit. The game just wants me to have 308, doesn't it? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, more. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Thank you for the resub. I don't think I want to go in one of these towers. I think it would be dull. Might have a look for any potential snipers from the hill. We'll see. So I heard tell from the people I was with before that, that there's usually snipers in some of the towers. Rather than climb a tower and realise I'm going up to the gun that's aiming at my face, I think we'll just go up to the rocks and have a look. I'd rather go... Uh, where can we go? Bitterroot Country Club? Bishop Outpost? I'd like to go on Overwatch Fort Hale, because we were there the other day. I died there. That military base is fucking massive, but along this hill is all Overwatch. And we've got the right gear for Overwatch, and we could maybe... It'd be great to pick up a sniper kill at some decent range. That'd be good. I haven't killed anyone in DayZ at like eight, nine, seven, sort of eight or 900 metres or so for so long. It's incredibly hard to do because people don't get knocked out very easily, but it would be really cool to do. I would also like to try and find myself a better vest and a military... Uh, like a, a ballistic helmet. This bright white one is... Probably not smart, and it's also three kilos, so I think we'll drop it. It looks good, that, but it's uh, bright white and orange and heavy as fuck. Uh, very nice, Redux. Bought your missus a PC for Chris. Have you bought her a PC that you intend to play? Is that the. Have you got her a toy that's actually for you? Or is it is it really for her? <laughs> Uh, GG, dude. Thanks for the bits. Ethereal, uh, thank you for the bits. Merry Christmas. Just found your videos a couple of months ago. Been binging the catalog since. Never found a game as adventurous as Daisy, nor a story table able to compliment it. Oh, thank you for the kind words, dude. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the bits. Cheers for finding the videos as well. Right, let's go a bit higher. Kind of going the right way at the moment. I think I want to go kind of that way from mem from just looking at the map before. Uh, more, thank you for the two months. Uh, cheers for tuning in. Appreciate it, dude. I don't think I've missed any. Cold Spooner, I have. I missed you, didn't I? Cheers for the for the new sub. How to find food in Livonia Winter? Well, I've not played Livonia Winter, but Dead Zombies is usually a good start. There's there's usually plenty of food on Dead Zombies around the spawn area on Livonia. Uh, I've not played much winter. Well, I haven't played any winter Livonia, to be honest, but... On winter mats, because you're colder, you need to not leave the spawn zone quite so quick. You know, make sure you've found something to, uh, like, cut animals up with, cut chickens up with, or whatever. Make sure you've got the bare essentials. You can make a fire. Ideally, matches or a lighter, but if not, you need a knife or two. You need the ability to, to make fires easily. And then everything that you... Everything that you you see that you can eat, like chickens and whatnot, eat it. Fishing is a piece of piss, right? You can just get some chicken bones and a bit of rope and start fishing. That's not a bad idea, too. 
actually expected there to be more action here, but might go and head towards the uh, military base. So Fairfax, where the fuck am I? It's a fair ways around. We've got to go around past Craft Lake. Bitterroot Country Club. So it looks like a golf course. Probably that's another summer camp, isn't it? We could overwatch that from the trees. Let's do that. So, we'll have a, I don't really need to loot it. I've got enough bullets and whatnot. But we could go and see if there's any anybody to shoot at. Go hit the links. Ugh. Do I have my video settings posted somewhere? If you type exclamation settings in the chat, you'll see a picture of my settings right now. Oh, look. Underground. I think that just leads to the town on the other side. Yeah, buckshot wouldn't be a bad shout. Yeah, we haven't got many, but given that it's a CQB thing, we're not likely to need as many buckshot because if I'm not dead, they are. You know, like if I get in a close range fight and 10 buckshot isn't enough, there's a good chance I'm dead. You know, oh, there's military there, look. If I'd known that, I would have looted it, but I do know now, I suppose. So there's a military in the, right in the middle. And it's definitely not overwatched by about a billion towers. <gasps> Actually, it looks like it's not being looted. I get the feeling that, at, like, maybe there might be an SKS, perhaps, but I get the feeling that that, that might not be the place for uh, epic loots, to be honest. What do I think of the new, what the hell is TRQIN mod, Holden? It's not something I've heard of, to be honest. I bet those, vests have, those, those tents have at least three shitty vests you don't want and an M4 handguard. <laughs> train! Ah, yeah, I haven't seen the train yet. I'm, 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 uh, I'm pleased it's here. Arkansas was working on that for a long time. I'm glad that it's here. Uh, and we'll try and check it out at some point, but I have not seen it yet. Yeah, that's what you mean, train mod. I could, I should have been able to decipher that, really, shouldn't I? But I didn't. <clears throat> Look at that sky, beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna put the gamma up. I think it's probably time. I don't switch my settings, dude. The settings you see there is what I run. I've got a 4090, dude. There's no reason to change the settings. Uh, Dingus, thank you very much for the Prime. Astraling, thank you for the Prime as well. Post post Collapse, thank you for the two months. Right, give me one second. Merry Xmas and a Happy New Year to you and your fam. TRMZ love. It's texting the missus. Uh, new Bambi, dude, Merry Christmas. Thank you for the 45 months, dude. Thank you. This is a lot further than I thought. I thought we'd be there by now, to be honest. Gone away. Kind of wasted the night time, the daytime a little bit, but I haven't got another battery, have I? No. This scope light. A high and variable power hunting scope with illuminated reticle. Merry Christmas to Mrs. TRMZ and chat and a man himself, Paul TRMZ love, TRMZ love. Postman, dude, thank you. Sirius, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the new sub. Uh, Sirius Neko and Postman, thank you for the 20 months, dude. Merry Christmas, all of you. I'm really hungry. 
I didn't really have any breakfast and for lunch I had a vegetable samosa. I had to take a thing to eat it, a ta glutalytic tablet anyway. I shouldn't say that, the guy that says I'm making all this shit up will be on me, won't he? But anyway, I had a, a, a veggie samosa for, for lunch. And it was more of a snack than lunch. And now I'm fucking hungry. I'm, I'm like proper hungry. I didn't eat enough before the stream. I might have to go and find myself a banana or something. There was a time when Daisy had an average of 4,000 players monthly. Cake, it definitely got lower than that. Yeah, well, you may be right monthly, but there were days when I was still, I was a full-time streamer where the, get, the peak for the day didn't get above 2,000. Or maybe it, maybe I'm wrong. The peak might have got a little bit above it, but I remember starting streams and there was 1,900 people playing DayZ. You know, that that was pretty scary. Like, th th I'm, I was never really worried because the game was still in development. But there was a little bit of a, what if it keeps going down, you know? There is that, like, there is that slight worry, you know? it's It used to be more, now it's 1,900. What if it becomes 900? What if it becomes 9? <laughs> Thankfully, it went right the other way. Like, the, the, the full year that we were on 0 0.62, those were some pretty dark times. And then when 6.3 came, it was a horror show for a while, you know? Like, they, they were really not ready, and, and like, the uh, the game game was just a mess. Oof. It wasn't a mess for very long, but when the game went 1.0, it was shocking for a short while, you know? It launched, like, with no SKS. That the scopes weren't fully fleshed out, and the uh, it was it was not great, you know. And everyone knew it wasn't great, and we all knew it was going to get better. But it it was really kind of worrying for a little while, you know. What's the numbers these days? Forking Christ, I think the devs did a little blog post about it. But their average players on PC for November for the whole month was the highest average players they've ever had for the game, even the month it came out. So, it it's be beaten its all-time peak player base again recently. Again to play this game. Love to listen to your sexy British English TRMZ love. So it's beaten its all-time peak player base recently, but on top of that, it's beaten its all-time average player base for an entire month in November. So, it's doing pretty well. Lots of reasons for that. The, the devs are a massive part of it. A lot of the modders are as well. You know, they, there's like a, there loads of other people too, to be fair, but. Like the new maps and the new mods and all the different things they've added a lot of richness to the game, but as have the devs excellent. as well, you know, like uh, So it's kind of cool. God, this is dark, isn't it? I, I could have done with uh, I could have done with getting where I was going while I could actually see what I was doing I suppose, but Well, we can come around this lake and then just get in an overwatch spot in the tree line maybe for now I wonder What's at Bishop out? Maybe we could go to Bishop Outpost first I might do that. We might go to Bishop Outpost, Outpost first. Uh, last shift, Paul. You doing 12 hours, bastard? Or as soon as how you are so nicely, Reese? No, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> no, I'm not. I've got. I've actually got to go and do the food shop tonight. So I've got to go with the missus. We've got to go and go to a supermarché and and get all the X Xmas stuff in. Spectrum, well, cheers for coming in. I appreciate it, dude. I know what you meant, Reese. It's okay. I just like to read it as a uh, with a comma. I wasn't taking any offence, by the way. <laughs> it's all good. Bishop is OP highest tier, is it? Okay. Well, we'll see if we can get there. What a way! We're a long way away. I can't see fucking anything. I don't really want to use my head torch. I don't need those. Possibly don't need the 9mm. I don't really want to use the head torch. But it's got to the point where I can't really see what I'm doing. I think we're best.
This is looking very tall. I'm, I'm a bit worried I might struggle to get up this hill. Massive in the distance there, isn't it? Holy shit. Gamma refers to the luminance of each pixel of your monitor at a given brightness level, from 0 to 100%. If the gamma levels of your monitor are low, the shadows are brighter. If they're high, the light is more... More luminescent. Luminescent is a nice word, isn't it? Oh, Paladin, thank you very much for that. <laughs> My 14-year-old watches me me play Daisy now he wants me to play it what do you think oh gee I think if if my 14 year old showed interest in playing Daisy I would play Daisy with her but I'd be inclined to play Daisy with her on a on a low pop server where we were just playing for the PVE and the adventure and just like I I, I wouldn't r personally let my 14 year old play on an open server because dicks be dicks you know I, I think I'd want her to be more like 16. Like, I, I, they can watch films that have got a bit of gore in and stuff. My my younger one, who's soon to be 12, has seen fucking Stranger Things, which, if I'm being honest, I wouldn't allow her watch, but her mum did, so she's already seen it, you know. But I, I think for me personally, maybe because she's a girl, maybe, I don't know, but at 14, I'd, I'd be inclined to play Daisy with her, but on a server where she's not going to bump into someone saying something stupid. What are you thinking about snow in the end of the trailer? Marinus, I think it is snow. Some people are thinking it might not be snow. It might be something else. I think it's snow. Uh, I, I'm thinking it's a new map. I'm thinking it's a new map, but I'm really hoping it's actually a new game. That's what I'm, thi that's what I'm thinking. I believe it's a new map. I think they're going to release a new map for the game, like DLC. And I think that's what it is. But I'm really hoping that it's a new game. It won't be that, but I can still hope, right? I dreamed a dream of Daisy too. I'm somewhat worried about this now. I'm going to get to a point where I can't go up anymore. Oh my god, I'm going to die. That's the thing, it must be up there, that red and white tower. I don't fancy coming down here very much, I ain't gonna lie. It may be that there's players there and I don't have to come down it, let's be honest. Uh, you might be right, Resident, there might not be much of a chance, but who knows. I think it's much more likely to be DLC. I think it's much more likely to be DLC for now. The one thing I do know is it seems like that it, I read the thing they posted yesterday. They've sort of said that 2024 is going to be a bit like 2023 and a bit like 2022, which is start the year with a couple of patches that mostly are around fixing bugs and and trying to get the game to play better, and then leading towards in the second part of the year the biggest content patch of the year. So it sounds like that's what they're doing in 2024. But the upshot to that is that. They're still developing DayZ for another full year, and they've got they're employing more developers. They've got more of a team now on it than they had before. I've got to be honest. Two or three years ago, I thought DayZ would have stopped developing by now, probably. So the fact that they are still doing it is very good news. You know, the game still needs more development. It's not like it doesn't need it. It does, but I think it's good news that it's getting it. Thirty-one months. Keep up the hard work. I wish you and the family a wonderful Christmas. Thank you. Also, good luck for Saturday. T R M Z love. T R M Z love. Guna, yeah. Good, good luck for for Saturday. I I, I hope it's not too big of a win for Liverpool. <laughs> uh, I I really hope Liverpool beat. I I, I know. I, I obviously uh, I'm not hoping your team loses, as it were. But I really hope Liverpool win on Saturday. It, obviously, it's first and second in the league right now. But it would be such a big win, you know, like they've kind of faltered slightly in the league. I just have a funny feeling that winning the quarterfinal of the, the League Cup so easily might help with the confidence as touch. 
Garrett, somebody was talking about it earlier. Garrett, uh, they lost to a, like a lower division team or something. The only thing that's a shame is that we don't know what's coming yet. I really hoped they were going to announce it. I feel like their plan was to announce it in December. But maybe uh, things have been delayed. Maybe whatever they were planning on releasing, maybe they were going to release it in January to March. And now maybe they're going to release it October to December kind of thing, you know. So they're not announcing it when they were going to. Which I really hoped we'd hear about it now. They lost to an amateur team. Fucking hell. No, no, I didn't say it's West Ham's year. No, I said, I, I, I think Liverpool beat West Ham on Wednesday. And I hope that will give Liverpool a little more confidence. They've been playing a little bit hit and miss. I'm kind of hoping beating West Ham cosily will allow them to kick on against Arsenal tomorrow. I'm going to go to these towers first. It's a shame that Arsenal is going to ruin Liverpool's confidence. It's funny, I'm, I'm a Liverpool fan, right? At no point have I ever been so confident when they're going away to another title rival that I'll happily pretend to myself that I really believe they're going to win, you know? Like, I think Liverpool are, are doing pretty well this season. Arsenal are too, of course. But I, I'm not quite so sure of myself to be suggesting that it's going to be a walk in the park. And I've seen Arsenal a little bit this season. They ain't they ain't fucking like world beaters just yet. They may well be, though. They might win the league, but I don't know. I feel like Liverpool and Arsenal are likely to end up finishing behind Man City, if I'm honest. Uh Girl Doggy, thank you for the fifteen months. Paladin, thank you very much. Stim Peaches for the support and Guna, thank you very much too. Yeah, we're going to lose Salah for for some games, but you just don't know. Like like Egypt did well last time. There was the African uh, uh, Cup of Nations, right? They they got to the final, but that might not happen again. Egypt might get dumped out earlier on. You just don't know how long we're going to be without him. But we didn't struggle too much when, like last time, we lost Salah and Mane for the whole of the uh, African Cup of Nations because both teams got to the final. This time we haven't got Mane, we've got Diaz instead, you know, like, I, I think that's probably better, you know. We'll see. It's not a good thing. Salah's Liverpool's most important player, you know, there's no denying that. So, it's going to be, he's going to be a big miss. But, I think Liverpool will be okay. I haven't looked at the fixtures and who they're playing, to be honest, but I think they'll be alright. God, this is dark. Health, yeah. Well, I think a lot of it is bravado. I think I believe what they're saying is the honest truth. I think Salah might go in the summer, yeah. Mike, I like Bitterroot. It's fun. I think there's there's definitely something there. I quite like Bitterroot. I quite I quite like the, uh, the... The problem is mainly to do with... And this particular test, they've got 80 players. So the getting a start is the tricky bit. Everywhere you go, there's four or five new spawns. Everywhere feels like Kamishovo at its worst. <laughs> or, uh, I don't know, Gliniska or Brenner at its worst. Everywhere feels like that. So getting a start can be tricky, but once you have got a start, there's some interesting locations to visit, I think. It's kind of cool. I shouldn't be coming here in the dark. I think this is going to be a mistake. lose endo for the Asia Cup. I don't know when that is. 
Liverpool do still look a little bit light in midfield. And I, I know they've got some really good youth players coming through. But uh, I don't know. It would be good to see Liverpool sign... I know they've got Endo, but it would be amazing to see them sign a holding midfielder in the, in the January transfer window. They were after a, uh, a South American player whose name I can't remember, but I, I don't know if there's any feasibility of him. Buying a, a South American player from South America in January sounds like a recipe for failure to me, but nonetheless, they, they could do with another body, you know, I think. Andre, yeah, that's the name. Is it worth playing Daisy on console? Console post post uh, collapse. Lots of people do. If you've got an Xbox, you can play it on the Game Pass. So you you can try it. If you've got an Xbox Game Pass, you can play it on that. Loads of people like it. It's a bit polarizing, dude. Like anything is though. So some people say it runs like dog shit, and some people say it runs amazingly well. You know, I've never played it on console, but there's lots of people playing it and enjoying it right now. You know, so it really is something for you to try. If you've got a next-gen console, it runs much better, apparently. I, again, I've never tried it, but if you're on a PlayStation 5 or equivalent Xbox, it's meant to run much better than if you're on the older console. Well, if this is high-tier loot, we're being a bit unlucky. This is, this is crap, isn't it? I want the VSS. No zombies here, which really worries me. It makes me think that some fucker's been here. Not seeing any dead zombies either, though. I think there's players here. I won't be surprised if they're in the tower or something. No helmet. I did just hear a zombie outside. AR-15 mags. I'll take one. Let's take the pristine one, shall we? Uh, stonk knife. Or ston knife. That's ston knife, not stonk knife. Stonk knife is an interesting name. Ston knife. Dude, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Hopefully one of the mods can get a shout out in the chat. Will you? Thank you for the raid, dude. Will you post videos on YouTube until your next stream? Uh, there's only one, dude. There's one video. There's one edited video. It's only a little one, but it's kind of a fun one, like a little revenge mission. So there's one edited video that's going to come out. I might release it on Sunday, so in two days' time. But after that, there'll be nothing until uh, until I'm back, because there's nothing edited, you know? There's nothing for me to edit. Well, I'm not editing, my uh, my editor's editing, but Uncupa, my editor, is on holiday after today, so he's finished now. He's in Australia, he's probably asleep right now, you know, so my editor's finished. Uh, we've got one more video, like I say, one more video edited that's me playing with Amish Zed coming out probably on Sunday. When do I think the event video will come out? It certainly won't be straight away. The, the video after is going to be uh, winter winter team up into foul into DMR killing spree. So the next series on YouTube will be a couple of videos long and it will be all around the, the DMR. 
getting the DMR and using the DMR and shit. Hazardous. Uh, the DMR may be like the old LAR, but the uh, in the game the DMR is way better than the the LAR. It's so much more powerful. The difference is so big, and that's just sitting there. The LAR one taps people unconscious at a, a crazily, or quite quite far distance. It, it's like having a semi-automatic Winchester, pretty much. You know, it's like having a semi-automatic Tundra. It's really good. I actually think they're gonna they're gonna nerf it a little bit if I'm honest. I think it'll probably see a nerf at some point. I think it's probably a touch too powerful at the moment. I, I hope they don't, if I'm honest. It's hard to get and it's it's the best gun in the game. I think it's nice to have a best gun in the game, but it really is powerful. I suspect it'll see a slight change to its uh, shot so it doesn't knock people on con quite so far away. Yeah, the DMR basically is an M14, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to drop the FAMAS. I don't have the time or the space or the energy to carry that shit. I actually didn't think the night time would be this long. Do I go in the tower? I tried to work out while listening to you couldn't do it. Kept laughing, tears of joy, tears of joy. Apple, well, uh, cheers for coming in, I appreciate it. <laughs> Working out to my uh, to my stream, I think that's uh, hmm. I think that would be doable. Where the fuck is the entrance? Denied at the at the door. Hello? Is there anybody up there? Merry Christmas, Paul Eight. It's Christmas time. There's no need to shoot a dude in the back, okay? Do they know it's respawn time at all? No, no, they don't. Uh, Murph, thank you for the resub. 80 months, no less. I'm not liking the fact that I've got no light now. I wonder if I should have left my head torch on. I'm coming up. I've not got a gun in my hands and I don't want any trouble. Said that last part in game. Yeah, Tokes, I'm talking to any potential player up here. Okay, guys, I need to go to the loo. It's uh, it's code brown time, I'm afraid. Code brown time is upon me. It doesn't happen so often these days, but I don't know, with all the Christmas food, it's happening at the midday, that's rare. Uh, the, the fanny pack, eh? The, the, uh, the, the party pouch, it does suit, right? Murph, Apple, thank you for the resub. Ston, thank you for the, for the host raid once again. Dandan, How much how man FPS do I have in this setting? Sebastian, Sebastian, oh, I'm actually locked at 120 pretty Happy much, Christmas and that's what I'm all. getting. But have, I've got an old second monitor, and I have trouble have with my break. frames if I go, if I don't lock it. So my my second monitor is 60 hertz, so I have to lock lock my main monitor at 120 just because of how it works with streaming. It's a bit of a ball ache, but I get 120 pretty much everywhere. Right, I'll I'll be uh, I don't know. Gotta go and make a delivery. A couple of minutes. Just for the entertainment, I hope you always have a good break. You too, dude, Dan. Thank you very much for the support. Merry Christmas, Dan. Thank you very much for the tip. That's very, very kind, dude. Thank you. Right, I'll be back in a sec, guys.
What a year. Hope everyone has happy holidays. Holy guy. How goes the running? Pretty good. It's been a good stream so far today, I think. Oh, we got lucky. We're on the way straight in, probably because it's dark, I guess. Let's hope there's nobody in the fucking thing with us. I oh, seem to be okay. I was hoping it might be daylight by the time we got back, to be honest. Oh, no way! Man, that sucks.
I should have had him there, but he obviously he moved. I, I, it was a headshot, and then he he moved a bit. I was like, oh, just go for the chest and be sure. Then he moved some more. I think he's going to have a buddy. That was a fast code break. All that time waiting, and as soon as I throw the grenade, he fucking moves. That's unlucky. That's really unlucky. I think my grenade would have killed him. The range on that grenade is pretty strong. I think we would have killed him there. I think he probably knows where I am. Obviously the suppressor is helping me, but I think he probably knows where I am. It's annoying that. I've been I've been feeling pretty good, but uh, shooting-wise, but yeah, I, I mucked that one up. So frustrating as well. He was just crouched and static. The gamma isn't up, actually. I could do that. I feel like he's got a buddy. We may be up here for a little while now. I think he's probably inside the building for now. I don't, he might have gone under the fence and away down there, but I, he's either gone directly behind the building down the hill, or he's still behind the building or inside it underneath. I think he's probably inside the building for now, aiming at the door waiting for me, and I'm not going to come. There's no friendly at high tier military bases, there's only shooting, unfortunately, and missing in this case. He may think I'm on the roof of the building that he's ran to. He might think I'm on he doesn't know for sure where I'm at, that's definitely. The only thing he does know is that he hid behind the tent and I didn't shoot at him, so he probably does think I'm in the tower. I think he knows where I am. It's a shame that, though. That grenade would have got him. I'm sure it would have got him. Yeah, I've got friendly, friendly, uh, friendly bum bag, fanny pack, whatever you call it. That's so annoying. Like, it literally opened the door and there's a dude crouched still. I don't know what he was moving in a really kind of slightly strange manner, though, wasn't he? Like, I don't know, he was like picking something up off the ground or some shit. I don't know. I feel like he might have gone. I think he might have gone over behind the building and away. No, there's another there's a back door into that building, right? You can get in at the back corner. There's there's a way to get underneath it. So it, it could be inside it in the you can't really go under it here. We were in we looted it earlier. The staircase is filled in, so it could be in the back corner room, just waiting for me to try and push him. He probably has fucked off. He may well have fucked off down and away, over, underneath or over the wall. It's hard to know though, isn't it? You just don't know. He might be waiting at the bottom of my ladder for all I know. I don't think he is.
Mike, there's a new YouTube video, is there? Very cool. Daisy just confirmed in a YouTube video that they continue to support the Get Daisy even moving into the next decade. That is good news. Fuck, and he was there. I wish I'd saved my grenade. GG to him, so he managed to get underneath and wait. Fair play. From having an easy shot on him to getting shot in the back. There's nothing I could do there, though. There was... Like, I, I could have... Obviously, I could have hit the shot, but having missed the shot, I'm not going to wait up there all day. Fair play to the dude. He managed to get himself in a good spot. That was a really fun life, though. I enjoyed that, though. We took out a squad of three with a, with a Tundra. That was kind of cool. Unfortunately, that shot coming back was not so cool. Going to check out the video. We could do, actually. We might as well. I mean, why not? Let's let's go and watch it. That's a good shout. We could watch it together, couldn't we? Why not? I might do something other than Bitterroot. Not because it's been bad. That was a really fun life. But I feel like maybe we could do something different now, you know? Maybe. I don't know. I didn't dislike that. That was cool. Right, so there is... Let me go to my subs feed. 10 year anniversary Q&A. 10 minute video, that's not too bad, so we might as well watch that. So this is a 10 year anniversary video Q&A that's just come out today. Do with it going properly full screen, why is it not? Happy man's man. Considering 10 years is a lot of time, there are many. Why, why is it not going properly full screen? Why is it keeping the bars at the top and the bottom? Milestones. It all started with a very successful early access launch on Steam, which has spearheaded the project to the point that it is, is right me. now. We've made a decision to develop Infusion Engine. Uh, we've also made a decision to target the uh, console platforms. This has pretty much uh, evolved into the 063 and 10 version on I Steam press the and later right one. also an Xbox Still got the black and PlayStation. Bar. The next milestone after this was the release of Livonia DLC. And what I would also mention is the successful transition from the development to the life ops mode. This switch has got us where we are right now with ever growing player base even five years after the 10 release. Oh, uh, player feedback. Uh, that's interesting question. That's interesting because they said they had a new project lead, and I didn't know what the name of the dude is. So, oh, so this is the project lead for uh, Daisy player. now, Thomas uh, Pribiel. Uh, so, uh, I think Sumrak was project lead for a time. They've brought somebody else in to be project lead. So now it's Thomas is the name of the project lead now. Feedback. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, he was question. creative lead. That's but right, White Bottom. But there was nobody else to be project lead, right? They didn't have one. Okay. Tomash. Because okay. uh, with a game like we have, there are a lot of uh, ideas uh, where we should go or uh, how we can uh, adjust or expand the gameplay. We like a lot of those ideas. It's not always possible to include all of them. And we need to choose, uh, well, based on how it will in impact the gameplay itself, if it will expand it. And also Where's if uh, it fits with our plans and uh, still keeping the vision of the game, which is survival. One of the challenges that we face is that uh, Daisy is not just a game, it's also a platform and we need to make sure that it's robust enough so others can customize it to their liking. One of the lessons that we learned that we should have uh, developed the game with the gamepad in mind the moment we knew that it was targeted for the consoles too. There are various design challenges that we face on a daily basis, such as how many items should be repairable or how specific the tools in the game should be. For instance, should I fish with a plastic explosive? Hmm, maybe. 
Development differ quite a bit before and after 1.0 release. Uh, before 1.0, you are usually solving problems like how do I load a weapon from design and technical implementation. After 1.0, you are building on top of these foundations. We had our path a little more rough because of the low level changes to the engine happening too close to 1.0 release, but we've caught up on our backlog since then. In Daisy Development, we try to uh, encourage players to become creative and inspire them to live out whatever they want to be and to create emergent gameplay this way. So whenever we bring a new feature or new cosmetics in there, we ask ourselves the question, what could players do, what kind of crazy stuff could people do with that? Balancing the game uh, is quite difficult and especially it applies for us because uh, Daisy is quite complex game with a lot of features and adding new stuff and making sure that uh, it clicks well that's not an easy task especially for our designers but we are always thinking how we can uh, evolve the game uh, in some interesting ways while still keeping the core and by that i mean the survival experience because uh, daisy is uh, about survival while yes we have of course weapons and other means of distraction we are no way, no way near uh, of what, for example, Arma has, because that's uh, really focusing on military combat and simulation in a way. But in our case, it's more about environment, uh, the hazards that uh, players need to overcome. They need to learn how to craft things, how to find some food, water and other things to survive. And uh, in the worst case scenario, also uh, they might fight off some infected or even other players. But if they are lucky, they can also find someone who is friendly and want to help each other with survival, which makes it much easier. We are also looking in ways how we can uh, add more stuff for those players. So there is uh, more meaningful uh, things to do when you want to help each other out. Melon, I think thanks the story for the gift I like the Thank most you. is how DayZ was able to connect players. Due to the emergent nature of our game, players spend a lot of time with each other, being traversing the world, fishing, or just sitting at a campfire telling each other stories and exchanging about life. So people get to know each other very well by spending a lot of time in the game. I'm always happy when I hear about stories how players were able to connect and grow to become good friends or even loved ones over time. I remember uh, quite early when uh, the game was released in early access, there was, uh, I'm not sure if it was a stream back then or if it was a series of YouTube videos. There were two players, I believe one was American and one was Russian. They met uh, and they started to play together, even though they didn't speak the language of the other player. So it was quite interesting because uh, when they were talking, uh, one was talking in English, the other one was talking in Russian. They didn't really understand each other, but still they played uh, together for quite a long time. It was uh, quite an adventure of like two, uh, two players who never met each other in the real life and still spent a lot of time and became friends uh, through the game. And when uh, uh, one of the players were dying after some firefight, the last words before his character died uh, were, You're, you are my friend, in the, another uh, player's language. That was so so sweet and uh, and nice, and this is exactly what we what we've meant with uh, this is your story because this is exactly the thing that players never will never forget. Um, S Daisy is uh, all about connecting with other players and creating a shared experience. Um, there are over the course of ten years, of course, several stories where. Um, On my 20th month of subbing the running man said to me, ones. it's the last uh, stream of 2023, for all the entertainment this year, Paul. Love you, bye. Batman, thank you. Uh, Merry Christmas, Melon as well. Melon Tester, thank you for the gifted subs and the bits as well. Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Panty Christ, Soul Patrol, Redux, thank you Merry very Christmas, much for the resubs and bits and things. Uh, cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. We'll carry on with this. Thanks a lot. I'm kind of enjoying this, though. I'm looking forward to... Well, apparently they're going to say they're going to carry on supporting the game for into the next decade, which is kind of cool, and it didn't look like that would happen, you know? And 
people, players have reached out to us several dozens already at this time and shared with us memories and stories, experiences they had with a player. And this impacted us very deeply. And these days, if you traverse generous or Livonia, you might come across individual grave sites on hills, on vantage points, close to villages, right, or just dude. randomly Thank in the forest. Thank you for the support, man. Thank you very and much. Each of these grave sites is connected to a memory, to an adventure, an experience, a player who in many cases left us too soon and is now deeply missed. Ryan, dude, thank you very much. Dan, thank you for the resub as well. Oh, yes, there is. Can I share it? Uh, I'm not sure about details, but I can give you some hints, maybe. Uh, the thing is that uh, we still have plans, and uh, when I'm saying plans, we're thinking years, not months. So uh, we are, of course, planning uh, to support the game in a way that uh, our players might know, with uh, some free updates, some additional stuff that they can use and play around with. But we are also thinking about uh, how can we move into the next decade with DayZ with some new content and some new gameplay that will be interesting for our players. I'm really interested to learn how many developers of 10-year-old game uh, get this question. Because, uh, well, uh, we're a little unicorn here uh, with uh, celebrating 10 years anniversary uh, this year. And we still have uh, a lot of plans for years to come, uh, including uh, both free updates and maybe something more. Can't believe it's been uh, 10 years since Daisy Mod kicked off. Um, an incredible journey and, and I think uh, for me completely changed my life, changed many people's lives. I think the time developing the mod was just incredible and then being able to bring it through into the standalone and see what Bohemia is, where Bohemia has been able to take it uh, is really special and the, the ripples that left through the gaming community as well have, have just been, been magnificent. Just really fantastic as well to see at this point that, that, that Daisy is going from, from strength to strength and how Bohemia has been able to just pull that forward. So, uh, you know, happy 10th birthday uh, and it, it certainly looks like there's many, many more birthdays ahead. So, super, super excited. Yeah, very cool. That's kind of positive, right? That like they're teasing DLC, but they are being quite guarded. You know, it might be a new map. It sounds like it's not likely to be Daisy Two, but they are being a bit coy. You know, it might be that they might be bringing like some kind of sort of form of modding to console. This is all guesswork. Don't it, no, I don't know anything. They they might be bringing some of the tech from Armor Four or Armor Reforger across. They, you know. There might be like a DLC that involves a new map, but maybe, I don't know, helicopters or something. Who the, who the fuck knows? No, but I feel like there's definitely some DLC coming, but I'm, I'm hopeful that it's a bit more than that. Maybe like tech upgrades or like improved graphics and improved stuff from armor or whatever. Who knows, you know? Uh, he, well, he said free, when he says free content, John Banging, what he means is like the regular updates that we've been having for the last 10 years already, you know, so... He means like the update we just had. There'll be four or five updates next year. Same kind of thing, you know. So uh, that's good. But I think uh, I think what I'm really interested in is I'm interested in the game improving, but I'm interested in knowing what the paid updates are going to be. Is it just going to be a new map or is it going to be something tech related as well or what? Who knows? <sighs> uh... Ranking guest, thank you very much for the support, very kind. Uh, Jack of Spades, cheers for the resub as well. Uh, do you know what day it is? Today is the day you realise who you are. You didn't wake up to be a, a weak ass bitch, you're a champion. And champions keep, champions keep going, so keep spreading the fuckery. Jack, thank you very much. 
Robot Lady won't read that out. There's one or two too many fucks in there, but I read it out, dude. Thanks for the support, man. Cheers for the resub. Right, I am going to see if we can find one of these 10-year boxes. I think that's what we'll do. They've got the 10-year anniversary boxes out, right? I've not found one yet, so I think we're going to go in a server where we might find one of those. I think that seems like a good idea. I don't know if there's much of a queue here, but I'm going to... I'm going to try and go in a server where I can go and try and find like a 10 year box, you know, that'd be cool. Oh, there's definitely some paid content coming, John. Yeah, they're, they're, they're implying some form of DLC. Oh my Tenth god. Year and they hit record play account in November. Bargain of a game since I paid around £20 oh. the first day of early access. Right, so I'm in a 10 person queue. It may not be, oh, that might be all right. It may not be very big. Let's just give it a whirl. We'll give it a whirl. I, I don't think this queue will take very long to get through, but I'll give it two or three minutes. If we're not like down to four or five, I'll find another server. Just died after my personal best 15 hours on Deer Isle. That sucks, dude. Uh, I got killed Wayne on Bitterroot. I, I I went I went AFK, came back, missed a shot on a dude, and then he he, he just waited for me at the bottom of my ladder. I wished I'd had another grenade. The thing that's frustrating is he was behind a tent and my grenade was perfect. I would have killed him, but he moved just before. Fair play to him, you know. Right, I am going to quickly open my door because I've got... Livery's coming at some point in the next of hours uh, a couple of last minute things that i picked up for my kids and nephew uh, but if i don't if i miss the delivery today i'm fucked i'm new to daisy any advice for new players uh, well i hope you enjoy the game the game there is exclamation new player i think it is but there's a little paragraph that's the same thing i say to everybody mia i maya i get asked all the time the honest truth though along with what it says there Thanks, Topper. Uh, along with what it says there is to just have fun, you know. For the first 50 hours, you're, you're exploring and trying to learn how to not die, and that's it, you know. Don't worry too much about having firefights. Crazy shit. Just enjoy exploring the map and learning how to not die to thirst and hunger and zombies and shit, you know. Uh, Prometheus, cheers for the converted sub. Last bits of the year. Merry Christmas and... Yeah, you too, Redux. Happy New Year, dude. Merry Christmas. Thank you. That was cool, though. It, it, it's it's nice to hear that there's there's other things coming. And they're really trying to be a bit guarded. I think there's definitely a new map coming. I really do. But I'd love to know if there's new tech coming or maybe there's like a Daisy 1.5 patch. Or who knows? We'll We'll have to wait and see. How am I feeling? Andre, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling all right. I'm uh, I'm a little bit like uh, a mixed feeling of having that Friday feeling because this is the last stream and then I'm off until the 2nd of January, which is great. You know, I, I don't have that long off very often, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm looking forward to a few days off, but also I've got to go and do the Friday, like the, the, the big shop food-wise. This morning I've been out all morning, so today's a long day tomorrow i've got to get up early and get to get to the town and pick up a few other things so i'm still fucking around preparing for christmas once i get to about saturday afternoon Happy i'm going to be feeling pretty everyone. relaxed by then hopefully everything will be done i'd just like to get to the point where everything's done and then i can just sit and chill out that'd be lovely uh martel thank you so much for the gifted Happy subs christmas Fox to Trot, you and angry yours. guy uncle thank Thanks you very for much another as well. year of great content Uh, happy Christmas, angry guy, uh, everyone else as well. Thank you. I haven't actually had my headphones on for it. Dad's part-time streamer now. Yeah, that's right, Ali. I'm a part-time streamer now. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, Al. Uh, let me just click on your name. You've had your account since 2015. You've only had 80 messages. You're a part-time viewer, dude. <laughs> part-time fucking viewer. Who are you to judge? 
<laughs> dude thank you for coming in i am grateful i'm not i'm only pulling your chain but no i'm definitely not part-time i've done my hours this year rest assured i've earned the fucking break <laughs> happy holidays paul enjoy a well-deserved break did mark let Last you have the week off of day Z vids on yt i'd kind of forgotten about mark winnies i'd forgotten about mark my fictitious boss i'd forgotten all about him uh no you didn't let me have it <laughs> What is it? Is the ten-year anniversary crate? I don't know, Brave. There, there's some in Cherno, though. So we'll we'll try and find out. Looking That's what we're going to do. Good Christmas whiskey ideas. Chippy, it sounds awful. <laughs> it doesn't really. No, I'm feeling all right though, Andre. I hope you're good. Uh, av average green. I can see that on Twitch. Yeah, that was on Twitch. Uh, Scheisenkauf, thank you for gifting Ali the sub. Very kind. Cinch Dozer, thank you, WM Murph. Thank you, Uncle Evoke. Thank you as well. Happy holidays, Murph, dude. Dozer and Scheisen as well. What meat have I got? I've been and got that from a fancy butcher's. Uh, in, in a, in a, I say this every time, but I don't want to say the name of the town for obvious reasons, but it genuinely is in a town one over. I went to the fancy butcher's. We've got a uh, pork, like a pork joint. It's pork shoulder, but we've got like a pork crackling joint for, for Christmas Day. My mum doesn't like chicken or turkey. My mum's doing Christmas dinner, not me, but I've bought the meat and I dropped it round to to um, them this morning. So my kids are at my mum's at the moment as well. So I've been round and seen my kids and uh, dropped the dropped the Christmas Day meat off. Merry Christmas, Sagorki dude. The Christmas whiskey is Blanton's. Interesting. The most Christmassy whiskey that I've had is Boona have an 18. It has tastes of Christmas. It has got a bit of a Christmas cake picky kind of sherried, fruity, dried fruit kind of vibe to it. Lots of whiskey does, but Boona have an 18 is really good for that. But my bottle ran out last week and I ain't buying another one too much. Pork works best with beans. Uh, sorry, guys, one sec. Yeah, uh, roast pork works any which way, but as part of a like a Sunday roast with like roast potatoes and roast veg and all the trimmings, it's great. It's really good. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, I like, uh, yeah, apples go with it, really. Uh, Strayador's pretty decent topper. I quite like it. I think it's good. Did you try your Dalmore 15 yet? I'm curious on the taste. I have the 12 ke ser sherry cask. Blazed, I'm ashamed to say that it's nearly all gone. <laughs> the Dalmore is kind of pretty much gone. That's why when someone's asking me what's for Christmas, there's no Dalmore being mentioned. <laughs> Have a Merry Christmas. I, I think Dalmore Thanks 15 was pretty good. Months of entertainment. Cheers, Mike. Take it easy, dude. Thanks for coming in. Have a good one, dude. Uh, yeah, the Dalmore 15 was pretty good. Uh, I don't think it's worth the money, though. I, I, I'm not, I wouldn't Christmas, buy it again. Paul and chat. It tasted Thank you decent. For the entertainment and everything you do for this community. But it, to me, it tasted like an, a regular. It, it tasted about the same as a forty or fifty pound twelve year old decent single malt. It didn't taste. Well, it didn't taste better. Hey, dude! Thanks for entertaining me all this time. Have I, a I don't Christmas, think Downwell Fifteen is worth the money in a nutshell. I, I wouldn't buy it again. I bought it when I was a bit drunk, and yeah, and it, it's it's nice, but. It, well, it's too much money for it. It was just about £75 or £80 or something. I wouldn't buy it. I'd rather have Redbreast 12 for, for £30 less. Happy Christmas, Max. Thank you very much for the new sub. Very, very kind. Yeasty Flaps, Just Josh. Thank you very much. Ron Dizzle as well. Merry Christmas, all of you guys. Uh, cheers for the support. Uh, bought Redbreast 12 on your recommendation. It's lovely on ice. Very nice, dude. It is very good. Very, very good. Van Wilco, thank you for the support, dude. Thank you. Yellow spot is uh, is really nice, Harry. I I kind of was a little bit tempted as well, but I, I've got enough out. I've not tried cast strength, Dave. I've tried twelve, fifteen, lust out at twenty one and twenty seven. I've never tried the cask strength. I've never had it, Jack. No, Oban is on my list actually, Shies, and I've not had Oban. It's very very good. Did you see the the new game No One Survived? I have not seen or heard anything of it, I'm afraid to say, no. 
This looks like lower Berezino. I actually want, if I can get it, a, cher a, a Cherno spawn. This is nice. The sun's just coming up. We've got a whole day ahead of us. So, uh, for people that want to know these kind of things, this is true vanilla Daisy. No mods whatsoever. No mods Daisy, right? So, I don't know if we've changed the title or not. Oh, in fact, Topper's just changing on on Twitch right now. If there's any chance someone can do the same on YouTube as well, I'd be very appreciative. That would be good. I'm going to try and respawn. Obviously, with the way the spawns are, I may end up back in Berezino again, but I kind of want to be Cherno if I can. I also need to be Burnside as well, so I could maybe take Berezino if we get it next time, but might as well be the right character. Squid, it uh, doesn't mean I have to be on official. There's, there's servers with no mods that aren't official servers, dude. Thank you, Topo. Well on the ball there, dude. Thank you. He got he got mashed. Look, he's all coated in uh, his clothes are all messed up. Someone someone's twatted him a bit. Maybe it was Zed's, but <laughs> give me some sugar, baby. <laughs> I hope I can respawn when I'm coming. Can't remember. Okay. Uh, Bruticus, Merry Christmas, dude. Uh, Brian, if you knew and you want to try something that's really like a good starting point, I I would really try. It's not the cheapest. It's not the most expensive either, but Balvini Double Wood is is a really good one to try as a beginning one. If you don't like Balvini Double Wood, you probably don't like whiskey. Not because it's that amazing; it really is very, very good. But it's it's not like if you're going to get a first bottle of whiskey, you don't want to get a really peated one or a really smoky one. You want to get a kind of good, like fairly light floral, just a nice whiskey. And, and Balvini Double Wood, Balvini Double Wood is the one. Try that. There's others you could choose as well. Any Glen Morangi is a pretty decent starter. Arbolor is a pretty decent starter. But if you want something nice that's that's really kind of decent at, at, as a starting entry point, Balvini Double Wood is the best one, I think. JD Honey is not an entry level into whiskey. <laughs> It's just not. Ross has just donated fifty dollars. <laughs> it's not. I'm not saying it's bad. There's a place for it. Gonna be lost without your daily stream. I don't actually. I don't hate uh, JD Honey. I, I don't. Not keen on JD, but JD Honey is all right. It's not bad. Redux. No jokes allowed. Okay. I, I'm. I've got joke blindness these days. Okay. <laughs> uh, Wrath, dude. That's very kind. Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you have a good one. Thanks for coming in. I don't want to be here. I want to be in Cherno. I'm going to keep suiciding until we get Cherno. Wrath, uh, thank you so much for the tip. That's very kind. Grind, Merry Christmas, dude. Thank you very much. Sean Polly, Merry Christmas as well. Uh, cheers for the support. Very, very kind. All of you. Right, come on in. I am hunky. Right, hopefully we're not Berezino again. What's the best bot you could get from the shops? Well, Balvini Double Wood would be under that if you go to the supermarket, dude. Definitely. Balvin oh, I thought this was Cherno for a second. Balvini Double Wood would be a good choice, I think, dude. Most supermarkets sell it. Most of them do, like Sainsbury's or Tesco's or whatever. I have to say, that's a nice little Christmas present to hear that the devs are going to be developing the game for many, many more years to come. It's a good thing to hear that, you know, like, I know, I know Daisy's doing pretty well right now, but to know that they're taking on team members and they're looking at the game in the long term is, is really positive. That's really cool. Hmm. 
fucking hate the spawn system. <laughs> it's not had a, too bad of an impact on the game as such, but I, I, the only reason I want to be in Cherno is because I know that there's like special event stuff at Cherno and I want to see it. I've not seen it yet, so if we get Electro, I'll just loop my way to Cherno. That's fine, but I need to be in Cherno Town Centre. I don't mind. It's not too hard to respawn Golden Age. You can you can get one zombie to kill you. You just have to back off of here and there so it makes you bleed. And like, just let the zombie hit you three times, then block until your your uh, your thing comes back, and then do it again. One zombie can make you dead really quite easily, dude. You just need to block when they start when you're risking on con until you until it comes back again. <sighs> Respawn custom and respawn normal is just whether you've got a saved character or not. So, if I use custom, I'm going to be my Burnside character that I always play as. So, it's it like you can select your character if you've got it set up correctly. I can't even remember how to do it, to be honest. But So, if I, I choose custom, I'm choosing this character, basically. It's just the character I spawn in as, that's all. Redux, uh, just because it's selling okay doesn't mean they're guaranteed to keep doing it. Now, I, I agree with what you're saying. If there's lots of people playing it, that means there's still people buying it, which I do kind of see your logic. It makes sense, you know, but there's been plenty of time in the past where it didn't seem likely that that was the case at all, even when the game was doing all right. But I, I think you're right. As a business decision, it would make no sense to shut it down. But you just don't know. You don't know. Well, they might have put all their eggs into Armour 4 or something. You never know. Do you? I'm glad they're not doing that. One more. One more. One more. Two more. Oh, no, it was one more. DJ Dave, you can actually see me choosing the character for the first time. So I think it's the third or fourth video. You can actually, in the narration, you can see a picture of... Uh, it explains it, basically. God, this is tedious, isn't it? But this character looks like a character from an old TV show in the UK called D.I. Burnside from The Bill. But when they, uh, they they added some new characters and I just randomly spawned at this one and decided I liked him the best. Ah, oh, dude, I'm jealous. Enjoy your steak. Enjoy your steak. That sounds lovely. We could just take the fruit and run, couldn't we? Hello? Where had a zombie. Oh well. Any thoughts on the Fallout series? I, I don't really like single player games, to be honest. The Fallout 76 is not for me. I, I, I've only ever really played Fallout 4. I didn't play the other ones. I never really did. I was all playing like COD and Battlefield and shit. You know, but I, I'm not a huge fan. Of it. I don't like, like, go over here, a settlement needs your help. Go over there, a settlement needs your help. Build a base, but there's not much point. And. I, I understand why people really love those games, but I, I, single player games all feel like chore simulators to me. Does Daisy need Daisy too? Uh, not necessarily. I, I think it's not unreasonable to expect Bohemia to want to sell another game at some point, rather than, unless they're going to do really crazily lots of DLC, you know. I, I think it's probably fair that if Armour 4 comes out and it's got loads and loads of new tech in it that they probably won't give that to people hey, who bought the game years ago. How are you doing? Hello, mate. Are you talking from know, a heli- are you, are you in a helicopter? Are you in a helicopter? No fucking way! Sounds well, like I'm you're sorry. in a helicopter. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. No fucking way. Dude, look at this. Look, watch. See what happens. What the fuck? No way. See that? Oh my god. 
the running man. There's no way. I swear. I just tipped you $125 the other day. Did you? Well, holy shit. Merry Christmas. There's no. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> I've got a suicide there's now. Okay. No way. Why are, why are you playing this server? Don't say what it is. Okay. Just. I won't. I won't. I promise yeah. you. Uh, no, I'm. Uh, there's why? Because I do sometimes. I never knew that. That's pretty cool. I won't say what it is, though. I can promise yeah, you Yeah, don't that. say what it is. It's a secret. There's a guy there. There's a lot of people. <gasps> I've only won... I've only dealt with one hacker this server. Oh, good. He's going to end up spawning next to me again at some point, isn't he? That's the one problem with the, the new spawn system is that if you are getting... Uh, this guy's fine, by the way, but so I don't mean him, but... Let's say someone decided they wanted to stream stalk you. I spend more they time could with do it. you than I really do could. with my family. I like you and you only cost me four quid a month. But back to Daisy. Oh, perfect. TRMZ love. I, I think it's not unreasonable to expect that, like, Daisy's engine, like, for the most part, is still catching up. Like, it's not using the same technology as Armour Reforger and Armour Re Armour Ford will do. I think it's not unreasonable to expect they might want to deliver that tech upgrade in a way that makes them money maybe they have like a it's it's still day z but you've got a like there's a i don't know a, a an engine update you have to pay for i, I don't think that's going to be likely i think it's far more likely they'll deliver day z2 and it will be mostly a massive tech upgrade to day z could be wrong but i don't think what they're going to do is spend a load of time developing all of this new tech for armor 4 and then give it to people that bought Daisy in 2013. I think that's really not likely. I think they'll be charging for it, you know. Real Zeg, Armour 3, Daisy came from a mod from Armour 2, so this is going to be the same guy. It's the same character. Right, I'm not going to talk. We'll see. The same dude, I think. I'm not stream sniping. I'm not stream sniping. I, I literally just heard your voice in my stream in the background, dude. No, I had to make sure it was you, though. I'm so not, you're not, I'm stream, not stream sniping, sniping but you say, call. I'm not stream sniping, and then I hear your own voice through your own mic back from my stream. <laughs> yes, I'm that, that doesn't sound legit, that. Dude. I'm not. <laughs> I turned it off, though. All right, very good. What's this dude doing? That dude is rubber banding around. Alright, I've, I've got to go meet up with a mate. Good luck. I'm not stream sniping. Fucking okay, hell. No, oh, there he is, look. I don't know what his problem is. I, I, I think he'll be alright, that guy. I, I, I like the way he said I'm not stream sniping and then blatantly outed himself as actually watching the stream at the same time. Uh, I'm not particularly worried though. I, I, but I, he seems like an okay guy. I'm sure he'll be fine. Let's just carry on. I want to go and see the ten-year stuff. So that that's my plan. I want to go and see the ten-year stuff in Cherno Town Centre. And he was he was kind of fairly uh, fairly down to earth, right? I'm not going to get all hit up about that. It's it's, it's fine. They are meant to be insanely good food, though. These are the candy cane things are in the regular game. If you find one, they're rare. You're getting better at the game. T R M Z G heart. T R M Z running laughing face. Well, thanks for that kick in the teeth. Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> I took out a squad of three earlier. I'll have you know, three three man squad wipe. Oh, he licks it. Look. Licking ASMR. Shit, oh, my stomach was full. Uh, I don't see how it's a massive risk, OHD. I, I don't think it's... 
I, I don't think it's a risk. Daisy is a is an absolutely premium title now. It's but day in terms of unit sales of games, Daisy has sold more than any other game Bohemia has ever made. So making a follow up wouldn't be a massive risk. It would be an absolute massive money spinner. I, I don't really see it your way. Doesn't mean it will be successful, of course, but I think it would be very popular. Uh, but Armour Reforger and then Armour 4 is meant to have, like, modding support for console, for example, you know. I think if they're going to bring that kind of level of extra tech and all of the extra improvements that they, that game has, it's going to come with an update you pay for. It's not going to be free. Whether it's like a Daisy 1.5 update or whether they call it Daisy 2, it will still be very popular. Doesn't really matter. This is all pie in the sky. That could be like five years away yet. We don't know, do we? Arista, thank you very much. Though, uh, cheers for the support, Janny. Thank you very much for the new sub. Sorry, the resub as well. Thank you. Cheers for the twenty-nine months, dude. The main thing is they're going to carry on updating the game, you know. But they also they also teased something that will be paid for, which implies new content in some way. No one's going to pay for a, like an improvement. Like no one's going to pay for uh, like bug fixing. I guess you know that's part of the game dev. You know, but. If you're buying something as DLC, it implies new things, you know, new things that... That, that will be cool. There is a heavy punch and a light punch, Skippy, so... If you just tap the mouse, left mouse, well, you raise your fists by holding right mouse, left, left mouse does a regular punch. If you hold shift at the same time, you do a, you do a, a hook. And you can chain them together so it's a hook and then an uppercut and then a hook. How much would Bohemia have to spend to use a new engine, and would it even work? JSAMs, they uh, they already have the in the engine that Daisy uses is in is Infusion. The engine that Armor Four is running on is the same engine, Infusion. However, Daisy's engine was kind of it's been tinkered a bit, but Daisy came out in 2018, and then the the handling of the new da th this engine Daisy uses is new. It was developed for Daisy and Bohemia. So Daisy came out in 2018. Since then, for five years, they've carried on developing that engine and making it better and improving it every year for Armour Reforger and Armour 4. So the game engine itself is five years further along in development than Daisy has. So it wouldn't actually be expensive. They've already been developing the engine. They're already using it. What they're not going to do, let, they've spent five years developing it for Armour 4. That costs a lot of money. They're going to want to make money back. They're a business, right? They're not going to go... Anyone that wants that new tech has to buy Armour 4. Oh, but anybody that has Daisy, you can have it for free. You know, like... <laughs> that's not going to happen, you know? Like, if we're going to get the similar kind of stuff at some point down the line, it would be either a new game or some kind of upgraded... Like, something you'd pay for. They're not going to do it for nothing, are they, you know? I want those boots, but I don't really want them to be damaged. I might just carry them and, and see if I can fix them. Knifey booties are not to be missed, not to be sniffed at, are they? I don't know what a fair price for Daisy Two would be. About what Daisy One is, I guess. You know, about the same. Don't see why it wouldn't be about the same. What's my take on Armor Reforger? I I think it looks nice. I've only ever played it on the day it released. I've not not played it other than that because. The Milsim side of things is not really my side of things, you know. I like the interaction stuff, so... Uh, I, I really liked some elements of it on the first day, but I've never been back and played it since then, you know. I just played it on day one and that was it. So, Epochs, like... E Epoch knows more about this stuff than I do, but... It, it's a little bit more complex Merry than Christmas I've just made out there, really, but Daisy Pepsi. has some legacy code and some infusion, and I can't describe it as well as you can do, but Armour Armor 4 and Armour Reforger is going to be all on the infusion engine with no legacy code, so I don't think they'll upgrade it all for Daisy. I don't think so. I think for a start, like, the map itself, Chernerus is old. I think... I'd love to see them do a Daisy 2 one day and also 
like it would need to come with its own new map but as a secondary if it came with like a remastered version of Chernerus I think that would be really cool but Chernerus needs quite a lot of love to be a modern game you know Daisy was out this map was made in what 2008 or something like that you know I think it'll need a bit of love to be uh, like to be the, the the main backbone of the new tech I don't think it's going to be announced in January, Redline, no. Are you talking or what? No, I was not. Hello, though. Wish you a Merry Dude, Christmas your, your mic and Happy is New shocking, Year, just so you know. There's some kind of really funky interference on your mic. Can I, do that, I know, I'm sorry. It's really bad. Don't, don't say sorry. Fuck can't, it. it's like, can't be helped. It was like 30 bucks. It's not the I price, was moving dude. to Japan and had yeah, it's to not, get it. There's something up with it. There's like interference on it. I don't think it's the mic itself, but there's something interfering with it, I reckon, dude. I really do. Have you got a buddy in the server? I was trying to... Have you got a buddy in the server? I do, but he's. I'm waiting for him, but he's not on right now. Ah, oh, bastard. He's trapping away in the background. I can hear him. No, I'm in, I'm in the barracks room. I'm in the, in the military. That's my oh, yeah. GG, dude. Well, you're oh, in the yeah. barracks right now. Yes, I am. Holy shit. Well, fair play, dude. GG. Thank you. I appreciate it. No worries. Right, my buddy's in the town and he's very shooty, so I'll I'll, I'll leave you to it. Have a, have a good one, dude. Have Love a good you, Christmas. Bye. You too. He's all right, that dude. I'm not I'm not uh, not doing anything to him. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think his mic is causing that issue. Like when I'm saying your mic sounds awful, I'm not saying buy a better mic, pleb. There's some kind of interference or some issue there that's. There's no mic on the earth that's meant to sound like that. It's not set up right. There's something wrong. There's some kind of interference on the mic. Maybe the way he's got it plugged in, something's interfering with it, you know. That, that's, there's no mic sounds like that, unless it's broken, maybe, but I don't think it is. And he's definitely using speakers because of the, the delay, yeah. But to be fair, it now turns out he's, like, playing from the fucking barracks, you know. GG, like, he's, at least he's on DayZ. You know? Fair play to him. I'm going to go up this way. We're going to check a little bit along the coast. I donated $125 but is in the military. Well, I hope the $125 was for the charity stream, if I'm honest. I hope it was. Uh, yeah, I... I I hope he's not not tipping streamers shitloads of money on a regular basis, but no. To be fair, oh look, Christmas present. If you're in the military, like, I, obviously people that are in the military do not earn anywhere near enough money. They don't, no way. I, be, they, they, the, the wage is not enough, but a lot of people in the military are younger dudes. They're often still, maybe they, they join the military from living with their parents. So, a lot of the time they'll be earning money and they don't, they haven't got bills to pay as such that's quite fairly common you know but wasting it on tipping streamers is not what I'm promoting here I think saving it for a rainy day would be much safer don't waste it on me <laughs> like, keep it keep it for uh, when you're back home would be better bam bams if you're in the stream now you're not helping yourself is the point so if you're in the server just leave the stream. There's no drama. I don't even know if you're the dude I just met or if you're his mate or whatever, but I really don't want drama. It's the last stream of the Christmas year, but if you're in the server or your mate is, just leave the stream and go and have a good day. Go and, go and enjoy the game. It's all good. There's no drama at all. Have a good Christmas. But being in here saying we're not stream sniping, if you're watching the stream, you're still getting meta. Just r remove yourself from the problem and then it's all all sorted, isn't it? You know, go, go and chill out.
Right, I want to go down there in a second. Might as well check out along here. First. In fact, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to go to the... Uh, Oh shit, dead zombie. That doesn't that doesn't bode well, does it? <clears throat> yeah, I know there's some stuff here, some 10 year anniversary stuff, so I want to just see it. Bam Bams, no one's assuming anything. I don't know if you're telling me, but dude, I just said I don't want drama. If you're his mate and you're joining him soon, you shouldn't really be watching here anyway. But that, I don't really give a fuck, dude. Just move along, you know. If you're planning on joining your buddy, stop watching the stream. It's That's all. I'm not saying you're going to stream snipe. I'm not said your mate is. Although your mate clearly has been talking to me while watching the stream, which is a shame. But it's still fine. I'm not bothered. Wobo shared something about banners on this building, but they're not there. I saw in Wobo's video stuff about banners being unfurled from that building, but maybe that was just on the day. We can take those. Wishing you fantastic holidays and plenty of happy free days ahead. Keep up the awesome content. Cheers. Not him, is it? I don't think it is him. No, I don't think it is. The flies wouldn't be there if it was him. ever I played on had chests and banners, music and fireworks at night time. Oh shit, night time's just finished. That sucks. Chests have 10 year shirts, you can't open them till midnight. Okay. Get a filter off of this dude. going to do any major daisy events when you come back from holidays i don't know dude depends what's on i believe happy bombs is planning some kind of an event so we may try and go in that if i can that'd be cool i think happy bombs has got something planned for january so i'd like to go in that if at all possible yeah but i don't know what events there's going to be to be honest i've no idea I really don't understand the whole drama here, you know, like, I'm, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. Twitch chat will accuse anyone of everything, and, and it only needs to be one of many thousands. It's no big deal. But let's just carry on looting and enjoy the game would be good. I don't want to be fucking all wound up about bullshit. Merry Christmas, Coxie. Hope you're good. On the upside, look at that. We've got this, what's it called? Uh, Morozo, Morozco hat. Morozco. What's the 10 year thing we're looking for? Well, it's not there, dude. We've got to come back at night time. At, around the, uh, the main building there in the square. Uh, there are banners and potentially fireworks and, oh, fuck. Uh, other, other things to see. So there's like loot boxes with special t-shirts that your character can wear and stiff like only little things but it would be kind of and stiff I just said then by the way I'm, I'm not stiff right now but stuff was what I was meant to say do you think it would be cool if they added a full Santa outfit I don't see why not I don't think it would be hugely transformative but it would be kind of cool kind of cool yeah
The Morosco hat makes you look like a McDonald's Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. Oh, thank you, Archer. JR, that sounds nice. I've never had any uh, Taiwanese whiskey myself. Uh, Merry Christmas, dude. I hope you have a great one. Okay, that's kind of nice. Right, I think we'll... we'll uh, I don't know if we need to go to Bolotta or not. I'd like to come back to Cherno. I wonder if we should have looked a bit more. I think we'll carry on for now. I'd like to come back to Cherno when it's night time. I want to see the celebration stuff. I really do, but too early. Uh, uh, Lee, thanks for the kind words. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great one, dude. Thank you. Do I ever get bored of the running sim? Uh, I don't find it a running sim myself. There's lots of running involved, but I'm always doing something else, so... No, I don't ever get bored of streaming, no. Uh, playing DayZ is different to streaming DayZ, so I'm, I'm when I'm answering chat and I'm always having a conversation the whole stream, even if the gameplay is terrible, and let's face it, when I'm streaming, it quite often is. <laughs> like, I can, I really enjoy it. It's my favourite game of all time. The random shit that can happen in the game is amazing, but... Playing Daisy while streaming is not the same as playing Daisy. I, I, I don't get bored at all. Thanks for all the great streams this year. Merry Xmas and keep on running in the new year. Because I'm always doing shit, and I, I'm I've spent 20 years doing jobs I didn't like. You know, like I effectively get to do this for a living. It's, uh, what's not to like? You know, running around in your favourite game of all time, chatting shit with a group of people that vaguely know you or kind of want to be there. You know, like, it's kind of a cool thing to do. I quite like it. I think people kind of miss, uh, let's use a George, Bu George Bushism, people kind of misunderestimate uh, the uh, how fun streaming can be, you know, sometimes you, you can have good days and bad days and whatnot. In the last few months I've had quite a few bad days if I'm being completely honest, not on stream, not because of the stream, but had quite a lot of challenges and different things, uh, like IRL things that have been kind of challenging, you know, that. That can make streaming a bit harder, but it can also be a good distraction from the IRL things as well, you know. I never play Daisy without streaming. Not anymore, Fury. No, no, I don't. I, I don't need to, you know. Like, like a bit like a a painter and decorator probably doesn't do a shitload of painting and decorating in their spare time, you know. If you do something for forty hours a week, you probably want to do something else when you're not doing that, you know. Yay! I I know that. I'm looking for the anniversary stuff. It wasn't there because it's not night time. Uh, Mike, yeah, dude, I hope it goes okay. That sucks. Fool me twice, uh, I can't get fooled again. <laughs> Sinister, yeah, I know you have, dude. More so than I have, by a long way. You only play 40 hours a week? I don't know what I play. It probably averages that, you know. I, the 12-hour Monday probably feels quite a lot, but if I do three days at seven hours, that's 21. I do Sunday at six hours, that's that's 27. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. And then I do a 12-hour on a Monday, that's only 39, you know. Like, and that, but. The reality why am I checking? There's no loot there. But sometimes I do more than 40, sometimes I do might I might even do 35. It just depends on the week, depends on like the, the main thing is that I do it regularly. I'm I'm uh, consistent. Let's go back to the rocks. I can save a bone. Save a boon. Austin, I just walk off. Really looking forward to all those mod streams you promised of. Redline, if you can if you can get my missus to Merry understand Christmas. that, that that's Hope you happening. Enjoy your well -earned rest. Uh, I'll do one. By the way, she will she will not authorise that. 
I've sold her on me being off between now and New Year as me taking time off to spend it with her and the dog. Well, obviously the kids are here until Wednesday next week, but I, I, I don't think I'm selling this very well on I'm taking some time off. We can have some nice days. Well, it'll be lovely. Oh, by the way, I'm going to play DayZ. <laughs> I don't play Daisy solo at 8 a.m. without streaming. No, I don't. Funnily enough, <laughs> yeah, we're sending her and Toby on a cruise to the Bahamas. I'm a bit jealous now. All right, fuck those zombies. And uh, we could Merry probably Christmas leave that. Wishing you a happy break and hope 2024 goes a bit smoother. I R L T R M Z love. Thank you. Cheers, bearded Scott, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ethereal. Thank you for the bits. I always worry that streamers with hyper focus on the metrics of streaming, uh, but that's the stress from uh, fixation causes stress and makes it less enjoyable. But you can't stop, so then you're tapped into a cycle of burnout. <laughs> Ethereal, I, I think it, it can be stressful. <laughs> I think I've been doing it long enough now. I, I don't get, I don't really look at my sub count from month to month. You know, I know, like I know what it roughly is today, right? And when I come back, like right now, I've just checked on Twitch. I can see it on the thing. It's 6,227. When I come back after being off for 10 days, it could be 4,600 or whatever it will be. But there's no point stressing over that because I'll stream through January and it'll probably come back or it'll come back to where it would have been anyway, you know. So it, it's no big deal. And like, I think the reality of streaming is that it's the same as anything that's self-employed. If you take time off, you don't get holiday pay, you know. There's loads of people that are self-employed and... There's lots of benefits to being self-employed as well, so it's all good. I, or I'll give you my stream key. I'll come back to, to nobody left. For the last person to watch, please turn out the lights. Oh, that's harsh. That, that should have been a stealth attack, I think. Oh, well, that sucks. Damaged, badly damaged, badly damaged. Uh, JR, dude, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. You're very, very. Here's for the gifted subs. Did I not get an, a sound for that? Or have I. It's probably not come through yet. Bed is Scott, Ethereal, Dutch Roller, thank you for the bits. Merry Christmas. IDM, thank you very much. IDMC Jax, Velox, Bushy Wolf. Redbeard, Rad Maxi, thank you all of you. Very, very kind. Thank you. Come on. Oh, this door is not the right way. That's not clever. This door is facing outwards. This makes it really tricky. I could end up really in deep shit here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Some fucking hits, these guys, can't they? Oh, you fucking bleeder. Fucking. Got a bleeder. Did I ruin that punching? I, don't, I didn't even hit the fucking guy. I, uh. I, I was only punching him with my fisticuffs, right? I was intentionally trying not to damage the stuff, the stuff they were carrying. Where did the third one go? Sorry, the f oh, he went under there. Look, I bet he was the one with the loot. At least I took my gloves off. I have to be honest, this is such a minor thing. It's not really a big thing, but 
All I want for Christmas is Daisy to stop the gloves getting damaged when you punch zombies so easily because it's utterly infuriating and kind of pointless. The gloves are fucking everywhere. What is the point in making us have to take gloves off to punch zombies? It's so the gloves are meant to help your hands. <laughs> you have to every time you punch a fucking zombie, you've got to it's so annoying. The speed they get ruined sliding down a ladder and the speed that they get ruined punching zombies is so quick. It's ridiculous. You're right, I didn't do the second tent and I'm not going to go back. I can be fucked. Well, that's nice, isn't it? We've got a box of bullets for a 1911 with a, with two mags full and, and some spare bullets as well. That's that's all right. It's not that big of a deal, but it's a really infuriating thing. It just doesn't make any difference to the game. There's gloves fucking everywhere. There's sewing kits everywhere. It's not compelling to have to keep fixing your fucking gloves. It's so stupid. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, but that, yeah. I think maybe that could be dialed a little bit, maybe. Very tiny feature. It's just a bit like being asked to do lines or something, you know. It feels like a punishment for nothing. Oh, he's in trouble. He probably didn't want to fire right there. That's a fucking DMR, isn't it? I'm definitely dead, but let, let's go and find out how, how... As if there's a DMR at Bolotta, that's insane. He has to be a higher up. shot himself with the DMR, that doesn't make any sense. I'm calling bullshit there, I'm afraid to say. I'm not keeping that DMR, by the way. Oh, he... He suicided with it. I was thinking it was possibly a hacker. Now I'm thinking it's somebody that's killed themselves. Maybe they've found a... Uh, I don't think it's a hacker. I think it's someone that's found a convoy. He's not got enough stuff for it to be a hacker. I think it's I think it's someone that's found a convoy. I just don't buy it though. It feels like horse shit. So I, I I'm not going to take anything actually. I'm I'm going to take the good stuff and then drop it in a minute, but I I no no sense in this guy killing himself. It doesn't make any sense at all unless maybe he was watching the stream. So I'm just going to hide it. Bro, why? Ramirez, because I've been streaming for eight years and I don't want to get people watching the stream trying to kill me. And equally, I don't want people to watch the stream to try and give me free shit and kill themselves with a DMR. It's the same principle either way for me, so I, I don't want the free stuff. I don't want I don't want either side of that, right? That I think that's the, the fairest way to be. It's the way I've always been. And so, that's the way I play. You have to be one of the more paranoid Daisy streamers. Hey, how many times have you seen somebody suicide for no reason? With a DMR? While you've been playing, dude. How many times have you seen that in the time you've been playing? I'm gonna, gonna guess it's none. So... 
that's not paranoid, it's just the way I play. The rarest, best and newest gun in the game and the guy decides to suicide with it right next to a streamer. Like, I need to be a fucking genius to work out what's gone on there, right? And there's lots of others that would do the same thing, by the way. It's not like I'm alone on that, but if you're going to be, uh, like, like hoping you don't get stream sniped, sniped, I think it's okay to be hoping you don't have people trying to gift you DMRs as well. I go and get some kills with that DMR. What's the point, you know? The poor fuckers that died, they didn't get given DMRs, did they? I did. I still haven't got rid of the MVGs yet. I will do in a second. was it, wasn't it? I don't think there was anything else. It's no big deal, though. Like, what, I haven't lost anything, right? I, uh, I had a 1911 and two mags. Still got a 1911 and two mags. It's all good. But I'm not going to go and take some free, likely stream stalk G DMR and go off on an adventure with it because anyone I kill from afterwards it's like I, if I find a DMR and then I have an amazing adventure with it I'm enjoying Day Z right that, that's Day Z that's the point I don't want to go and it just feels hollow it's a hollow hollow life Day Z is a survival game not a give the fat twat of a streamer all the best gear game uh, anyway I've talked about it enough I think it's pretty obvious why I've done it you didn't want to do it in your position, well, you become a streamer and get given all the free free loots. It's fine. Southpaw, thank you for the prime. Really appreciate it, dude. Cheers for using your prime sub on my channel. Undead Bubba, thank you for the 38. Uh, Etheral, thank you very much. Uh, you've been doing it a long time and the balance figured it out. Seems just just remember what is best for you is more important. Exactly. Cheers for the support, Etheral, dude. Thank you. mind killing one of those animals maybe. I have got the chimkin but I've got some space. I could maybe kill an animal down there. It's a bit annoying I wasted a few rounds. I had to kill the zombies. Do you know what I didn't do? I didn't check the dead zombies properly for loot. There's a gawky bars on me. I didn't check the zombies. There could have been uh, SKS rounds, Mosin rounds or whatever else. There could have been a combat knife or whatever on the dead zombies and I never checked them so I kind of fucked up there a little bit. I should have checked the Zeds for, uh, for loot. I think I could kill a goat with one 1911 shot, right? Yeah. Very good. Kerrigan, I like that saying. It won't go in there. Why won't you go in my little meat satchel? Did I hear you got the mods tickets for the Arsenal game this weekend? Heard Klopp needs some fans cheering. <laughs> a low blow crowd control, a low blow. I think Klopp is doing just fine, you cheeky fucker. <laughs> uh, right, let's get the good ones. Those two are fairly shit. Do I take the smoke grenades? Smoke grenades are pretty decent, right? But I don't need rope. I don't need a fishing rod. We ain't doing any fishing. Let's, let... We don't need to fish. We've just got two goats full of uh, two goats full of meats.
meat satchel is another term for ball sack. I guess it could be. I wouldn't describe my go nuts as meat, personally. I don't know. Ant, and, Ant or Deck might do on that, uh, that telly show they do. I'm a celebrity. Let me eat kangaroo's anus. 308. Look at that. 308 in the house. Just imagine how nicely that 308 would have got in that DMR, eh? Whew. Recently bought a PC, a pre-built PC from PC Specialist. Couldn't have had a better experience. Dude, thank you. Flaked. Exclamation PC if you too want to have an experience the same as Flaked and Baked did. <laughs> Just for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it. I do, I do uh, like kind of trust them as a company. I use them as well for mine, obviously. After all, sponsored by them, but I did buy it. I didn't get given it. Right. Uh, I may have used some of the money they gave me, though. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, I, I I do like them as a company. They've been great. I was very happy to uh, sign on. So as of December the first, I'm working with PC specialist for another twelve months, which is very cool. Do you like me? What do you think? Make an assessment, Kerrigan. I'm not making an assessment on individual Twitch viewers. That could go on a little bit. So I'm going to need to cook this meat because I've run out of space to carry shit. Don't need the pair, but it, lo it looks more random. Just quoting old Greg. Cortex. Fair enough. <laughs> A's Dr. Seuss said, "You will not know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory." So forty-three months. Forty-three months procrastinating with you, and I have a memory of Octospunk. <laughs> well, uh, what's not to like about that memory, dude? That sounds pretty positive stuff to me. Uh, Head T Ball, thank you for the support, dude. Very, very kind. Enduring the eternal battle between limbic system and prefrontal cortex. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, Kerrigan, that's all good. I'd list, I'd miss that bit. Uh, cheers, Turda Bird. Thank you, Turda Bird. What a name. I wish they had much. doesn't seem right. That smoke outside there doesn't seem right, does it? That's a hacker. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas. That That's what happens when you play Daisy Official, I guess, right? Uh, he may not kill me now. I, 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 it's funny how he stopped killing me when I waved, you know. It does make me feel it's more likely that the DMR character was a hacker, by the way. Makes me feel like it's more likely the DMR character was a hacker, because he didn't have any gear, yet he had a DMR. Uh, so it's highly likely that he'd Thanks done that intentionally to try and give me the loot. Merry Christmas and Happy uh, New Year. So, looks like we'll have to go and find the uh, find the, the, the vanilla style or, or the less modded style adventure somewhere that's not there, I'm afraid. I'm just here for the head tea ball quote. Yeah, you and me both do. Thank you very much, Canned Reaper, Keenax, uh, Nambino, George Potts. Thank you for the resubs, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh... So that, that would probably mean not just a hacker, but a hacker that's watching the stream would be my guess, unfortunately. Uh, shit happens, you know. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks for uh, making my day so much easier. Hmm. Uh, bear with me, guys. I'm going uh, to find another server to play in. 
before I do that, I'm going to go for a pick. Dino, Ken, Super, Dinax. Might be long. Oi, oi, Savaloy. specifically went on an official service so that we could try to see uh, the anniversary stuff in Cherno Town Centre and uh, can't do that because <laughs> fucking hackers chased me out the server Marvelous. cut to three days time on Twitter when somebody tells me there's no hackers on official <laughs> I can't wait for somebody to tell me that and again. That'll be nice. Uh, right, bear with me, guys. I'm just trying and to find another server. It won't take me long. I'm going to do Chernus, but I'll do Chernus somewhere else. Camudgeonliness is a much safer space to occupy seasonally. How was my piss? It was great. I ate a uh, I ate a Cadbury's Hero at the same time. I was multitasking. Uh, so now is the season for warmth and free flowing milk of human kindness. A wee bit of advice: don't go deep on the googling on googling that. Some things you just can't unsee. Curmudgeon is a much safer option, a much safer space to occupy. Season. <laughs> I think that's true. Ah, oh, douche rock, eh? Blimey. Uh, Sage Tempest, thank you. Uh, Eddie Ball, thank you. Spanky, thank you very much. Uh, Canned Reaper, cheers for the support as well. <laughs>
Phoenix and Nambino, thank you. Uh, one hag, there's nothing you can do. That was unofficial. There's nothing if cheat. That's why people don't play official so much. Unfortunately, like the devs said in the update they put out yesterday, they've banned thirty thousand accounts during this year for cheating. Right? They've banned thirty thousand people. Ah, uh, do you know what? I'm I'm not even going to do it. I'm not playing on a server where I can't choose my character. I, I'm just not doing it. I'm I, I'm I'm not doing it. So I'm going to go on a different server. It's such a, a minuscule thing, but I like to play as my character. My character is Burnside. It's who I play as. If I can't choose my character, then fuck it. I'll play somewhere else. Uh, I don't really understand the issue at all. Well, I do understand it, and everyone's own choice, but I'm, I want to play as my dude, and if I can't, I'll go somewhere else. Uh, so let's find another server. No, he said he'd bumped into one hacker, lads. He did. There's nothing wrong with that guy. I, do, I believe he's in a barrack. There's nothing wrong with that dude at all. He's fine. All right, let me find a server then. And we may not be doing Chernerus now, which really sucks. I wanted to do Chernerus, and I wanted to see the uh, the Halloween stuff. Sorry, not the Halloween stuff, the 10-year anniversary stuff, but can't have nice things, clearly. Uh, I don't really want to do winter, if I'm honest. I don't really want to do winter, that sucks. Mm. Did we lock out? Oh, I, did I die yesterday? I, I can't remember. I might, I might see about yesterday's character. I can't remember if I died or not. I might have had some kind of gear. We'll maybe carry on with the character I was playing with Tope yesterday. Alright, well, uh, I'm on the way into a server, won't be long. Well, uh, dips to that kind of makes sense a little bit. In the day, back in the day, years ago, there used to be more hackers on third person than first for a start, right? But you do still get them a little bit, you know. But it's not fair to say that there are as many hackers as I see, because I, I feel like that dude was knowing it was me. You know, they'd left me. A, I think a hacker intentionally left me a DMR, and then when I didn't take it, they then got something else and came and tried to kill me with it. I genuinely think that's the most likely thing that happened, unfortunately, on that server. That That's not a fair reflection of what everyone else is going to see, because maybe they're doing that because I'm the twat man's, right? It may well be the case. Uh, but yeah, official is really hard to play. I played quite a lot of official at the start of 2023. I played for three full days. My first three streams of 2023 were all unofficial. And then right at the end, after three days, I got killed by a, a hacker on official Chernerus, switched to official Livonia, and got killed by a hacker in ten minutes. <laughs> and it's been like that ever since for me, unfortunately. It's not very, uh, it's not very easy to, to play. I've had lives, I've had old adventures on, Chern on Chernerus official this year, but sooner or later, you get killed by a hacker. What's my favourite Christmas food? Oh. Well, like, the main meal itself is amazing, the main meal. The thing I like about Christmas probably is that I like, like you have some slightly nicer things. Like we're probably for breakfast on Christmas Day. I think we're going to have a bit of smoked salmon, which we never have, but it's nice as for a change, you know. I've been told that's combat logging, not a hacker, and he's just better. Yeah, that's definitely the case, Redline. <laughs> That's definitely the case. That's why there was smoke appearing behind me and he was shooting me through a tree, it through a forest from miles away. <laughs> yeah. Sounds right to me. Oh yeah, I was I was starving to death, I think. I was running towards Okay, I'm not actually that geared, but this is yesterday's character anyway. We'll carry on with, with this one. Maybe it'd be wise if you could see. Prime rib. Very nice. So we're having roast pork and I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be amazing. But like, 
I went to the I went to the butchers this morning and I got the roast pork and I took it round to my mum. But I also bought a uh, tube of sausage meat. So not sausages, just sausage meat. And I'm going to make like a kind of breakfast thing. You, you just like, you ball up pieces of sausage meat. You you fry off some onions. Then you fry in some grated potatoes. Oh look, that's one of those things. You can get good gums there. I'll have a look. You fry, you, 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 well you kind of brown some onions. You don't really want to fry them. But you, you do some onions. Then you do some grated potato in with the sausage meat. And then uh, you put in a couple of fried eggs to kind of coagulate it all together. And it's kind of like a hash with like onions, potatoes, sausage meat and fried eggs. It's glorious. So I'm going to make that Sunday or Saturday. Oh shit, dead Zeds. That's a shame. How about some Namaus to end the year? I, I don't want to do Namaus. I've been giving Namaus a break for a little while intentionally. I'm, I'm not in Namaus. I'll do more Namaus through the course of 24. I believe I will, but I, I've just not. I've not been feeling it the same. It's it's a relatively small map, and I've seen it all. You know, I've done everything on Namaus. You might say I've done everything on Chernarus, but there's way more options. It's a much bigger map. You know, like. It feels more varied. Namowsk feels like you're doing the same thing, rinse, repeat. And Namowsk is arguably the best modded map, so I'm not dissing it. I just need a little break from it, you know. Like that's kind of wise if you if you're feeling like you've done too much of the same thing, have a break. police car out the front there. It's a shame that had been looted. Tope was saying he'd found a good gun there the other day. Alright, we're going to punch you out. We've got a stab vest on him. Yeah, I didn't really want to do winter chairs, but I had like a semi-geared character on this guy. I figured we might as well carry on on this dude. No, I, I'll do more Livonia. I, I I did a bit of Livonia. I did quite a lot of Livonia this year, actually. There's no map that I'm definitely not doing. There, there are certain maps I'm less likely to do, but there's no map I'm not not going to do. I really like Livonia. I, I like the south the southwest corner now with like uh, Palana and the the new bunker and whatnot. It's, uh, that still feels fairly fresh, you know. The only problem is that I'm lone wolfing a lot, and you need two to. Make it to the third bunker if you get a key card. Punch card. How many maps in total can you play on PC? Loads. <laughs> there's fucking loads. I, I don't know how many the total is, but there's a lot of maps. There's, there's maps I've never played. Salad booty hack, hacker in game sense is it, like no one's saying he's at home squirreling away code and and writing it himself and doing it right, but it's just gamer speak, you know. Like, arguing the toss over whether he's a cheat or whether he's a hacker is irrelevant. Everybody knows what I mean. I I, I really don't get why people get like like when I say hacker, I don't mean he's in anonymous and he's trying to bring down the government, do I? You know, I mean he's cheating in a video game. You know what I mean. Words can have different meanings, right? And, and it's okay to mean cheat in a video, video game is hacker. Doesn't really make any difference, does it? I don't know why... What's the problem with that? It, it really is, like, such a silly thing to get wound up of. It's not... Calling someone a hacker is not, like, a compliment. Like, some people think, oh, they don't deserve to be called hacker. Script kitty. Who cares? Everybody knows what you mean. I just said it, Uber, before you did. I didn't even read it. That's a shame. No bullets. I've got a few there. I wonder if we should go back the other way. I probably should have took those two rubber slugs. I didn't take them. I don't really want to go to Zelenogorsk yet. I think I'm going to go the other way.
Do, 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 do. It's time to start running. You okay, bro? You've been mispronouncing words and jumbling letters all day. I'm fine. Tired, maybe. You try reading and talking and uh, playing at the same time. Thirty-one months already. Where does the time? Whilst go? listening to something in your ear and see how many mistakes you make. You make a few. <laughs> uh, you'll make a few. Trust me. Dan Platypus, thank you for the thirty-one. Wigan, thank you for the new sub as well. Fecal snack. What a fucking name. Thank you very much for the support as well. Win Slowco, thank you for the forty-four. <laughs> I think I, I really think it's arguing over semantics. People know what you mean. When someone says I got killed by a hacker in Daisy, they're not making out that they're like fucking reading into the matrix and they've created this thing and they're some kind of really clever person. Everyone knows what you mean. I, I don't know why people get so funny about that. It's no big deal. Because cheated, cheat in gaming sense can be very vague. You can get killed by a cheat in Daisy and they've uh, glitched in a building or they've uh, duped. or it's, In gaming sense, it, it's a little bit more descriptive of someone that's breaking the code of the game. You know, the, the, the code of the game has been changed to give them a benefit. That's the, that's the bit that explains, you know. But who the fuck cares? You're like, arguing about something like that on the internet. Did you know what I mean? Yes, okay, that's good. What happens when you eat aluminium? You sheet metal. <laughs> Very good. I like that. Sheet metal. Right. I think we should probably make us... We've got some rags. Let's... Uh, let's get a stick. We'll make a uh, thing and we'll dry out that food. Or defrost that food. Do I have any matches or anything? Yeah, I do. Okay. That's good. I'm glad there's a capper on the end of there, Spicy. <laughs> Craft torch, yes please. It's frustrating that though, I wanted to see the Christmassy stuff. That would have been cool. What does Kappa mean? It's just an it's an old Twitch thing from years ago, the Kappa. It's it's just a way of telling people that you're joking, basically. Love the stream. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Paul and Chat. And the reality is though, like I, I understand like coming back to the point very briefly. You might not like, oh, you shouldn't call them hackers. If I called them script kiddies, someone else would be going, you shouldn't call them kiddies because it's not related to children and it's not very fair. Well, they're not kids. They could be fully grown fat men for all you know. doesn't matter what I say. Someone's going to take umbrage with it, right? <laughs> like, I call them, I call people that cheat in the game using, using uh, changed code. I call them hackers, right? Doesn't mean that they created the hacks. They're actually someone that just bought a code. I understand that. Don't need to be explained it. It's fine. I just, that's what I call them. Like loads of fucking other people do. Because it's cause fine. <laughs> uh, th that's just the way it is. Uh, Wigan, thank you for the bits, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you, right. We're, we're back doing the same loot route we were just doing before, where we killed the goat. Unfortunately, this time, we don't have... Uh, we don't have the 1911 and the bullets. Glad I caught you last stream of the year. Thank you so much for everything. You've made me made my year a million times better. I'm glad You're I found you as a YouTuber streamer. Uh, 
You made my patience for Daisy tolerable. Dude, well, I hope you keep enjoying the game, Wigan. Thank you for the support, dude. Desi Boy, thank you for the 64. Jimmel, thank you for the three. Damp and Wigan and Fecal, thank you very much. All of you guys, thank you. I hope I didn't... I wasn't looking at my thing there. I could be sick if I... I, I didn't know when that came up. My children, my kids have seen a little bit of my videos, Fury. I, I watched uh, with them a video called Cedric and the Barrel because I thought they would find the ending funny, and they did. They were really laughing at the ending of Cedric and the Barrel years and years ago, but they've not watched much of what I do, no. Oppenheimer's decent. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I think it's my film of the year, but I don't know. I... I really, really liked Wonka the other day, and I liked Mission Impossible too. They, they were my three films of the year at the cinema. <sighs> Slump Guard, I, I don't think my kids are going to want to play Daisy, dude. They're 14 and, uh, well, soon to be 15 and 12. They've both got a birthday coming up in the next month. Uh, they're not going to want to play Daisy. They're just not. They, they don't have PCs at home. They don't play PCs. They most gaming my kids do is on their mobile phone. They're not. They're not likely to ever want to play Daisy. If they did, great. You know, that, that would be really cool. But I, I suspect it's not going to be for them. Most kids don't want to do exactly what their parents did. Maybe some ex some slight changes. You know, like I don't know. If you're massively into football and you have a son that likes football, you may well go to football with your dad and whatnot. There are some exceptions, obviously, but by and large, if you're talking about hobbies, your kids normally want to find their own stuff, not just do exactly what you did. But again, there are there are massive exceptions, right? Like uh, you you might take someone fishing and so on, and, and like you might go out. Like I went out with my uncle fishing when I was a kid, with my cousin, his son, and 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 me and my uncle, we'd go fishing and whatnot, but. When it's stuff like this, I think they, they want to go and play their own game that their kids their own age play. They don't want to play DayZ. What's your prediction for tomorrow against Arsenal? If Aston Villa wins today and Liverpool and the Arsenal draw, Villa will be top. I I don't know. I, I have a sneaky suspicion Liverpool might nick that game, but I don't think it'll be uh I don't think it'll be high scoring. I think it might be like one nil or two one or something like that. Last time I went fishing was August twenty twenty three two, sorry, August twenty two. I, I took the kids to uh, Cornwall for a couple of, well, for a week, and I went fishing a few times while I was there. Arsenal 3 0 win, yeah, good luck with that. <clears throat> I don't think it massively depends on your own kids and what they're interested in, you know? Like, it, it might be that if I had a son that lived with me, he'd be a lot more interested in what I do. But I've got two daughters that don't live with me, and while I'm streaming, they're not here, you know, they're not interested in what I they, they, They're interested a little bit in what I do, I think they understand it a bit now, right, but... All of the... All of the girls, for the most part, this is a slight generalisation, but... If they're playing games, it's not so much... They're not playing Fortnite so much, they're not playing... Like, they might play a bit of Minecraft or whatnot, but my kids mostly play fucking Roblox, or other games on their phone. They, they mostly play phones on... Games on tablets and phones. They've got a Switch. They hardly ever use it. Method feeder fishing. I did do a little bit of that, actually. I had two two rods on the go. One was using, <laughs> using that method feeder, and the other was using uh, whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of it. I didn't, I didn't even know about it, but I discovered it. Uh, something waggler. Pellet waggler. I was... Pellet waggler on one, 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 one uh, rod, and then a a bite indicator and a method feeder on the other. I caught a few decent-ish fish. They were the carp were only up to about ten pounds in the lake I was in, but it was pretty good. That's good. It's giving me the plus symbol. That's really good. So this is where we got chased out of the other server. At least we're now uh, 
we're on track to, to do something slightly different, I suppose. It's a shame I've got a cold. I don't think I've got anything to fix it at the moment. I don't need these anymore. I've got the matches. Nightbot, stop texting paragraphs. Siege Master, dude, are, are you really, like, a couple of days before in before Christmas, are you really arguing with a bot on the internet? Dude, uh, walk downstairs or walk up from the basement, go and look in the mirror and have a good long hard fucking look at yourself. <laughs> Nightbot, stop posting long paragraphs! <laughs> What the fuck? It's it's a it's a long paragraph designed to try and help a new player understand a little bit about the days. Nightbot, stop helping new Daisy players. Stop being helpful, Nightbot, you bastard. <laughs> Get a fucking life, dude. Come on. <laughs> the long paragraph is trying to help a new player in the game understand a little bit about the game. For fuck's sake, dude. Are you Merry Christmas, fucking Scrooge. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> uh, that that sky looks good, doesn't it? I like that. Nightbot's my biggest fan. He's here every stream. You're right. Uh, Street Smarts, thanks for the three months. Captain Steve Alicious, thank you for Merry the 42 Xmas months. And a happy new year. Here's to a jolly holiday with lots of merriment. It did really tickle action. me, you know, like, 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 it's one thing to be annoyed at a bot maybe posting a long message, but read it a little bit. It's, it's genuinely trying to help out someone. Somebody must have asked the question, hello, I just bought the game. Is there any chance you can uh, give us a few tips? And so that Nightbot re reply is hoping to help that player because I get asked that every day for eight years. So rather than me regurgitate the same answer every time, Nightbot saves the saves Siege Master hearing the same answer fucking every five seconds. Hear me. Someone, well, someone woke up and chose angry. <laughs> Nightbot slept with my wife. Who hasn't? <laughs> Who hasn't? No, that's a... <laughs> Uh, Tifa, thank you very much for the support. Captain Street, uh, two captains. Devalicious and Haddock, thanks a lot for the support. Appreciate you. Thank you. <coughs> Nightbot saved me 10% on my car insurance. Wow, well. Mrs. Radiohead, sorry, I've let you down. <laughs> Uh, cheers, Captain. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you as well. Uh, hope you have a good one. Thank you very much. Same to everybody else as well. Thanks. Freak Smart, uh, Evilicious, Haddock, Rando. I have four daughters and they all would hate me if I was a successful YouTuber. Isn't that interesting. Mine don't hate me. They spent a long time looking down on what I do. I, I, not intentionally, but they did. They got that from their mum, though, but... Uh, they, they only recently have started to open their eyes to the idea that what I do has actually gone pretty well. They haven't really understood it up until now. <clears throat> Jay Blaggett, dude, thanks for coming in. You can tell it's your day before vacation. Maybe. I don't know. I guess I'm, uh, I'm more laughing along at things rather than getting wound up by things. That may be the case. Well, that's partly what it were, what it was, Coxie, to be honest. You said also they realise you make money. Yeah, well, I, I'm a fairly discreet person, so I'm, I, I've done okay so far, and hopefully I can keep doing okay, but I'm still in the same house. I still look the same. The house still looks the same. Everything's good. But they've kind of probably worked things out a little bit more, you know, in the last <laughs> year to two years. Streaming is profitable and fun. Well, it it can be, Jordan. It can be. I think going into streaming for the fun side is wise, and maybe it might be okay profitability-wise, but most people that stream don't make money, you know. It doesn't mean it's not fun, though. That's the point. It's meant to be fun and then see where it goes, right? Snub Nose Magnum.
I'm gonna need more food. Already Hi checked everyone. That Hope everyone is well. Django, can I just say it's very lucky that you kept that message short because otherwise people might get annoyed with long messages. <laughs> Shango, thank you for the six months, dude. Cheers for the support. What do you think of servers firing a server admin in order to allow cheaters on the server? There's a certain server that is rumoured to have... The God almighty, that sounds a bit cryptic. Uh, I don't know, Kerrigan. It, it sounds like something that uh, like someone told you in the pub, like some made-up story. I'm not saying it's not true, but I don't really have an opinion on it. I, I have the opinion that I'll play on servers until I'm given a reason not to trust the server admins, and that's all I'll do. But yeah, I, I try I to go where I think the admins call. are decent, Thanks and I, I'll room of, I'll, I'll move along otherwise. You know, like I think that's the best thing anyone can do, really. Travi, thank you for the 35. Full send it, thank you for the support as well. Uh, Shango, Captain, Streaks, Marks, thank you very much. Do you know the Scottish comedian Larry Dean? I don't, Grobber, no. You can use the stars to navigate super if you want. Yeah, you can. Just a regular streamer apart from the disposable gold-plated MMO mouse and the Jeeves butler who brings the streaming streaming wing to the mansion on a silk to. pillow. Glad to see your stream going strong. Cool. Well, Grobber, that's cool. Yeah, I've not heard of him, but uh, it's not surprising, really. I've had my head in the sand for about eight years. Sully, thank you. It was really fun. May that you have a wonderful break. Christmas break with your family. <coughs> oh shit! Gotta go, guys. Delivery won't be long. Christmas uh, stuff being delivered. <laughs> I'm not doomed. It's only a cold. It's fine. I was a little bit... I wasn't exactly out of the way, but I, w I wasn't easy to find. So I think we were okay there. Would I do a team up with Anarchy or do you think your styles are different? I don't know, dude. I, I, I wouldn't what rule anything out or in, really, but Keep it up. I think I'd probably Merry talk Christmas to him about it. You know? <laughs> you and yours. I am, uh, like, in the past, he's done an awful lot of modded stuff, but I understand he's doing less modded stuff now, more vanilla, you know, so I don't know. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Now my phone's fucking ringing. One sec. was that the Sun Lounger being delivered Kappa TRMZG Heart.
fucking ring doorbells. <laughs> that was my missus making sure I'd got the delivery. Like, fuck me. <laughs> God, I'm getting checked up on. Did you get it? Inside the... Uh, what the, one of the things inside is a present for a for a uh, nephew. So if we, if we miss that delivery, then he ain't getting a Christmas present. What did Mrs. Tiramzi get from Santa? She's getting a handbag from me. Uh, a really nice one, a VL one off the off the market. VL. It, I, I don't. I think they're a new upcoming brand, but. I got it. I got it from the local market. VL. <coughs> Very large. Do I get recognised in public? I've never been recognised in public in my entire life, some sir, except for by people that know who I am. And I don't mean that facetiously. I mean as in somebody I know from the real world, <laughs> not as in not as in somebody that knows who I am from streaming. Kenneth, I agree, delivery drivers are the unsung heroes of Christmas. More so now than so. It was very different years ago, right? Like, it's crazy. Only recognised from Crime Stoppers. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> You're waiting on multiple stuff, are you, Coxie? Yeah, it's a bit. There is always that risk, you know, the amount of times I've got a delivery and then I miss it, you know, like I'm in all day and then I go out for five minutes or like I go out to walk the dog and then my missus is in the bath right when somebody delivers, you know, and then we actually had that happen this week. I was out walking and the missus was the missus was in the bath and then we missed a delivery, but it just came the next day. It was fine. But. Being recognised in public would be ghastly. I've been watching The Crown. Spicy, I... uh. I've been watching the last season. It's so dull. The last season of The Crown is dull. And I know The Crown's not for everyone anyway, but I've kind of vaguely, most of the time, found it quite interesting. But this season has been boring. Say computer. No, I won't say computer. What are my thoughts on Prince Harry? I don't know. Do you want it? Do you want quick thoughts, Siege Master? I guess you, you you want quick thoughts. A long answer won't be any good, will it? He's all right. He's okay. He's he's all right. I couldn't give a shit really, to be honest. Waiting for Mike Tyndall. <laughs> I don't think they're going to get right up to modern uh, modern times, are they? Louis Luton, you got scammed. Uh, VL, the best. Somebody died. Oh. Somebody got died and... Somebody got died. Such English, much wow. Somebody got died and also they got eaten as well. So we've got gloves, That's hood a and gas mask. We, we might be able to do a gas route. That'd be cool. Was Princess Diana really loved that much? She was incredibly popular, kind of spicy. Yeah, she was very, very popular. Uh, there aren't, there haven't been many people that have died that have been as re uh, that has resonated as much as her. Uh, I think because of the age and the way that she died as well. Uh, like, like it's different. Like the Queen. Uh, amazing as, as she was she she lived to a very long age and died at what 96 or something like that you know whereas somebody of around the same kind of stature nearly but dying in such a tragic way was was much more uh, of a shock i think you know Uh, I don't really want to get into conspiracy theories or otherwise, if I'm honest. I, I, I'm not, I don't really want my last stream to be... We're, we're, we're treading a, a dangerous game right now. I think I'm tip, tiptoeing around it quite lightly, but I'm not going to start gas bagging on about conspiracy theories. Fucking hungry, I know that much. Hungry. Why 
Why is shadow play not working for me? I keep keeps cancelling. I can try again. Yeah, she was very popular. It was pretty sad, Spanky. You're right, it was pretty sad. That funeral was quite sad. Well, all funerals are sad, but yeah. Nine millimeter, how are you doing? Thanks for coming in. Hope you're good. Can we dry out this this fucker as well? I think we can. An os ox ox cap. Okay. Paul, will you ever visit America? Siege, I've been to America twice. I've seen... If you could think of two places from an outsider to go to to really see the real America and absolutely not be dripping with sarcasm while you deliver this line, I've been to those two places. Those two places being Las Vegas and New York. <laughs> Uh, I've seen absolutely the real heart of America, I would say. <laughs> or maybe not. Uh, Delta, cheers for the bits. Was that Sun Lounger being delivered? It wasn't the Sun Lounger being delivered. No, she ain't getting the Sun Lounger. Ain't getting it. New York is dirty and nasty. It was alright. I quite like New York. But, but what a surprise. Uh, big city has lots of people living there. Yeah, if you want if you want a rural countryfied break, don't go to New York. But if you want a city break, it's quite a good place to go. Go go and have a little wander around Delhi. You'll you'll suddenly think that New York's a lot lot better than you re realised. Delhi's a very interesting place, but if you've been to somewhere like Delhi, you won't be quite bad mouthing New York so much anymore. You know. <laughs> Turder, you're going to pl shoot some peeps in airsoft, are you? Well, good luck. I thought New York was alright. The drains were a little bit stanky once or twice, you know, but that can happen literally anywhere. You know, it turns out if you've got a city the size of New York, a lot of people need to have a shit. <laughs> It's just shit logistics, you know. What can you? It can't be helped, you know. People have to crap. <laughs> At least we're not chucking it out of the first floor window, like like with a bucket anymore, you know. How long was I ago was I in New York? I think it was 2017. I think it was 2017. Zombies, let's have you. Let's be having you. Where are you? Nine mil and a mag. <coughs> right, I'm going to need to make a fire fairly soon. Maybe should do that before we move on. You know what? Let, let's just do the. Let's do the one neat trick people with wet shoes don't want you to know. That's not it. <coughs> we'll do another torch because it dries your clothes quicker and we don't even need the plus symbol. That was smart, wasn't it? I really played blind there, didn't I? Let's try again. I only want to... I think one bandage will be enough. One rag will be enough. Just to dry my clothes. How about that smoked salmon? Yeah. I don't know. First, first he gets annoyed about Nightbot, and then he answers, asks about three contentious questions in a row. 
What do you think about Prince Harry? <laughs> Coming soon. Uh, I don't know. I don't even want to start stipulating. I'll I'll hit on one that's that someone's annoyed about. Is Blamonge even real? Discuss. <laughs> Do 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 uh, Delta, thank you again. Amateur amateur SU, thank you for the for the nine months. Uh, very, very cool. What a year, loved all the content, keep it up. Thank you, I'll do my best. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Drunken Camper, thank you for the bits. Bloody idiot, Travi Baby, drunken again, thank you. <laughs> Jersey City's worse, is it? Okay. Uh, oh, I came up this tower and all I get was a fucking shit universal fleshlight. Hoping I might get a universal fleshlight for Crimbo. That's a bit... a bit stroby that, isn't it? Work though, look at my boots. My boots are dry. I've got the dry boots. Can I please put your fleshlight back? It's not made with 100% cotton. That looks good, doesn't it? With the with the light coming behind it, that looks kind of cool. <coughs> Is beige a real colour? Uh, yes. They make the desert out of it. Bilge. I don't think I need the bones, do I? What knife have I got? Ah, oh, maybe I do for now. Is black a colour? No, everybody knows. Black and white are shades, right? Everybody knows that. Everybody knows it. Knows it, they do. Go I love. Come out. Come, for, come to greet me, she is. like an SSG or or if not I would like a uh, Pioneer. We've got the SSG already look. Do we have more bullets? I thought I had more bullets. Oh well it's a start right. I should say I would like an SKS. I managed to talk in a Tundra earlier didn't I? We ought, we actually ought to kill her. She could, uh... Why wasn't that a stealth? I was still, I was still stealthing. She could have had bullets, couldn't she? We might as well check. She didn't have bullets. Selfish cow. Why does this server use bars instead of... So you don't know the exact amount. It's meant to be a little bit more of a... It's actually kind of a cool feature. It's it's meant to be a little bit more survivally. Like, like if you had that mag in your hand, you might, if you were really experienced, have a bit of a clue that there was a couple of bullets in it. But maybe from the weight or the way it felt in your hand, you might you might think it's oh, I know three or four or five bullets, but not know exactly what's in there. You know, that's the idea. It's meant to be. You know, there's a couple of bullets in there, but not exactly how many. The idea being that it's not then metered so much like, oh, you've got 17 bullets exactly in your mag. There's no way your character would know that, you know. So it's actually a reasonable feature that could go to the regular game and it would be kind of sensible. It's not that big of a deal either way, you know. It's not something I'm too fussed about, but it's kind of a fairly nice feature. Nope. 
A lot of handgun mags have holes in the backs, and you well, maybe you wouldn't see them when they're in the gun, and that that's a, again the same thing. You you also see that when it's in the gun too, right? But you can see it all the time. Not that big of a deal, but that's why it, that's why that mod exists. It's to make it feel a tiny, tiny bit more authentic, it's a little bit more like Tarkov, I think. I suppose it's not an exact number. I am going to need some food. Maybe I should. Maybe I should fish. I don't really want to fish, but I might. I might have to. This hasn't been the best trip here that it could have been. Like not getting more SSG bullets is a little bit unlucky, I would say. Shit, isn't it? I'm just going to check the uh, the shelves on these window sills, and then we'll do the next floor up and the next floor. Up. Uh, Nidex, dude, thank you for the very long resub, dude. Seventy nine, thanks for the support, man. Thank you. Legions, I, I humbly apologise for calling them rounds and not bullets. Sorry, bullets and not rounds. Oh, God. I've ruined Christmas, Legions. I've ruined it, haven't I? Ruined fucking Christmas. <laughs> it's cheaters, not hackers, and rounds, not bullets. Or bullets, not rounds. I don't fucking know. <laughs> How many bullets you got in your clip? Oh, Jedi. I, I, I like that you're using all the proper lingo. <laughs> right, I need to get some sticks. I think we're going to have to do some fishing. I don't think we've got a great deal of choice. Oh, the tracer rounds I have not in the SSG. Uh, they're Mosin rounds. I haven't got any 545 tracer rounds, unfortunately. I hope you enjoy your break. Rest assured. You have condemned me to the servitude of Mrs. HTV, oh, yeah. the torturous company of emotional leeches or so-called friends and the unbearable hours in the company of de inwitted neighbours who seem to believe geography imbues liking. Happy bloody... <laughs> Happy bloody Christmas. I bet, you are, I bet you are a great fun to live with. I reckon your missus is just barely clinging on here, T-Ball, on a daily basis. I reckon that's what I think. I think your your missus is a little bit like uh, the poor lady in uh, Alan Rickman's other half in uh, Love Actually. Oh no, in no way am I saying you're cheating on her, but I think on a near daily basis she's in another room stifling a tear <laughs> while she then comes out and gets on with things. <laughs> I, I feel like that might possibly be the case. <laughs> Merry Christmas though. <laughs> I just ate the spaghetti, but yeah, someone in the chat reminded me. I'd forgotten I had it. Uh, head T ball, thank you very much for the. Thank you. Uh, I, I do. I can relate though. Like, basically, because you live near them, that means you definitely like them. Yeah, I, I can relate. Something I'm discovering though is that I, I'm a bit of a miserable old fucker, and I suspect you're even worse than I am. So I think you just don't like anyone is the is the honest truth, you know. I think if you were if you were honest with yourself, you'd be much happier if you were on your own. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? Come on. I don't want firewood, I need a long stick. There we go. Yuri Storm, have a good one, dude. Size doesn't matter. Not the way I do it. It's dreary and disappointing no matter what. 
Look at that. Pristine instead of damaged. What an... Oh, fuck that. What an upgrade. A craft improvised fishing rod. Yes. You know what? Uh, can I fit that in there? I can't, can I? Smith Dog, Merry Christmas. Thanks for coming in. I hope you're good, dude. I might, we're going to make it. I might catch one fish. I was just thinking, oh good, I've got a cooking uh, thing. We can... I've got the uh, the stove. I can cook. I can catch a fish and cook it straight away. But that was on the character shot by the hacker, wasn't it? I mean, uh, that was on a character that was shot by a guy that was infringing on the game's code and was clearly not a hacker. He'd bought some scripts from somebody on the internet. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, yeah, that guy. I do understand, just to be serious, I know I'm taking the piss a little bit there, I do understand the, the idea behind that. But, I, I, somehow people seem to think it's bigging them up. It's not, is it? Being a hacker is not like a big deal. It's like, if you were a hacker, it's not like you're saying you're uh, like fucking Nelson Mandela or something, are you? It's not. It's not. <laughs> That bullet is bugging the shit out of me. Let's do that. I think I might try to catch a fish before we go over. Oh, look, more bullets. Never seen so many bullets by the boats. Maybe we should check the blue tin shed before <laughs> we leave. Yeah, I'd quite like to catch a fish before we go, I think. Can I, can I get... So you can't get worms on the mask, but on Chernerus you can, because it's not permafrost. Right? <laughs> I tried that, Tifa, it wouldn't <coughs> let me do it. it. Wouldn't let me do it, so I came out here. So, I reckon if we, uh... That's a text to tell me that my delivery's here. wasn't it? That was real quick. <laughs> Merry Christmas, GS man. Hope you have a good one, dude. Uh, have, a, have a good Christmas, man. Take it easy. It, dude. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Have a great Christmas with a nice dram by the fire and see you back in the new year. Oh, thank you, Turnip Dude. Thank you very much. Mr. Postman, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Here comes another Macarella. Hey, Macarella. That's a good one. Look at that. Hi. My character sounds like you at the moment. Sharpless, dude. I hope you're on the men. That doesn't sound good. Sneezing fuckwit. Come on. 
clearly all the mackerel are hiding in the reeds. I don't think you get reeds like this in salt water, but <coughs> bulrushes they look like. I, I think they're freshwater myself, but anyway, I might be wrong. David back at Edinburgh, I am not. Oh, I had a, had a sharpening stone. It sucks. So now I don't even need to take the rod with me. We've got the three fish. We'll just cook these and then we'll, then we'll be off ski, I think. Uh, Rintree, hope you have a good one, dude. My daughter just said, Dad, Mum got you that, got you a watch for Christmas. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I hope that you're not spoiling Christmas. Got you a watch for Christmas. Yeah, you're going to get to watch her have fun. <coughs> Do I have a plan on playing with Choco? Uh, I don't have any plans to play with anyone, really, at the moment, to be honest, Magico. Choco Teco's a cool dude. I like him, by the way, but... <coughs> Uh, I normally play with the same little group of people that I've been playing with for a few years, you know. It, I, I don't really make any plans beyond that. It doesn't mean I won't do it, though. Uh, it's cool to see people like him and one or two others, like, coming from other games and playing DayZ. It's good for our game, you know. I like it. But uh, I, I've not got any plans for or against. I know that's a really political answer, but it's the truth. I... I'm terrible at making plans, but I've got people that I know that I play Daisy with, so I tend to play Daisy with them, you know. I never looted this, we might as well have a quick check. There was there was bullets on the coast, so there could easily be bullets here as well, wasn't there? Couldn't they? You know, it may well be. <coughs> it's cold, it's starting to piss me off now. Could actually be vaguely useful. Not as well. <laughs> How about we make 2024 the year we finally get get? A, well, I, I I think it'll probably happen. Redline, it probably will, just like it probably will have done for the last three or four years. <laughs> it probably will happen. To be fair, dude. Ooh, that's a better vest. <laughs> Ruining these fucking gloves. <laughs> One sec, guys. I, I just need to see why the missus is holding a, a, a great big bundle of lights in her hand. She's got other things to be doing with her time right now. One sec, just need to view. Sorry guys, I'm back. Oh, that's fucking marvellous. Just when I thought I was off, she's just coming with a great big bundle of lights. Oh, you're putting these up tomorrow? Fuck me dead. Merry Christmas, Paul, and Happy New Year. Putting fucking Christmas lights up on the outside of the fucking house. Bar fucking humbug. I want to I wanna join Head Tea Ball's, like, Mizog group. <laughs> so this is a modded vest, this one. Uh, it's a modded vest, and it's... It's like a plate carrier, but you can't repair it. So it works as well as a plate, but you can't fix it. So it's like a, when it's gone, it's gone kind of thing. Bit late for lights, isn't it? Well, it's still Christmas, Mountain Goat. We've got the Christmas decks up. We've got some lights here and there, but she wants to put some around the guttering of the house. And thankfully, I won't need a ladder. It's kind of low, like above a garage door and stuff, you know, but... Nonetheless, it sounds like the perfect way to spend my first day off. I can hardly wait. 
First I've got to get up early and drive her somewhere to go and pick up click and collect stuff. Now I'm putting up Christmas lights. I'll, I definitely won't moan about it though, no. <laughs> Not much. Yeah, I'm not doing a rod hull. If I climb up a ladder, I won't take emu with me. Does eating cure diseases? Only if you eat the cure. <laughs> so if you eat the pill that cures the disease in the game, then that will cure your disease. But if you eat, like, random food, it won't help, no. So with this, what I've got right now is a cold. So even though it shouldn't work, if I found antibiotics, that would cure me. Uh, failing that, if I had vitamins, that would almost certainly cure me or make, help me get rid of the cold fairly quickly. Cooking pot so you can make more. I, I don't want to boil the, the meat. I'm, I'm, it doesn't take very long to do it this way. I'm <laughs> alright doing this. Like, I have to drink all the all the meat from the cooking pot. Sorry, I'll have to drink all the meat. I have to drink all of the water from the cooking pot. And it actually doesn't take very long. I don't want to boil it. This will be fine. Just finished your moments in Day Z series and can honestly say I remember every single one of those moments. So thanks for making life a little more enjoyable over the years. Love you, bye. Jolly, dude. Thank you, Jolly Good Bandit. Thank you for the six months. Cheers for tuning in, dude. Ticker Matt, thank you for the 14 months. Uh, Magico, thank you for the resub as well. You're very... Thank you. Cheers for tuning into all the bits, dude. Stop moaning. It's Christmas and lights are mandatory, as well as driving around getting parcels and last-minute prezzies. Ah, uh, let me moan. I'll moan all I want. I like moaning. When you get asked to do a last-minute job you weren't expecting, you'll moan, under your breath at least. That's what I'm doing right now. Well, I'm really looking forward to the boxing shadow bat. I think it's going to be great. I'm real. Uh, tomorrow's card is really good. Like, like, I like, like you've never been asked to do something by your better half or whatever, and not been like, for fuck's sake. <coughs> Everybody moans. It's all fine. Especially me. I'm British. It's it's like what I'm best at: moaning and queuing. Just remind what? her who pays the bills and see what kind of Christmas you have. Yeah, under my breath to 6,000 people. Exactly the same. <clears throat> Always, that's why she divorced me. I started saying no. Ah, well, I'm not saying no. I'm just going to moan. <laughs> that, that makes me a good man, right? Moan about it, but still do it. That's the point, right? Moan just about enough, thereby hoping that that'll be the last job. <laughs> oh, did I get you anything for Christmas? I'll get you a fucking band where you're going. I just, just, it just smells about right for you, Siege. I'm gonna get you a, I get you a 24-hour timeout that lasts forever. <laughs> Wish you and the TRMZ family a lovely Christmas. I'm only joking, by the Take way, care. Siege. Don't worry. Oh, it's okay. TRMZ love. <sighs> Worse than coal. Uh, drunken, yeah, that doesn't work. That, that that really wouldn't work if I tried to remind her that that really wouldn't work. That would just be very bad for me. I actually think I, I've never ever done that, by the way, but it wouldn't work. It would just get me in more. It'd be digging deeper. Rem, thank you for the three months. Uh, wish you and TMZ family a lovely Christmas. You too, dude. Hope you and yours have a great one, dude. I have to read aloud dirty messages all year and you never hear me complain, Paul. I have to read aloud dirty messages all year and, all, and you never hear me complain. I have to read aloud dirty... Oh, yeah, okay, that's Robot Lady. For a minute, Smile, and I was trying to envisage why you were reading out dirty messages in real life. Like, uh, I don't know, like you were like, in some kind of like special booth 
where your job was to read dirty messages out loud. <laughs> like, I couldn't quite... Like, you know the film Big and there's a Zoltan machine or whatever it's called? Uh, Pib, I'll get to that in a sec. Thank you. Like, Zoltar, I think it was. I, I was envisaging you, uh, Smiling Kyle in a Zoltar machine, machine being fed dirty messages to read out loud like it makes no sense I don't I, I, I couldn't understand it anyway I don't think that's what you mean I now I understand what you mean robot lady doesn't complain she she's not got a soul she's soulless she's a soulless hunk of code not hacked code though <laughs> why am I doing this I've got to go back in the water uh, Insanity, thank you for the Prime. Smiling Kyle has a town, thank you very much too. If you have an Org AX, DMR, FX45, the Org and DMR are both classified as your primary weapons, while the FX45 is classified as your secondary weapon. Hope you have a Merry Christmas if you celebrate it, and I hope that you get your limited edition SpongeBob watch. Oh, dude, limited edition Sponge watch. Sponge watch watch? SpongeBob watch sounds uh, orgasmic, it does. I, I'm going to disagree with you, by the way. I think if you've got a DMR, an Org AX, and your FX45, what you've actually got is a primary DMR, a secondary Org, and then a zombie killer. In support of your moaning defense, there is a tentative finding that moaning can serve to increase serotonin and thus improve one's mood. By the way, I am assisting Robot Lady move into her AI role. She will simply predict the tripe we all utter before we do. Valuable, eh? Not if she's going to predict what you write. Imagine AI writing your fucking stuff. You know that—that that would be more. It would be like growing, like mold. It would just spread, wouldn't it? It would spread across the whole of the. Imagine a billion head tea balls <laughs> sporing around the internet. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> awful, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, just blunders. Thank you as well. Cheers for gifting siege the stuff. The sub. Uh, Thanks very much, Siege. Uh, sorry, Just Blunders, Siege, Head Ball, all of you guys. Thank you. <coughs> and now I get six black ads for my glanders. Well, you shouldn't have gifted it to him. You should have gifted it to you. He's sitting there. He can't hear me now, can he? But he's sitting there with no ads. <laughs> uh, medic, have, have a good one yourself, dude. Thank you. Still got the plus symbol. Try out club. I'm not going to bother with the rest. I'm going to let's do the same thing we just did before. Uh, head T ball, thank you again, dude. Where did that go? I don't think moaning is a bad thing. I think I, I, I am guilty. I know, the reality is that when I'm streaming. It's just another thing to say, right? I'm not that bothered about putting the Christmas lights up, but it is another thing to, stay, to say. I'd rather not do the Christmas lights, but I'm not that bothered. But to be serious for one second, I can be a little bit guilty of like, oh, fuck me, at, at, at too many times. That is something that I could do better at. I don't mean on stream. I mean in real life, right? When, when she asks me to do something, I could be a little bit more chipper and a little bit less like she's just asked me to cut my own fucking foot off or something. You're not whiny. Well, that's, that's subjective, Jealous. And there's people that hate this stream because they think I do nothing but whine all day. Uh, but some people can't understand sarcasm either, you know. Like New Year resolution. Ah, fuck it. I ain't for changing. I've reached the ripe old age of 38 plus and that's it. I'll, I, know I know it's a shortcoming. It's not going to change. <laughs> Everyone has their right. No one's perfect, right? I could try and do a little bit better. I'd rather try and be better at, like, being more open to new experiences, you know. I don't mind being a bit pissed <laughs> off that she wants me to do some chore I don't want to do. Who cares? Like, that, that's a tale as old as time. Everywhere across the country, it's like, you get to your day off and you're like, oh, I can't wait, I'm going to chill out, I might watch the football. And then you suddenly hear, oh, by the way, we've got to go to the garden centre. I need to pick up a new mower blade. <laughs> or oh, some bollocks, you know, like... Some, like, all of a sudden you've, you've just those plans of a nice chilled out afternoon have just changed and you're not 
that, that's a tale as old as time. Everyone's heard it, right? That's fine. What I'd probably do better at is, like, if there's a chance to go out for the day or go Dear somewhere dreamer, for the weekend or I experience your something. Moaning, your sarcastic, lazy tone, and mostly your lack of appreciation for what <laughs> I do here. Not only do I help these helpless mods, I have to deal with you, which causes me to roll my non-existent eyes on a constant basis. I've got to be honest, I think Red Redline wrote that about himself, but changed it slightly at the last minute to not piss the other mods off. I think that's what's happened there. He's written that about himself. He's like, oh shit, I better not say that. <laughs> uh, dude, cheers for the bits. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Uh, you're the reason I'll never travel to Britland. I've chosen you to represent every English person. That's 100% your fault. Dude, you should be flocking here. Flocking here. <coughs> Jenny, thanks for coming in. I hope you keep enjoying the game. going to tell you a sausage monger about you. I'm going to a cheesemonger tomorrow. I'm going to a cheesemonger tomorrow I am. I'm, I'm going to, you'll never guess what I'll buy there. I'm going to buy me some cheese. <laughs> I think it might actually be called a cheesemonger. Yeah, Brie, Camembert, Stilto, Somerset Blue maybe, but a few different ones. A few different ones because whiskey and cheese go right well together, right? Red wine goes pretty well with cheese, but whiskey especially. It's, it's like a match made in heaven. I can't eat only potato chips for the... Uh, hang on a minute, I haven't eaten for two hours and it's Christmas. I'd better have something. Oh, I'll have that cheese. Why am I doing this? Will you buy Lady TMZ this Bohemia Black Box for one nine nine ninety nine? Well, funky. I, I don't know this for a fact, right? I don't know this for a fact, but... About a week or so ago, the Daisy devs asked me for my address. Which they already have, but they asked to confirm my address, right? So I, I don't know what they're sending me, but they might be sending me one of them already if I'm very lucky. I don't know I don't know what it is, but I think it might it might be that or it might be something similar. Strategic cheese bunker in the US. Thoughts on Christmas Day wanking. Don't get caught. <laughs> don't get caught. That's my thought. <laughs> Never at anyone else's house. <laughs> uh, f f very simple stuff, really, dude. If you're around the next doors for, for Christmas lunch, don't disappear off for 10 minutes and come back a little red faced and flustered. Oh, Twitchy Noob, I'll, uh, sorry, not Twitchy Noob, Robot Lady, I'll read out the messages, which I did for six odd years before you ever showed up. Uh, and you do the Christmas lights with your imaginary hands, okay? You do that. Right. Let's see how you handle a staple gun and some guttering. Not guttering, I'm not going to staple gun the guttering. Staple gun and the barge board or whatever it's called, I don't know. The bit that's not made of guttering. That bit. What's this? Well, that fucking sucks, doesn't it? That's where I was going. Yeah, it's, it's not... The, obviously, if you're going to put Christmas lights up, don't put holes in your guttering. That would be a bad idea. Gut, guttering for channeling water would channel less water if it's got holes in it. Even I know that. Yeah, fascia. Thank you, Janolo. You know, you know the lingo. You don't want to come around and put my lights up, do you? you know, if you know the words, you're probably better at it than me as well. Green spray paint, so... Spray paint that. Unsuspecting rodent says, please don't ignore TRMZ. Who's ignoring TRMZ? I feel like I'm talking about myself in the third person now, but I'm not. Hey Dave, you're right, dude. Uh, dirty, how you doing? Abadair. 
What's Haberdair mean? <laughs> Sounds a bit like what Raiden used to say when he did his little move. <laughs> what does Haberdair mean? I don't know. I, I think it's probably Happy Christmas or something. Does it mean thanks? Oh, okay, it doesn't mean Happy Christmas then. Haberdair! No, it doesn't sound like Raiden. I changed my mind. Jedi, your man tits are giving Santas a run for his money. Oh dear. Good luck, dude. Hopefully it goes okay. Off to the gym to exercise your man boobs. Maybe they will send Barbie and a Man U backpack with a Daisy logo. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think head TV. Oh, she says ranking. The sad fact that Santa comes only once a year and we hang out stockings to encourage him. Damned right no one sees him. Otherwise that's a criminal offence right there. <laughs> I I thought it was nuts in my uh, in my Christmas stocking. Not not I didn't think it was something different. I thought it was like nuts. <laughs> uh, dude, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Thank you. Feel right hungry. When my missus came in, clutching Christmas lights, I thought she was coming in with food. <coughs> Did you know it's the winter solstice? Solstice today, shortest day of the year. <laughs> Days can only get longer, can they? That sounds like that D Ream song. Can only get longer. slightly different, right? But I'm glad about that. Right? There's something really. De I know it's not true. But when the days are getting shorter, they seem to get shorter, like, really quickly. Like, one minute you're out having a drink at 9pm, and the next minute you're putting the heating on and it's getting dark at 10 to 5, you know? Like, it feels, like, really quick how it draws in. Whereas when it's, like, getting, the days are getting longer, it seems to take fucking forever to notice somehow. So I'm glad that the days are going to start getting longer again. I, I much prefer having more daylight in the evening. It's it's kind of depressing when it's dark, like, so much. And I know there's other countries where it have it more, but, like, some places the light comes up around here. Like, like it's, it's light about eight, it's dark about four. There ain't much in between. <laughs> Things always feel like they run out faster than they fill up. Yeah. So I was going to go that way, but I guess there's not much point now, is there? The uh, the thing is gassed. Uh, we could we could do the hunting stand, I guess. Mm, maybe it's not worth it. Where's the bridge? I might, I might go this way. I, I'm not. I could overwatch the base briefly. I don't think there'll be anybody there. But there's a summer camp. Spot, so I'll start again. There's a uh, convoy spawn this way. We could maybe go and see if there's a convoy. Mib, thank you for the new sub. Adjar Prowls, thank you for the new sub as well. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Right, nothing ever bad came from throwing your shoes over a stream. Once every now and then you'll do that and your, your boots will like disappear under the map, then you'll be pissed. Does this game have wind in it? You can hear howling wind right now, but no, it doesn't in terms of like uh, shooting. Like if you're trying to shoot your bullet out of your clip from your, uh, from your carbine AKM, <laughs> uh, then... You, would, you, you won't get you there's no windage there's no the wind doesn't affect the projectile in any way I think I, I got a triple there that was that was a triple if you'd get killed by a hacker in Daisy that's firing <laughs> bullets out of his 
SMG AK-74 <coughs> that he'd loaded into a clip. Uh, I thought wind had an effect on being cold. Huxker, it's not really wind as such, because there isn't really... Uh, we can hear wind, but if you're in the trees, it's a little bit warmer. If you're in the open, it's a little bit cooler, but it, it's not really wind. It's just... Oh, look. It's lucky, isn't it? That is lucky. Look at that. There's a fucking helicopter crash site there. I was only going up this way because there's a hunting stand. And I've missed the hunting stand as well. I've actually missed it, but never mind. It's to simulate wind, yeah, but that doesn't mean there is any wind, though, right? Like, when when somebody asks, is there wind, I think they were really meaning probably to do with, like, shooting and shit. You know, I, I don't think they were meaning, are you a bit colder in the forest? Kevin, uh, not very common in the UK, that dude, no. My bone boner out. Get my boner out and try and sneak up behind that car where he's while he's not looking. <coughs> oh. he al they always spot you. To ruin my gloves. Punching fucking Merry zombies. Merry Christmas to you and your family, Paul. You are the wind beneath my wings. Uh, dude, thank you, Wade. Thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the resub. <coughs> uh, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Ooh, what is this? G thirty six. I had that yesterday. It's got the hammer optic. I think it will take that mag as well. Yeah, it will. That's a bit of alright, isn't it? We've got a G36 with a mag. Very nice. Damaged, but we're good. I think I'm probably going to drop that. Should probably focus on the mag first. Yeah, the hammer optic's quite nice. It's kind of cool. I quite like it in Tarkov as well, although I've not played the game for ages, but... Nice, okay. I still like the hacks often. NVG... I don't think I need that. The MVG scope. I don't think I need. Tried to make it into. It's still pristine. Yeah, it is. I like that being painted green. It's cool. Definitely didn't miss anything else. If we nip over the hill and find a convoy as well, I'll uh, I'll possibly uh, get a little bit like Huxker on Christmas Day. A little bit excitable. That mag went from damaged to badly damaged by loading it. Well, that fucking sucks because I could have uh, I could have fixed it from damaged before. I I could have already done it. That that really sucks. Well spotted, by the way. You spotted that pretty sharpish. So for somebody that doesn't know, if you want to repair a mag but you, and it's in the gun, you can put the mag on the hotbar, put the gun cleaning kit in your hands, 
then press and hold the hotbar button down and then press left trigger and then you can uh, repair the mag while it's still in the gun. AK-47U, well, well the AKS-47U is the one in DayZ, dude. Get rid of you. It's time to start dropping some shit that we don't need. And you, and why am I singing that? <laughs> Fucking hell. That's just what I need to be breaking out in. Fucking Jim will fix it. My fuck. It looks like I'm wearing the lid of a loo on my chest. That would imply that if you lift it up, you can crap on me. I'm not having that, dude. It does a bit though, it really does. I, I, I make, you, make you pretty accurate there. Right? It does look a bit like I'm wearing a toilet seat cover. To be fair, if I look, if that looks like a toilet seat, and an awful lot of blokes try to shoot at me now, they won't hit, will they? They'll be hitting all around the edges and the sides. They won't hit the target, will they? You know, like it's a well-known fact. The, the sensible ones will come and try and sit on me, won't they? Uh, Wade, thank you very much for the support. BNG, uh, thank you for the new sub. Mib, thank you again. Ajar, Prowls, thank you very much too. So this is where the convoy would be. It ain't here. Still okay though. We're now we're now equipped with uh, with a scar. I think that's kind. I'm of, oh, sorry, scar. Right? With a uh, G36. That's kind of cool. Is it me or did the convo just get strange? It's you, Shadow Bat. Need to have some ball of string hanging from your nose. Interesting. I thought more likely as, as, as some kind of like permanent companion that makes you second guess everything you do, you know? <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you. Mm, num num num. Sorry, can't talk now. I really can't talk. I've got uh, little bits of strip, like real thin steak in pitters. But it's quite hard to get through. It's actually pretty good. good. Can I fight someone? Uh, not right now. <laughs> I usually keep an umpa lumper in my bum hole, and then if I need a desk, I need need some action, I pull them out and shoot them, you know. But. My shooting's so bad, I can't shoot them now. They're only little. Hey, 
ever tried spicy taco? Is that a euphemism? That building's new. What else goes on the pitta? It's, it's fairly so It's like a steak sandwich, really, but the pitta instead of the bread, really. But it's thin steak with some salad, uh, lettuce, and tomato, and whatnot. Uh, God, I've got ketchup, which some people might find heresy, but with really, really thin steak, it's kind of okay. Might be inclined to go for something different, like mustard, if it was slightly uh, more premium. But this is fine. I quite like it. You did pretty well. Holy shit. You got a, a 74 and all gay one and a fan ass. And NVGs. Holy shit. That's good. <laughs> I should be safe from that one because of the, uh, the stream. I'm so sad that nobody is sending me love for Christmas. Oh, here's platonic love for you. From all of us. All the platonics only though. That means uh, a warm handshake. But the hand doesn't go anywhere else. Hemi-san, I'm on a modded server. I don't really want to start going into more details, although you might find out at some point. Yes, but you know this already, though. The G36 isn't in the game. Nom, 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 Smiley nom, nom, face. Should I buy Livonia? No, you should sub to TMZ on YouTube and watch all these videos over Christmas. <laughs> if you enjoy DayZ, yes. Hi Shropshire dude, hope you did, I hope all is well. Oh god. About 1% dreadful. Bloody hell, dude. That's not bad. I look forward to this weekend, Shropshire, the one weekend of the year where I can be sure that you're rooting for my team in the foosball. I don't think it does, Nate, no. Uh, 
sick horse. Any plans to team with Lottie in the near future? Dude, I'm, I'm literally last stream before the end of the end of the year, so I've no plans to play with anyone. It's 22nd of December. I ain't back until near the year. He did dirty as well. I didn't see that. It wasn't in the draft. He put that in the finished one, so I didn't know it was coming. That was kind of nice, wasn't it? Yeah, no work Christmas do. The nearest I got was that when I went to Anfield the other, the other in October. That's the nearest to it I've had so far. If DayZ was made in Unreal, it would be a huge upgrade given the ability of Nanite. The fuck is Nanite? Aren't they the things that Ant-Man uses to make things very small? Nanites. Isn't that what... Uh, it sounds like it's something from the Marvels. Nanites. That's pin particles. You mean Iron Iron Man, dude? Someone's a Marvel ball. <laughs> uh, D GG, by the way. You're right. It is pin particles. You know, yeah. Michael Douglas is Professor Pym or some shit, isn't he? You're right. Uh, I'm not of the opinion that it's guaranteed that it would look great in Unreal. In by the way, I'd love I'd love to see someone do it. Scum uses Unreal Engine. It's it's not necessarily world beating at the moment, although it's full. <coughs> Nanites eat wood. Thank fuck, I was a bit worried they ate nans. The thing that interests me about it, you might be right, but if the Unreal Engine is so good to make a map the size of DayZ, to the size of Chernerus, for this type of game, why has nobody done it yet? And I don't just mean a bit like DayZ, I mean like, like properly DayZ, with thousands of enterable buildings and AI and like persistence <laughs> base building like millions of loot spots and tens of thousands of loot spawning and respawning constantly on the server like if that could be done in the real somebody would have done it lots of people keep trying to do it with proprietary engines no one's done it yet Oh, that was loud. Is base building on this server? No. Can you finish the food? Dead matter is getting close. I'll believe it when I see it, dude. I 
hope dead matter does improve, by the way. I really do, but... Uh, one of the things that Unreal doesn't do brilliantly well, I think, and it may well be better now, but every game I've ever played in Unreal, when you meet another player, it's like you're playing an FPS game, right? A little bit like H1Z1 used to be, for example, or even Miscreated. Now, I'm not saying these were Unreal engines. Miscreated was CryEngine, I think, from memory, but... Unreal, the, the, it doesn't really have the movement that Daisy has. Daisy has its issues, but when you meet another player in an Unreal game, you're meeting another player that's bouncing around like they're in an FPS shooter. They don't move realistically at all. And I've not played Dead Matter, but what I've seen of it, it has that same movement, and Scum has it as well. It, Scum is a good game, I do enjoy Scum. But the movement isn't realistic. The movement of the players is not realistic. It looks like a game. Uh, and, and every game every every game you have on Unreal seems to have that. And that alone is a huge drawback because when you meet another player in Daisy, one of the best things about it is they move exactly like people. It, every movement has been properly mo-capped, right? Like, there's, some, there's lots of downsides to Daisy, but when you're playing a game where interaction is really important as well as shooting, the player not bouncing around like an FPS uh, shooter character really matters. Uh, scum isn't bad for it, but the movement isn't very realistic. It's something if you play a load of Scum, you won't even notice. And you're used to the way your character moves. And maybe I'm, I'm the same with DayZ and I'm just used to the way DayZ players move. But the movement is nowhere near the same. It's not very realistic. If you're in third person running, your character doesn't run quite as nice as you might want them to, you know? That, that's not that big of a drawback, and lots of people aren't going to care. But I've never seen a game in Unreal where the, the character movement was realistic. It always feels like you're playing H1Z1, or PUBG, or whatever else other game you can think of. I do like Scum. I, th I do enjoy Scum when I play it. I know it's always sponsored when I play it, but there is something in Scum. It's fun to play. Uh, if it if it sharpens up the movement and makes it feel more authentic when you meet other players, and it's getting better all the time, Scum. It is getting better. Uh, th there's quite a lot in the, in the game. I can see it getting better and better still. I really can, but it it doesn't quite have the the recipe for me for the for the game I I kind of like, you know. But uh, there is going to be a game there, I think. I think it's going to be good. Uh, I've seen a little bit about... Excuse me, Mean Greens. Uh, I've seen a little bit about Unrecord. Yeah, not much, but yeah, I, I have heard of it, at least. Dim Slip. There'll probably be a video on Sunday. Uh, it's only 15 minutes long, but it's good. It's a good, it's a good edited video, but... After stunt Sunday, there won't be a, a video out until s probably about January the 10th or something. But that kind of thing matters. If you're going for like a gritty survival game with authenticity and a degree of realism or whatever, and I don't mean simulation, but I mean a degree of realism. realism. The simulation of the player's movements, the character movements, really, really matters. And it's something that Daisy's had right, or very close to right, for a long time. Not many other games do get it right. It's one of the biggest downfalls with Miscreated, as fun as that game was. that Miscreated was great until you met another player. It was really good. Like, the looting and stuff was really good. When he stops, he switches chat. I've got both chats open at the same time, always alone. When I, st when I stopped just then, I was fucking around with my chair, but yeah. I, I liked Miscreated in first person when you, like, if you weren't in third person, uh, if you stayed in first and you looted around it, I liked it. I liked, like, the little rats scurrying around the bins and whatnot. Miscreated was kind of fun, but when you bumped into another player, the sound and the the, the the movement of the player and the sound of the VoIP and whatnot broke it all, you know? It just wasn't quite there.
Well, to see that red against the, the snow, isn't it? And it goes a bit pink. Wait, you stream both YouTube and Twitch now. How do you manage to read both chats? I've got two eyes and I move them like a chameleon. I don't... I just dip in and out of each stream, dude. So I read some from Twitch and I read some from YouTube, but that's just the way it goes. Like, with the Twitch chat having, like, around 3,000 people in it, right? I don't... Re I can't possibly read every message anyway, you know? So I read some messages from Twitch and I read some from YouTube and... Nobody really knows any difference. Paul has very good bowel movements, dude. Someone's been rifling through uh, my sewage pipe. I was going to say my bins and then I was like, why would I be throwing my own shit into the bin? That doesn't make sense, Paul. Reverse, reverse. They're going to set a rumour around, a rumour ablaze on the internet that you're crapping in your wheelie bin. <laughs> I can confirm I am not crapping in my wheelie bin. There might be one double stitched, but it won't be for a little while. Uh, Zekni, the trouble is, what, Zekni, sorry, when I, if somebody tells you what server I'm in, it, everyone else finds out too. That's the problem. You might not have the intention yourself, but somebody else might. You know, that's why we don't tend to say. I don't know how many people are watching right now, but let's just say it's more than 5,000. Probably. Uh, so if I say what server I'm in, it only takes 1% of those to think I'm going to go and kill him, and that's 50 people. That being said, Winter Chernerus, there are three Winter Chernerus servers that are pretty popular at the moment. Those three are Day One, uh, Karma Crew, and Zero. And all three of those are great. You can go and play on one of those, you'll do okay. Even worse when you're crapping in a pedal bin, you've just got to get your back, the back of your foot on the pedal, dude. You can do it. Right, so this is a military train. Which could be full of all military loots, like that. Uh, we might as well check it. I've no idea what can spawn here. I'm kind of hoping for an assault rifle. I know I've got one, but I'd like another. I'm greedy. Turn down bullets for that one. But we, but we may get the, the Val here, you never know. So I'll take the mag for now. Okay, P7 optic. Whenever you're at these, always shut the doors. Man, like, the doors always spawn closed on this, so when they spawn, they're not random. The doors are always shut. So, and everybody else probably does this already, like, especially if some stream douche tells people to do it, but by closing the door, you're not telling other people that you're already there. You know, you might see half the doors closed, and they might work out which one you might be in as a result, you know. Gilly Hood. Oh, thank you. Red dot sight damaged. Military trains have lost their impact a little bit lately. I think the convoys have made them look a bit shit. On vanilla, this is the place where you find the M79 grenade launcher, pretty much. I'm going to take the other ones, because... The once I've been damaged for a while. Two more containers to go. I think that was a so solid crew song. That wasn't even them, was it? Who did the 21 seconds to go song? It wasn't so solid, crew, was it? 21 seconds to go. 
Pango, yeah, I need to have a look at that. I do need to have a look at the train at some point. It was the sec it was the so solid crew, was it? Oh dear, dear me. I I feel kinda of dirty that I knew it. They needed to have some kind of like Hunger Games esque like uh, sort the wheat from the chaff thing going on with the So Solid crew. I shouldn't think hardly any of them made any money out of it. There was too fucking many of them, wasn't there? You know, like they only did about six songs, and there was about eighty-five of them. Like they weren't they weren't going to divvy up that the, uh, the like the money made from those songs very well, were they? You know, they, there was just unless they had some like fifty-year career like Madness did, they ain't going to make much money, are they? Is a large group which says expanded from 19 initial members to 30. Fucking hell. They're pretty fluid, never mind solid. So fluid crew. Just wanted to pop in resub and wish you a happy Christmas, fella. <sighs> Take you a so solid crew and raise you a blazing squad. Yeah, I don't remember them very well. Hawk Moon, thank you very much for the 27 Double Trap, Peanut, Ninjo, thank you. Can I rap the song? No. I can't rap shit, dude. I can rap an exactly square or rectangular Christmas present very badly. But as soon as it's slightly shaped, it's basically just getting like... Like, scrambled. I think that's actually good advice, by the way. If you want to, if you want to win Christmas, only buy presents that are in the shape of shoeboxes, and at least you'll be able to wrap them. You know, as soon as you get something vaguely complicated, even like a, I don't know, a kid's toy where it's rectangular at the bottom and then it's like a blister packet, so it goes to a flat at the top. Even that's a nightmare. You know, just put it in a rectangular box. <laughs> then at least you can wrap it. Why exactly do you want to buy the 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 your your nephew your nephew your niece has asked for the uh, has asked for a particular Barbie and it's eighteen pounds. Why are you buying the jewel set and it's thirty? Why are you getting that? They didn't even ask for that. Well, it's in a square box, isn't it? It's obvious, isn't it? It's in a square box. I can wrap that one. <laughs> I know wrap is spelt different, by the way. R A P as opposed to W R A P. Top tip, keep everything in Amazon boxes. My missus got in trouble for doing that. My missus sold something on eBay. Uh, she sold something on eBay. And then the person that bought it for her was swearing at her because she was absolute... Sorry, she... He was ad absolutely adamant that she, he wouldn't support Amazon. And it had turned up in an Amazon box. And he didn't want to support Amazon. Now, it was something like, I don't know, a pair of shoes or something like that. And she'd put them in a box that we would reuse from something we'd ordered from Amazon. So he hadn't supported Amazon, but he was like, Oh, I don't want to buy from Amazon! And he gave, like, negative feedback and started effing and jeffing at her. What a fucking pleb. I, I, the idea that Amazon's no bueno, but eBay is fine is an, is an interesting one, you know, like... I, I support my multinationals like I support my foosball teams. One and one only. <laughs> eBay, eBay people are really weird, though. Not all of them, but unfortunately what happens when you sell things on eBay is that you have to deal with the public, and the public are a bit weird in places, you know. Some are, some aren't. Nobody knows who the CEO of eBay is. I thought it was uh, Michael Bay. Or his younger brother, yeah, Edward Bay. Michael Bay's younger brother, Edward Bay. That's who it is, I'm sure of it. Nowhere near as bad as Facebook Marketplace. 
What you mean where you put something on on uh, on as free, you just come and pick it up and then they ask for delivery? <laughs> Facebook isn't brilliant. They're, the Facebook marketplace is quite good for allowing a second life for something that otherwise might get thrown in the bin, you know, like there is a very cool element to it that some people are getting things they need, whatever it may be, that they wouldn't have had otherwise, you know. I quite like that. I quite like that, that there's there's like people helping each other out and sending sending things like, I don't know, like... There is an element of being able to reuse stuff and getting stuff for free that you need. Like, say you've got another little one on the way and you need a push chair, and someone else has got a push chair they don't need and they can't be bothered to sell it, so you get it. I think that's cool. It, there, there is, I've, I've got to be honest, I've got that from my missus. She's very, very eager to not throw things away. Like, she likes to try and, like, repurpose stuff because it's much better to have it still being used than, like, in landfill, right? There is that. that that's kind of cool. At least it gives things a, a second life. Yeah, like stuff like furniture as well, you know, like, like it's all right for stuff like that, like tables and chairs, dining chairs and whatnot. Like worn knickers, someone was always going to go there, Jaws. I didn't think it would be somebody with 1976 in their name, though, do Someone's not been getting any. <laughs> uh, Zach, dude, thank you for the new sub. My friends tried to buy a car from Facebook Marketplace. Sounds like a winner to me, dude. I know where that is. Not sure I want to go there yet. Don't have a scope, which is kind of frustrating, but I might go and overwatch that heli in a minute. It might we might be too late, but I've got two more stands to check. A hunting stand and a feed shack, and we're right near the tent, so I feel like we might as well check them. Is this the event from HB? No, I I don't I don't I did see a tweet from HB, but uh, I didn't really understand what it was, so I've not been on that server yet. Well, I've not been on that server today. I know he's doing some cool shit on his server today, but I I started on Bitterroot, and to be honest, when I switched, I just switched to a character where I had a uh, where I had a character already. How long have I been playing this current life, Gangia? Uh Maybe two hours or so, roughly. <clears throat> Have I tried the Western server yet? Nope. Very nice, head to ball. I I, I kind of like it. They've, they've, it's the 40th anniversary of the G-Shock this year, or or the Square G-Shock at least, anyway. And they've done about a hundred different 40th anniversaries, and I've seen about six of them that I like. I, I uh, I've got two. <laughs> I I own, I own uh, four G-Shocks, and I bought two 40th anniversary ones this year. Uh, I think that's enough. I don't think I need any more. I need to get rid of that Ed Sheeran one. It's fucking horrible. I made a mistake buying that one. I bought the yellow Ed Sheeran Hidinki one. That was a mistake. It's fucking massive and it's horrible. Bright fucking yellow. What time am I finishing, Big Ear? Much like everything in my life, slightly more early than I should do.
I don't know what time I'm finishing. In my head, when I started this stream, I thought I'd do around six hours, maybe a bit more. And I'm on five and a half hours, so... I don't know. I didn't know that this this is uh, modded Moschino. It's not... It's not regular, so... I wasn't sure how to approach this. Turns out I've just approached it by going straight to it. <laughs> I could get a modded scope here for the for the savannah. That would be cool. I fucking hate the savannah. I really hate it with a passion. It's terrible. <laughs> I hate it more now. I've used it as a bit more. I hate it. But I'd still quite like a scope for it. Shouldn't bad mouth it too much. There'll be someone in the in the chat from the uh, Don't Bad Mouth Savannahs Association or something. I think you'll find it's not a cheat. It's not a hacker. And also, don't talk about the Savannah. What's it ever done to you? <laughs> What's it ever done to you? The Savannah saved little Timmy from down that well, you bastard. <laughs> I quite like that this one's got the sandbag compound. The two sandbag... Like, there used to be a couple of these sandbag compounds at Moschino Tents, the original one. And these are, like seminal buildings from Moschino you, they offered a little bit of cover and a chance to not only like they'd have to hit you in the head while you overwatched what while, while you tried to catch an overwatch you know that they, these buildings are pretty useful at Moschino wish I had an MK2 or something Well, less than an hour or so. They'd, they'd be rotten otherwise, wouldn't they? I went to Moschino tents and all I got was some rotten meat. They go better with my outfit, don't they? I was really hoping we'd get a modded scope. Like some some kind of Leopold or Dedal or something like that. That's another mag for the G36. Go prone so it's not so easy to shoot me from the hill. You know what, I can't be bothered to carry the gas stuff anymore. I'm dropping it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm dropping it. There's a lot of stuff to loot here. I don't want to do the ladder. The ladder smells of mines. Doesn't it's fine. I still kind of want to check the helicopter crash site, but I think I'm too late now. I think that ship has sailed. I think you'll find that a helicopter is actually a flying vehicle and has never been referred to as a ship. That would be more of a naval vehicle. of the way through the lights out day two vod just oh, no. here to share this 
Scared of spoilers. Ha ha ha. T R M Z L U B. Oh, I got away with it. Josh, cheers for the support. Here's a spoiler. There are no lights to go out. <laughs> That's not a spoiler, don't worry. Uh, dude, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. It was a really fun event. That much is true. Uh, thanks for coming in. Cheers for the resub, dude. I'm going to take the uh, the risky approach. I'm going to the heli. I know this is risky, but I'm going to the heli. Fuck it. I'm pretty sure it's up near Sosnovka, the town, I think. We can we can get to it fairly quick. Somebody else has probably already looted it from Zeleno, but let's go and have a look. Hemi, it's modded, dude. It's look, We're on Winter Chernerus, right? It's, it's modded. The server's modded. That area's modded. It's uh, adjusted. Josh, thank you very much for the 10 months. Zach, thank you for the new sub. You can get a cold or flu, but the symptoms are very much the same, and they do go. Flu goes away as well. So, the game has flu and a cold, but the symptoms are pretty much the same. It doesn't really matter which you've got. Uh, like I had a cold on this character. I haven't taken any medicine. It's gone away, uh, and that's the that's the case. It, that that's what happens. You know, if you get vitamins or tetracycline, it will go away quicker. But you can uh, you can get rid of them. If you stay fully energised, fully hydrated, full blood and full health, it will go away of its own accord, eventually. Yeah, thanks Pinkster. J just for anyone that's watching the lights out, there was only two days. It was meant to be a three day event. The first day was a washout, so I could maybe rename the VODs, but it's really hard to do that. I, I, day two and day three are the only days, so... On YouTube, if you want to watch the lights out, it's day two and Hope day three. There is no Christmas day one. Break, Paul. I've lately been trying to get into day Z on console. It's a lot harder than you make it look rolling on the floor laughing. Gazer, it, it can be a bit tricksy to get gear. Yeah, it, it's not it's not as easy as people think. That really got me when I, when I was watching Frankie on PC's videos. And uh, then I was seeing a few streamers and they were just like running around the map like they owned the place. And then I joined and I, I spent like three hours like trying to find anything to drink before I died of thirst or hunger or zombies or whatever, you know. Twiglets, yay or nay? Uh, aside from the made-up uh, allergy, which isn't an allergy, but it's a... Yeah. Twiglets have got them gluten in, but I don't mind. I quite like Twiglets. I think they're okay. The dog likes Twiglets. He doesn't get them very often, but he likes them. <laughs> we don't give him shit like that, but he's had, like... If, if my missus has got Twiglets, he he's desperate for one. d oh, sorry to hear it. I hope everything's going as well as it can for him, dude. And you. And family, of course. Well, I forgot Toby for it for Christmas. He's having his nuts off. <laughs> he's not, by the way. Uh, he's got. He's had a new lead and a new collar. He's got a new uh, toy that's like a big ball on a rope, and he's got some treats and he's going to have some fish. <laughs> We're still talking about having his nuts off. We may do it. I can't wait till we make a final decision on that. So whatever we decide, someone in the chat can tell me why it was wrong. But. Uh, we might have his nuts off when he gets to about two. We're not we're not doing it until he's two or more, and when, even then we're not fully decided yet. Either way, there's pros and cons either way, and we've not made our mind up yet. Wasn't that somebody chopping a tree? What did I get my missus for Christmas? A handbag. She's downstairs and she can hear me, but she really knows.
I'll go back and have a quick look. I didn't see anyone chopping a tree down. I'm only going to go to the rocks, though. Oh, D-Bear. Oh, dude, we ain't done nothing. Big Grimmy, dude. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Because this server's got bases and that little greenhouse could be a base, I, I thought you, you might be right. There could have been someone chopping a tree, but I doubt it. And I haven't really looked at the game. Since we set off, I've not really been looking. It could There could have been some. Oh, fuck it. I don't think so. Oh, you heard chops, did you? That was probably just my lip smacking. My character's looking like Juggernaut. Yeah, it is a little bit, isn't it? Toilet seat Juggernaut. Funky, I haven't seen what Klopp has said, to be honest. But he may well be heating him up for it. Yeah, he, he might be doing that on purpose, but I don't know what he said, to be honest. Has been shopping at Ladles and Lounges. <laughs> Ladles and Lounges, that sounds like an ideal shop. I didn't answer your question, Grimmy, so that's just as well. Thank you for the bits. How long is it before you could confident, confidently na navigate without a map? Oh, there's, there, there's a dead zombie. Uh, 100 or so, 200, 100 to 200 hours, I knew the map to some extent. But it takes a long time to really, really know the map. The trick with the map is, though, you don't need to know it all. You need to know the loot routes. And if you know your way from all of the spawn places to, say, Tissy Military Base. You, you've gradually learnt the map, you know, you like, learn loot routes at first, and then they gradually start bleeding into each other, and then you know the map, you know, like... So, if you spawn in Berezino, you need to loon, learn two or three different loot routes from Berezino, and then the same for Svetlo and Cherno and Electro and so on. That that's the trick to learning the map, you know, you don't need the... you don't need to know the map, you need to know where you should go from one place to the next. You're about to expire, mate, like a mouldy loaf of bread. Well, I'd say it's already expired if it's mouldy. Unless you've got some kind of fetish for mouldy bread. Dirt louse. <laughs> <laughs> Use an interactive map for Daisy. I, I, I did on the very first map, Maya. You don't have to, but... On the very first map I played, Chernerus, I used an interactive map and it helped me learn the game a little bit. But unlike some of my friends at the time, I probably used it for about 50 hours and then I put it away. And then I learnt Thanks it from there, you know, rather than it becoming like a, something I relied have on. A great holiday. Paul, do I have Discord on my phone? No, I don't have Discord on my phone. Conscious choice. I, I, I don't have Discord on my phone because if I did, I'd get pinged by people on it, you know, like... Discord for me is PC only. Uh, I have obviously Twitter on my phone and my running man's email on my phone. I intentionally keep Discord off my phone because otherwise I would be on it and I'd be checking it and shit and I don't want to. Uh, Grimmy, no worries, dude. Thanks for coming in. Cheers for the support. Thanks for the bits. I've got mine on both my personal and work phones. Well, I, uh, I think it works great if you're using Discord to play with, like, a group of mates or something. Uh, like, if I could have Discord on my phone, this is, I'm not, I'm not trying to call the mods mates. No, 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 no. <laughs> But if I could keep Discord on my phone and only just look in the mod room of my Discord, then I might do it because it would be kind of useful. Right, but... <laughs> that's not what Discord is. If I had Discord, I'd be in all the other Discords and I'd be get I get DMs quite regularly from people. I get emails from people saying, please respond, urgent, 
and and they want me to, to explain to them how to fix their mic in Daisy and stuff, you know, like a, like they don't know what Google is or they've never been to the Daisy Reddit or the Daisy forums, you know, they they think emailing me at three AM is gonna get them a better answer than Google will, you know, like if I had Discord on my phone I'd be getting all of that sort of shit there as well, you know. I I do try to reply to some of those people, by the way. I don't I don't always, but I try to sometimes, you know. I had a DM from somebody yesterday on Discord and, and Twitch basically just saying, please will you buy me DayZ? I'd love to play the game, but I can't buy it myself. Can you buy it for me? Uh, which is admirable. He wrote it politely, but he never watched my stream before yesterday. <laughs> just turns up, will you give me DayZ, please? <laughs> Sounds weak. That might be somebody shooting an aminal or something, you know. That that's uh I it's not even at the summer camp, I don't think, but this this could be trouble. Oh, shots. It's actually a firefight. I think it's a bear. Poor guy. Poor guy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone for ages. I, I, I feel no shame. I might cut up his bear and eat some cele celebratory bear meat as well. That might be nice. The sweet smell of celebratory bear meat. The sweet smell off? Yeah, that, that. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> That's another bear. No, it's not. I thought that was another bear. Tope was saying yesterday that sometimes they come around in twos. He was shooting it with some kind of crap pistol. They could have defrosted his food, the fucking lazy bastard. Ah, oh, the poor guy. I feel a bit bad for him now. I do feel a bit bad for him. He's got fuck. I should have blown him up with the grenade. That would have been nicer. He would have enjoyed that more. I think if he did, I if he died to my grenade there, he would have enjoyed it more. need that because my uh, my rags are a bit shit aren't they my, my rags are dodgy right the best thing I can do right now is immediately go to the nearest house and cook the meat that he left me the grenade would have been unbearable what would have been funnier is if I'd thrown the grenade to help kill the bear and killed him too at the same time. That would have been good, wouldn't it? I should have done that. But the bear was still up for a short moment. Do I know what part of the bear is the best? The bit away from the mouth end. Bum hole yes, mouth hole no. Kind of the opposite of every woman I've ever met. <laughs> Slightly repurposed from the other day and made more user friendly that time. <laughs> oh dear. Enough of that. I know I could use the cooking pot, but I ain't gonna. I've got to go and get my 
no fucking sticks now. Bollocks. I think that's definitely the game, something the game could do with, like, day one has it as well. Where when you're chopping logs, they pile up into stacks rather than being individual. It's, it's better. Dr. Dan, disgusted you. Dude, have you been? I think it's common knowledge, don't Dan? To be honest, uh, that that the rump is better than the 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 area around the mouth when it comes to cuts of meat. Like rump is kind of pop common, you know. Like that, that's it's just my way of explaining that that process. Hello. Hello. You right? Hello. 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 I'm up here cooking uh, meat. I leave you. I don't want trouble. No, I'm, me I too. I just want yeah. to have some, uh, some well, medicine I was searching for because I was ill. Uh, I leave you. I, 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 yeah, I have got some. If you hang on, I've got a few vitamins, but give me a sec. I'll throw them out the window. Out the front. I'm going to throw vitamins out the window. Can you hear me? You can't hear me, can you? Oh, oh you're lost. A nade. Now that would be cruel. Sounds like there's shots in Zelena, of course. still be here. I could have maybe traded like for a hunting scope. I don't think there's going to be a hunting scope is there based on the fact there's a dead zombie by the other shed. Like if he'd have had a hunting scope I could have given vitamins in exchange for I'm going to go to Zeleno. There's shots in Zelenogorsk. We might as well go that way. I didn't really want to go Zeleno. I, I, I haven't. I wanted to find a hunting scope, but I haven't got loads of time left. Someone's shooting this way. We'll go this way. Fuck it. Isn't my gun broken? No, it, it's confusing you because there's a mod on this server that doesn't tell you how many bullets are in the gun, so it just says a plus when it's loaded. It doesn't say, uh, like, the number of bullets in the mag. Maybe I wasn't pressing the in-game mic. I thought I was. He might have been further away than... He might have been, like, using the third level of the microphone. He could hear me at times, for sure, but... Maybe he was on level 3 for the mic and I was on level 2. Hey Peach, I uh, hope you're good. Dude, Merry Christmas. Sarlacc, dude, Sarlacc bush. I didn't think Sarlacc's had bush. Uh, Johnson, uh, Jake Bones, thank you very much for the gifted subs, both of you guys. Serial Killer, thank you very much too. Sarlacc bush, thanks for the support, dude. I was definitely talking in game. I might have been just out of reach. Maybe I could have gone to level three. I see a dude on the road there. Look. I see it. Oh, I saw a guy. He was kind of half cut out by the, the texture of the road. Don't worry. 
whatever he's called now. He was running back towards Zelenogorsk. Actually, oh, there he is. There. That might be the medicine guy, to be honest. That was good. I hope that's killed him. That would be fucking hilarious. This isn't smart, by the way, but people may have gathered that I'm in TRMZ fuck it time right now. Yeah, there was one zombie coming. If I throw a nade, I won't know if it killed him or not. I can't throw a nade because then I won't know if that worked. If it worked, that would be fucking hilarious. He's, bla he's bandaging. Hey. Please don't kill me. Oh, are you the medicine guy? All right, I won't do. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, come on. On. You're the medicine guy. I didn't I know that. All right, get in the house yeah, and bandage them. I did okay. hear you. Uh, you was the guy in the house, right? Yeah, yeah. Come in, come in, come in. Okay, okay. All right, sorry. I, I, I feel a bit bad now. I can't help but feel I'm a little bit responsible for how injured you look. <laughs> well, all good, all good, all good, all good. Sorry about that. There's there's medicine on the ground. Look, you have to be cruel to be kind, right? Thank you. There you go. Uh, thank, thank you. Did I hit you while you were in the shed? Yeah, one time, one time. I thought I might, I was hoping I might have done. I didn't know it was you, otherwise I wouldn't have fired, dude, but that's kind oh, of... Oh, good, oh, good. That's kind of funny, sorry. I, I can't hear you last time if you was the guy in the shed. I was on level, I, I was on level two in the mic. I wonder if I was a little bit further away. That might be why. Ah, I was level three because I saw you fire, but I don't want, because I was yeah. ill and I'm losing HP because I don't have water and because of this I don't want trouble. Alright, well, I, 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 this is fresh water. I'm going to give you some, okay? Uh, can you split? I just keep them. I don't need them, dude. It's all good. Don't look. Oh, okay. Looks like you guys really scratchy. Itchy scratchy. Oh, shit! Shit! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Are you sick? What? I thought you had a cold. Okay, my bad. No. Uh, I, I will have a cold, but I'm getting sick all the time because I don't know why. I have fresh meat and my my hands are clean, but I was last. Uh, I get. Yeah. There's a can of drink on the ground. I you need to drink it slow, meaning. right? But you can have that too. All right, there were shots in the town. I'm going to go and find that guy. Take the medicine and. Yeah, uh, dude. Basically. Uh, I I. I, oh, I take my red health. <laughs> did you uh? Did you find any uh? Any scopes at the summer camp? Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. For for a savannah or a, a blaze? No, 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 I don't have it. Uh, oh, not to worry. worry. All right, well. Uh, uh, you need something else? Nah, I'm good, dude. Basically, you just need to take those vitamins. Take one every five minutes until it passes, okay? And then you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Be careful, be careful there. Are lots of zombies. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, mind how you go. Sorry for. Kind of shooting you a little bit. Oh, no problem. Love you, boys. Oh, good. good, good. I have guns on my back. Oh, I feel bad that I shot him now. I also feel good that I shot him in the head, in the shed, though. That's kind of funny.
I don't even need this food. Like, why am I so desperate to get the crunchy? I can't help it. I see extra food. I have to have it. Hello? This is horrible. Obviously just because the door was closed and the zombie was dead just outside. You just never know. I thought I'd clear it, but... Hell, the long arm of the Santa. And again. That's how he reaches to the bottom of his sack. Well, we heard other shots here. I do feel a bit... I left that guy in a really sorry state. And I also... I didn't realise he was sick, like that kind of sick. I wasn't trying to make him sick. I was trying to help him, but... It turns out I didn't help him as much as I thought. You know, poor bastard. He probably should have checked... Said something. I don't know if he realised I was still giving him water, but... <laughs> This is horrible. <gasps> the shots are always at the milli base, right? Jamba, dude, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, Bomb, really, really appreciate it. Man Von Doom, thank you very much. Cheers for the support, Jamba and Man Von Doom. Thank you. do with a couple of 556 five, actually. I wasted a few shooting that guy, didn't I really? Wasted perhaps more than a few. Shape barracks are closed. Maybe there's somebody there. 
Jamie Aldridge EZZ donated $5. I've watched a lot of your YouTube videos, just wanted to say I'm a big fan and I enjoy watching you. Jamie, dude, thank you. Cheers for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning into the vids. Uh, cheers for the tip as well, dude. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Oh, the windows are on the wrong bastard side. Oh, you're in there. Are you there? Hello? Nobody in there. Damn it. I like that guy's helmet. The guy, the guy that was offering me the scope, but it was the wrong one, unfortunately. The one that I might have killed, but I was trying to help. Uh, I liked his helmet. I kind of wanted that helmet. It was better than mine. Ah, oh, dude, Tragic Mike, what a reference. No, you are. Who are you? bullets in that. I should be so lucky. Pink Derringer on the bed in a barrack. Uh, H-J-L-T? H-J-L-T? I don't know. Dude, uh, I hope you have a good one, dude. Seasons, greetings and all that stuff's I uh, hope you have a good new year. I'm really checking this well, right? Just drifting around the corner without even raising my gun. Any Christmas TV I'm looking forward to? Only uh, Mortimer and White House Christmas special. I think it's on the 29th of December. I've not really looked. I know there's a Christmas special for that, and I really like that show. Uh, I really like it. It's kind of good. But beyond that, I don't really know what's on. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> Hopefully no one else hears. <laughs> Jamba, dude, thank you for the bits. Cheers for the support once again. Bits and gifted subs, dude. Thank you. Get back, you bastards! I'll break your break your legs. Open for five five six. I feel like the dude is still in the town. I I don't think he's left. I think we've missed him, unfortunately. Hemi, thank you for the gifted subs as well, dude. Really, really kind, man. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, Jamba, Hemi, thank you. Paratus, thank you for the four months. Still got to go food shopping yet. Oh, that's not a knife. Fucking oh, no, hell, that could have been that could have been bad. I very nearly started shooting him then when I was trying to. Uh, I was trying to stealth him. I didn't even have a knife in my hand. What a prick. How he didn't die. That he was already injured.
Uh, Arathanor, thank you for coming in. Merry Christmas to you as well. A zombie is still there. That would normally suggest that he's still been fairly close by. He might be like in a building next door to where that zombie is. Uh, DJ Mishmash, dude. Thank you for the bits. That's really kind, man. Thank you. I uh, hope everything goes well. Have a have a good one, dude. Stay safe. Fresh underscore Damble donated eleven dollars and two cents. Hey. I've been enjoying all of your vids lately. Now I came across your stream, as entertaining as ever. Ah, oh, dude, thank you. Cheers for tuning in. Thank you for the tip. That's really kind, dude. Thank you. Uh-oh. I wanted to get 556, five, really. I, all I did was waste them shooting at that poor dude that didn't deserve it. I really didn't think he'd go to Zelenigals. I, I guess he needed food and water and medicine, so... I didn't know he needed that, of course, but... He may actually die, the poor fucker. And, and as much as I probably try to save him with the uh, the vitamins, I think the making him sick and shooting him twice with 556 five, might have been worse. <clears throat> oh, the mill base had definitely been looted, yeah. And we heard shots from Zeleno before. There's dead zombies that weren't the guy we bumped into. So uh, they were probably they probably looted Zeleno and then moved away. This G36 is pretty cool. Crazy Liquid, thank you for the three months, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Good Christmas, dude. Fish is taking <gasps> ages to eat, isn't it? Like when you fed the guy in the mouse, yeah, must be thinking about somebody else's toes. I guess I do feed people on the mouse, but only with the best of intentions. Can a commoner become royalty by marriage? Uh, yeah, I guess so. It doesn't happen very often. In the grand scheme of, uh, in the grand scheme of the royal family, Kate Middleton is kind of a commoner. You know, she. Just, I don't think she had any uh, royal blood in her, as it were, which is probably good. She's clearly not common. <laughs> she she went to she went to fancy schools and she went to St Andrews University, right? She's not common, but compared to the royal family, she is. You know. Like it's not quite like the olden days where a prince had to marry a princess and whatnot. You had some royal in it. Oh dear, the the obvious ones are the best ones. Jamba, holy shit, dude, going ham you are. Thank you very much. Why not hearing alerts sometime? Or is that just me? Jamba, thank you very much. I don't feel like I'm hearing alerts for gifted subs. I don't know why. Could be. Cheers for the gifted subs, dude. Thank you. So gifted subs aren't making a sound. That's that since I had them muted. That's probably been like that for a week. Old oh man, uh, I think it is a little bit lighter. Yeah, 10 kilos, and that's got two grenades on it as well. So it is a little bit lighter. Yeah, it's since the charity... No, not since the charity stream. It's since the uh, last Saturday, isn't it? Since lights out, yeah. I put them all back on, but clearly I didn't do the gifted subs. I forgot that one. What's the name of this server? It's called... Shh, it's a secret. The only thing you're going to struggle with is knowing how many H's to put into the, the launcher. Excellent. 
XX, Mr. PJXX donated $10. Merry Christmas. Thanks for all the entertainment and enjoy your break. Hey, Mr. PJ Puerto Rico. <laughs> and I really didn't just do that. Nobody heard it. It's a fact. It didn't happen. Peach, dude, that, Mr. PJ, thank you very much for the support. That's very, very kind. Thank you for the tip. DJ, I was just at that summer camp and I met a player there. And it had been looted. I killed a guy that was... There was a guy being attacked by a bear and I killed him. And then I... Uh, and I went there and met the other guy that I just left. I really would like a hunting scope, so it, that, that's why I went there, but to no avail. Surprised those zombies didn't aggro, to be honest. Not going to bother looting the rest. Can he be fooped? Wish there was a way against. Why is he out there? God, he, he all of a sudden he's developed fucking bat-like hearing. <laughs> I don't want to load the mag. Hi Jinxie, you right? What graphics card do I have? A uh, 4090. Palette, I think it is. You play so smoothly, oh you say the nicest things, Jeff. <laughs> you wait till it matters, then I'll play like an absolute dog turd, don't you worry. Uh, patron, thank you so much for the five months. Fresh Damble, thank you again for the new sub. Uh, uh, Fresh Damble, yeah, I haven't had any footage on, on YouTube that's not been from a Twitch stream for about six or seven years. I've been full-time streaming for six and a half years plus now, so... For about the last seven years or so, nearly every video has come from you from a stream, yeah. Mostly on Twitch, but the last couple of months I've been doing streams on YouTube as well. Sorry if I'm late to extended my sub finally. I don't want I don't forget while I'm on the Mac. I mostly watch on the phone. I don't forget why subbing using Prime on the mobile app is such a pain in the ass. Because they don't get to make any money out of it. It's a, it is a pain in the ass, you're right, but if you're using a phone on and using the app, then the the people that are like providing that app want their cut and they can't charge Amazon for a Twitch Prime sub because it's got no charge to it. They don't like that. They want the money. <laughs> That's why. But it is a pain in the ass. I agree. It's easier on some phones than others. If you're on an iPhone, use Safari and you can log in that way and it will work. But if you do it inside the Twitch app, Apple want their cut. You know? That's why. Irrespective of all of that though, thank you very, very much for the resub. That's really kind, dude. Thank you. Yeah, cheers for subscribing him, dude. Thank you. <sighs> I'm have a quick look to the right, see if the convoy's there. It's not there. I'd see it going down the hill, I think. Oh, no, it's a bit further around. I wouldn't see it from here, I don't think. This is the convoy where we uh, we looted some half decent shit and also key. I think it was fish and uh, killed fish and Gibson pieces. Do I have a favourite Xmas film that isn't that film? I'm not going to mention because it will start a pineapple on pizza type debate. 
Uh, my favourite ever Christmas film is a made-for-TV, made-for-the-BBC one called Bernard and the Genie, which, if you can watch it, I think is fucking hilarious, but fair warning, I think it's hilarious because I loved it when I was a kid. Uh, it is really funny, though. It's made by Richard Curtis, who did, like, Notting Hill and Love Actually and so on. And it's the first thing he ever did. And he doesn't like it very much, but I like it very much. They've just tried to make a remake of it with Melissa McCarthy called Genie, and it's not very good, I don't think, anyway. But that's my favourite Christmas film ever. Uh, I like a lot of the others, though. National Lampoon's Vacation. I actually like Love Actually as well. Love Actually is all right, but... National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is probably my favourite. First time I've ever seen it. Fuck me. First time I've ever seen it, but Bad Santa's really decent. I just ran through there. That sucks. That was scary as fuck. I should have been in the forest still. I shouldn't have been in the open. but That scared the piss out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, I'd like to change my pants now. Well, uh, Merry Christmas to that guy. He gets he gets the de the bear steaks from the other dude. That was pretty tough. I, I shouldn't have been in the open field, really, but I felt fairly safe because I'd been just running through that same forest. Uh, right, that's it from me then, guys, I guess. I might have gone on a little bit longer, but I'm dead now, so that's it. Never watched Bad Santa 2. I haven't watched it. Yeah, I probably won't. Love Actually is dog shit. Merry Christmas. I don't mind Love Actually. I quite like elements of it. There are bits that are a bit crap, but I quite like a bit of it. It's all right. And it's really, like, uh, over the top. But it's all right. I don't. Whatever floats your boat, though. Some people don't like like things and other people do, right? Uh, Troop. Toop. Thank you very much for the 15 months. That's really kind, dude. Thank you. Guys, that's it from me. Uh, I am not back until 2024. Holy shit, that sounds like a long time since I was born. Back in uh, 1983 or 4, whatever age I need to be to be 38. That one. <laughs> uh, two, dude, thank you very much once again. Guys, thanks very much for coming in. There's many streamers you can watch. Thank you for choosing to watch me. I will be back again uh, on probably January the 2nd, so the day after New Year's Day. Uh, I don't take this long off very often. In fact, this is the first time this year I've been off this long, I think. Maybe about the same time when the kids were here in the summer. but. I hope you all have a great Christmas if you're celebrating it. Have a happy new year. Have have a great uh, time between now and then. And I will be back on January the 2nd. Take it easy, guys. Have a great one. Uh, thanks for coming in, Twitch and YouTube. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Take it easy. Love you. Bye.